world most okayest streamer.
Chateau, it's Thursday, and coming up today on Building a Nation with Sirens of Malta, it's the transfer window, and we must build a squad that will hopefully allow us to tackle the title next season and have just the faintest glimmer of hope in European football. Will we actually find any Maltese players that will want to join us or make us better? Will we just end up with Argentinian loans? All that coming up more today on Building a Nation with. Ah, I couldn't get it in there. We're dancing. I ran out of time. I don't know what this is. This is going to really weird on the VOD. They can't even hear me. It doesn't make any sense, even if you can. <clears throat> I have a proposal. Uh, <laughs> we forget that ever happened, and I present you four hours of Football Manager content. <laughs> 11 oh, dear. months. This is getting dangerously close to being my longest ever relationship. And I am thankful for that, my friend. I'm very thankful for that. Before I get back to that, actually, one second, the secondy, secondy. Uh, McCallion, thank you very much for the 18 months during the intro. That was very kind of you. Locus, thank you for the five bits. Legal Dino, thank you very much for the longest relationship with the 11 months. And Bobby Dean, thank you very much for the four months. In the oh, Christ, there's more. Uh, <laughs> ITA, Ita, thank you very much for the prime as well. And Don, thank you very much for the four months. And Alice with the raid. It's all popping off, friends. You're getting barrel. Well, yes. That, that's just, that is the normal agreement. I was trying to mix things up a little bit. How was stream, Alice? How's things in Japan? Uh, even better offer. news. We get a stream. You get embarrassed. Look who the fuck it is. A wild pog has entered the chat. She's obscured by the thing. See if I can crack out the other camera. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I'm glad that worked. I don't know. I guess we'll never know. Until it randomly pops the up in a minute's time. The baby's coming okay. soon, Matto. <laughs> what? Eight, we're two months away. Two months away. Uh, of course, thank you very much for the eight months. It's very kind. And James and Kathy, thank you for the 23 on top of that as well. Finally got Home a day I can watch live with music. More nine, Matto, and Pog smile. It do be making things slightly better. Yeah, everything's just designed to cover Pog. The real star of the show, you might say. Let me just try that camera one more time. There's no light on the camera. Yeah, no, I mean, the light only comes on when it's turned on, to be fair, but it's just decided not to wake up today. Oh, well, it is one of those things. Did he fill the fridge up with Bepis? I did fill, he did fill, he did fill the fridge up with Bepis. And chat, got some deodorant. Good times. Yes. Turns out all I need to do is get chat to remind me of my various daily errands, and then I'll do them. Who'd have thunk it, eh? Let me just turn the sound down a little tiny bit. There we go. No extra time with Japanese playoffs games. In the event of a draw, however, that's wild. No, you think that it would be like a, a, a last ditch tiebreaker, right? Something that you would put down at the last second, not just a thing that would just occur. Just the game just ends at half time because like, they were. <laughs> ah. Well, Maltese, well, that's the plan anyway. A coin flip. I mean, honestly, to be fair, that would be less fair, I suppose. At least this has got some kind of basis in reality. And like, technically, they did finish higher up the league. So, yeah, exactly. You've, you've now got evidence that Pog once again hasn't left me. Yeah, <laughs> it's weird. The, the, the prayer pressure of a few hundred people telling you to do something, it sure does help, I must say. First to, first to commit Sudoku. Find them numbers, damn it. Ah, uh, yeah, well, yeah, indeed. But, you know, that's why I put a ring on it, to at least provide another hurdle that you'd have to give to ring back. What? What? I'm not giving a ring back. She's just, just going to steal it. Just, it was a gift, Matt. It's <laughs> mine, Matt. It's just yours now. All right, all right. It's getting close to lunchtime. It's 11 o'clock. You can sort of... I feel like you're at a kind of stage where you can crack out a pack of crisps or something, right? It's like pre-lunch. Of, of course you've had a packet of crisps. You're a man of yogurt. It's, it's, it's a day that ends in Y and it's the morning. Of course you've had crisps. Did you have some of your big pack of salt and vinegar? Yeah. Pog found these party packs of these salt and vinegar crisps on uh, on Club Card in Tesco's. Pizza and Beckerson coming. So nice! In my life. She was un... I was so excited. More excited than a human should be about something so simple, but I kind of appreciate it. <laughs> Don't know if she was even that excited when I proposed, honestly. Oh, yeah, I didn't cry. Yeah, but that was that was mostly out of sadness. Oh, God. Like, I've got to say yes. I'm stuck with him now, I'm stuck with him now. Oh, exactly. Can we see a ring live in the flesh, Pog? Oh, you have to get up. You'll have to hold it near my face, because 
it's going to be blurry otherwise. But do, yeah, do what you like. It's the camera's not going to autofocus on it. So there you go. And ring. <laughs> when did you propose? Ah. Uh... Second of October. There you go. She remembers. <laughs> It was the first day of our holiday. Bill, I don't know when we went on holiday. It's been a busy couple of months for me. I don't know if you really... <laughs> I've been busy, love. Uh, oh, there you go. Lovely nails. Pog got a haircut this morning. She's got new hair. Can't even see where the Titanic is. I know. It's crazy. What is my one rule? Always remember when you proposed. And I've broken my one rule by replacing it with another. Can you've you see my ring as well? You've, you've got about 41 rules. And Cor it's doing my fucking head Correct. In. Uh, this is my one. This is my one ring. <laughs> that Pog definitely didn't buy me. <laughs> <laughs> I know you didn't buy it. <laughs> That's why I'm saying it. You emphatically didn't buy it. Rubbish. Uh, Aston Martin Heart Trend, thank you very much for the 100 bits. What's Nana said? Ah, she doesn't like dick. Poor stream, Nana. Oh, this isn't where I park my car. <laughs> uh, Marvelous Badge and Casino Robert Reventa. Thank you for the follows, guys. They'll okay with it. Well, maybe. I mean. Depends how much you piss me off. So a lot then? Yeah, mm, okay. Pretty much, yeah. How many subs must have you all invited? 10 billion. That's right. Setting the target high, but I think you can get that. Not inviting chat. <laughs> chat can come as a single entity. They can nominate a person. We'll just have you on screen. <laughs> they can nominate one person that has to represent chat. But they must wear a mask that just says chat on it the entire time and just display just Twitch chat. <laughs> That's my. These are my terms. Choose so to accept them or not. Just letting you know now, we're not streaming the wedding. Well, I've been told that chat. That, that is a thing that has happened. We're not streaming the wedding. <laughs> His screen's on a segue. Twitch plays Matt's wedding. And we're wedding dancing. <laughs> You're just there normal, and I'm just like, woohoo! That's you normal anyway. I'm sorry, I'm a fine dancer at weddings. You you haven't seen me do kung fu fighting. I have seen you do kung fu fighting. I know. Yeah. Someone wanted to be chatting. Yeah, exactly. Just like a mask with a thing on the thing that has like, the monitor on it. Chosen the first dance. Nah. Not yet. We don't really have us un song or anything. We were discussing yeah, this. Song, yeah. The other day about like I know what I'll do my father daughter dance to. Oh a good one. You marry him then. Like, <laughs> oh, this is where I park my car. Joshua Hill, thank you very much for the follow. <laughs> Redeemed vowel request, not stream. I know YouTube oh, of course, yeah. You gotta get on the VODs, right? So Ta I see Matt Tango to Lincoln Park. <laughs> I reckon you could actually turn numb into a like tango flamenco style bop, if you think about it. It's got the right beats. You just have to adjust the time signature slightly, and I think you could actually make that work. Nice. Dun 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 it could work. No. That's Tango, right? Or is that Apple Tango? I don't know. Um, <laughs> anyway, I've got to work, love. <laughs> right. could be, I could, you could be, actually. You're boring me. You, oh, oh. How did you get past security? security. <laughs> that's true, yeah. You're my bouncer. <laughs> Looking regret from the background. That could stop. That's any stream. Bye, Pog. See you in a bit, love. Bye. Love you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Harold's there. Who do you think's playing the brass band segment of the entire agreement? Come on now. It's not going silly. Run while you're still there. Run downstairs. Mine hurts me. I don't know what that is. Um, That sounds like a Rammstein song or something, but mainly just because I heard German in this. Hip flex. Yeah, it, right. it's fine. It'll work perfectly. It's a Rammstein song. Of course, it, literally, I just hear German words. And I go, yep, that's probably Rammstein. Why not, eh? We'll do a bit of Sonic. It'll be fine. Not, a ga not in game. Not in game. What, what do you think this is? A football manager stream? If you want football manager, you're going to have to go elsewhere, my friend. This is not that type of environment. <laughs> Same pint glass, most. No way. Which year is yours from, Doc? Because this, this is a tw the 37th Cambridge Beer Festival 2010. So it's going... Do you know what? It couldn't really be going much better, honestly. If it wasn't for the little blip that we had in terms of having to restart the save, basically, in the first season, things are... I'm very content with the way things are moving for us right now. Didn't win the league, but then have most of them. No way! So the only reason I have this glass is because we, there was a massive queue to get into it, and my mate and I found out that if we joined camera, we would get in, like, we'd basically skip the entire queue. So we just bought these glasses to join camera, and then got to skip the entire uh, queue. If we start the save, yes. Well, sort of. I have explained it all plenty of times, but yeah, the exclamation mark situation if you want to know what happened with that. Uh, I'll refund your point. Look at me staying on top it here. Getting off of that. Right, okay. So, firstly, this lookup, which I'm assuming is not a real lookup, so it will be a quick one for me to... Uh, uh, imagine if it is. Oh, 
I'm so sorry, postcode. I just assumed that this was just like a joke lookup that I was just going to have to request. The fuck is going on here? How is that? That means that the surname shit is in the Belarusian name pool. Oh my god! Port Hill Shri- uh, 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 <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, thank you, Port Hill for the 10 gifted sub. That's come out of fucking nowhere. Thank you so much, man. That's very, very, very nice of you. Was it because of Vladislav shit? He's out of contract, chat. Oh, welcome in, Ash. It's always quite, yeah. I mean, that's why I feel like the VODs are very useful. I, I do wish that we could have some kind of music on the VODs, but there's uh, what I wanted to do was have some kind of way where it would send a different audio track with music to the VODs, but there was no way that I could actually do that without it going through onto the other channels for stream as well. It was, yeah, it's it's a shame though. Um, that, so we've got to try and roll a few music. Yes, but that wouldn't go, that would then get... I don't understand. Yes, that would indeed solve the problem, but then that would also mean that we'd have to listen to royalty-free music again on stream, thus meaning that we might as well not bother. Um, that's why we're doing the situation how it is now, so we don't have to do that, basically. Mm. Ah, dear. I, I, we, he's... Not swearing if shit is, is a name Hedrick. now. It, it's true, Alice. Exactly. That's like a proper primary school get-out, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you very much for the 23 months, Alice, as well. Um, Presumably... If he doesn't want stupid money, right, we have to attempt to sign him. It is a biological imperative that we must sign shit. Please, Vladdy. He's got no agent. And youngster, which means he's not going to want loads of money. I don't even care if he's shit. <laughs> I, I can't believe this is real. Um, Three years, three years of shit. Can we do even more years of it? Can I get six years of shit? Right. He might agree to this too because he's a youngster. Six years of shit, chat. That is a lot. That is a feces or us there. Well, Vita. Wow, how's it going? Thank you for the 35 months. We're just signing a player whose literal name is shit and it's not a nickname. How did you find him postcode? Well first signing of the save sorted or not of the save of the stream sorted look at us go 11 14 it is chat and we've made a signing and then there's people that say oh you just never press the continue button or do any kind of signings and look at me go 100 years of solid shit well <laughs> i guess we're gonna find watch him actually be really good uh so basically well i mean his name's a real name so i don't really see how he can be on the forbidden list but also i delete all that sort of stuff before we start any saves just to make sure that we can get funny names oh thank you for the 16 months and glad you Callum. got that shit in for the three i'm glad we have two watch him be and we can put him in the loan farm potentially he could be a shit farmer the, the manure farm yeah i mean honestly i think i'll just see you guys sunday right <laughs> problem solved it doesn't solve any of our problems, but problem solved. Right, well, that was the best lookup of the year. Uh, so, next lookup, did MTK win again? Also, that reminds me, while I'm here, it was Duke's one that got rejected, wasn't it? So I'll just reject that one back again. And, right, cool. MTK Budapest, did they win the league again? Uh, they might have done, but we won't find out yet because technically their season hasn't finished and it hasn't, because it's a non-player, like a non-added league, it's going to take a little while for it to look around but i mean they won it last year in their first season of the top flight i'm guessing not though given the form that they're currently in although that wouldn't be league form would it that would be european form their manager's not doing a great job though he's got a 21 percent win rate Ooh. remind me to look it up later or a hundred points for now but remind me like in july or something no once we tick over into the next season it should show up edgar Simonov. now i know this one is a patreon region which means we get to there he is at supernova which means i can quickly make sure i do that keep history after retirement don't want to lose these guys accidentally and uh yeah there he is at supernova weird trivia fact i didn't have to do any fancy stuff to the database to get this team to load in perfectly fine which was nice i was worried that it might be one of those teams that might require us to do some extra shenanigans which i did have to do with two australian teams to get the patreon regents to load weirdness but there he is now yeah he's not he's not amazing but that is first season we actually got fourth in the league but missed out on europe because of the cup uh, i did a recap video that explains it all restarted but already a season in hang on i'm a little bit confused so the, if you want to know about what happened then exclamation mark situation will explain what happened basically youtube safe happening which youtube safe 
there isn't a YouTube safe. Um, there hasn't been for the last year. Oh dear. But yes, that is the situation of what happened with the whole... I also explain it in the main video that I put out this morning as well. Um, but yeah, just to make sure we got all our bases covered. And I even linked to the Twitch video. Misunderstood it. What part of it was not clear? Because um, I can explain it, but I really don't want to have to do it over again. That's why we have the uh, the commands for everything. Uh, so yeah, that's Edgar. We got him on the Keep History After Retirement list now, so we all sorted. Situation indeed, yeah. <laughs> that's already happened. <laughs> that's a different one entirely. Callum Charles. Now, I remember him being Jamaican, is he not? Jamaican at Notts County. Yep, there he is. Jamaican at Notts County. Callum Charles in all his glory. Uh, born in Nottingham. I like that. I mean, I guess he was. Then again, my guy was at Fulham and he was born in Barbados because reasons. So there he is. Callum Charles, Jamaican English at Notts County. Boom. Hit that. Keep history after retirement as well. Slowly but surely, we'll just add them all in, basically. Just one of you. No, I, I don't, BD Roller. Uh, basically, I changed my YouTube content because the channel was dying, basically. So I had to mix things up a little bit. Snow is blocked. Wait, snow? Is it snowing where you are? No way. That's awesome. I, I mean, not unless you have to be somewhere. <laughs> ben Craig, thank you for the 25 Morning months, my man. Matter, less well. than three. What is this? I like this. Ooh, solid song. Whoever requested this. I appreciate that. That's a good bop. Oh. Is it really? Huh. Well, okay. Uh, that's, um, like, Pog loves a bit of snow, but not when she has to actually be somewhere. I'm hoping all these song requests have went through. Obviously, I hope you would tell me if they didn't, um, but they should have done. Uh, Jacob Wanker. Okay. Surely not. Okay. What is going on in the Houses of Parliament? How have we got... These are real players. Essentially, the short story is Scott. Issue with the database. We restarted the save, but managed to do the did the entire CS season one off camera again. But made all this had it pre-programmed with all the same transfers. Got the exact same league positions. Everything was the same, and then we just progressed as if nothing happened. Basically, holy lord! No, these are real players. Like that's not. I mean, we can't sign him because he would actually cost us money, presumably. Yeah, no. That makes sense that he wouldn't join us because obviously he plays for an Austrian side. That's wild. Loan maybe. Could loan him, potentially. Uh, oh, shit. I hate the fact that when I exit talks... There we go. But why does it... Why does it not take me to... We're not, we won't be able to loan him now anyway because we're in the wrong part of the season. But we might try and do it after... Because actually, you know, finishing Fiona! looks a bit all right. Pacey. Can't go wrong with that. Football Man Dave. Thank you for the follow. Let's check a wanker and PD. Indeed. Uh, are we a season in? Uh, we're at the start of season three, Scott. So we've already done that stuff before. Yep, crack on. Save could potentially be stuffed. Wonder if, uh, hang on a minute. I think my save could potentially be stuff. Wonder if anyone had a way to rescue if they experienced a similar thing. The problem is I don't know what the thing is. But feel free to explain it. Um, we'll see if there's anything about it that we can maybe do. But it, it just entirely depends on what it is, right? Good stuff. Plan for transfers. Well, I mean, at the moment we're just signing memes. But we really shouldn't be doing that. I do have a plan, though. You sure this isn't Hadrian's work? I'm almost certain. Hadrian, this isn't you just messing with names, is it, right? No, Pog. Pog was here for the start of stream, yeah. Small old database. It's nothing to do with this small database. It's to do with the actual editor data database of stuff. It was basically FM released an update and it broke a load of things and then we fixed it. But if we'd have kept playing, it would have got a bit silly. So we've made, And it's made the save way harder and I just like it. Is this him? Oh yeah, I can't click those links because um, Twitch always puts fucking commas in them in the weirdest places. What a time to enter it. Yeah, so there he is. Meme signs aren't serious. Well, to be fair, I'm worried that the shit guy... I'll add him to the shortlist. We might be able to get him on loan or something this summer, potentially. That's wild. I love it. Both shit and wanker in the same stream. Things you'll have to see. Now, obviously, this is going to turn up all sorts of people. In fact, it's going to be like an absurd amount because obviously... Was he born in fucking... Didn't they change the name of that place now? I love that Fred just rocks up, as does Luke Shaw. Um, Lots of Thai and Vietnamese dudes. Mostly Vietnamese. I'll refund your points because there wasn't anyone specific there. Ah, David Cross. Now, I know that's another Patreon region. Uh, if I could spell it correctly. I believe he gens at... Well, it's a Phoenix. Yes, there he is. Another one for... I'm glad that this is all working now. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, people kept stealing the side, didn't they? Haven't lost any progress. No, literally nothing. We lost no progress whatsoever. Um, We actually came out of it on top, would you believe, essentially, because everything remained exactly the same and we got to play on a much more difficult and more fun database at the end of it. So the only thing I really regret is the fact that people may have started saves on it. And actually, I'll tell you what, David, you're legitimately good. Like, he's actually really decent. 
Like, David Cross is an actually... He might be a candidate for being a genuine... Like, I think New Zealand international for him in the future. That tackling alone at 17 is wild. He's very good. Silly Things. Uh, the Silly Things was the game basically started allocating television money for every single match, regardless of whether it was on television, leading to teams getting up to three times as much money as they should have done, on top of what they were already getting, which was perhaps a little too high in, to begin with. 69 kg. Everything's coming up us. Uh, it's a shithole. I feel like I can take this time to do this now, just purely on the fact that... Uh... Wait. Trialing? Trialing? I think we're trialing. I think, I think that's what we're doing there, chat. We are trialing indeed. Shithole. Just, what, what, what is going on today? Yeah, Johnny, that's exactly it. Um, To give you an idea, at the end of our first season, our board gave us... It, they didn't, obviously, but in, they would have given us a million pound in transfer budget after one season because of that bug basically whereas now we have 170k at the end of the second season where we came third in the uh, second in the league entering not that one which one are we just going to sign everybody that's got a funny i mean who am i asking of course we are uh lavelle now i remember is it danny lavelle yes it is fue labrada the irishman slash englishman because it always does that um danny lavelle at fue labrada now first touch and passing potentially all right there actually it's it could be worse frankly but again he's on the list what i'm going to do as well is i'm going to do like a every five years of the save i'm going to do like an update video about the regions on patreon specifically for the patreon regions obviously uh, so that way we can keep an eye on them all individually in there too um endrick as in do you mean the one we had before the that's jeff hendrick isn't it do you mean jeff hendrick <laughs> morning kyle it really is, Carl. Yeah, I wish there was some way that we could have something on the other one, but there's just simply no way that I can transmit two different audio signals like that because I would like to at least have some copyright-free stuff. I might put like a little thing on the... Just whack Spotify on in the background, honestly. The 30-year-old Endrick. Yeah, I don't know if he's in the database this year. I think Hadrian mentioned that he might not be. Oh, no, here he is. He's the Malaysian dude. Yes, that's right. He's the guy that plays for Malaysia. Yeah. Well, trial, obviously. <laughs> we couldn't not trial Endrick today, chat. Imagine if I make the same video as last year, just with the exact same title. Ah, <laughs> uh, we're just doing full memes, apparently. How much? Oh, I think they'd be better off for it. Postcode. What? What a player Jeff Hendrick is. I will not stand for Jeff Hendrick slander. Um, he got shit off. He's a real. He's Bulgarian, isn't he? Uh either way, he's not in my database, sadly. Uh Kim. Ch ah, good old Kim. I think we checked on Kim last time. Because I think... Oh, no. There's Kim. Another North Korean to knock about. The booty. The booty still won't sign for us because he's playing in League 2 now, which <laughs> you're like, wait, what? <laughs> but yes, that's considered a step up from where we are. Quite considerably, in fact. Oh, no. I know it is, Bobby. Um, which is why I don't believe we're going to have to rely on the loan farm as much. I think that with the extra stuff that's happened with the transfer, with the AI squad building, plus the um, changes to the transfer... Sorry, the way that Hadrian's changed the transfer preferences, I think it might actually be easier for us in general. Hmm. Ah, good flair. He does, actually, yeah. And Pika Blue, thank you very much for the four months. Hope you're having a lovely morning. He Was he Bulgarian, Big Forehead? I swear I remember they were putting a player called him. Called him. Dixon Job. And Young Afrikaans. Damn. He's actually suitably decent. Obviously, I can't sign him, but he looks like a genuinely decent player actually oh belarusian that would also make sense since they are the uh, the nation of the funny names today apparently very solid player but unless our scouts bring him to us uh, naturally we can't pick him up escobar well the team's up um well we might not need to uh well there you go bolivia under 20s manager pablo escobar any new signings yet yes remarkably yes <laughs> he hasn't actually joined us yet but he will uh but yeah that's that's pablo escobar i'm trying to get through these as quickly as we can so we can actually get into some oh my life uh, asking me to spell it. Oh, there he is. He's just a manager. Oh, look at that. I mean, he's a dreadful manager. Like, utterly woeful. Link in the database video been up Yes. Um, all, all of the links to the database, the new sort of version of Malta, are now updated. Hello, Vaughn. We just signed a player whose name is quite literally shit. Um, what a day. Need a new assistant. I think I'd be better off with no assistant than this chappy. Truthfully, I really would. Lewis Miley, and then we're good to go at Newcastle. Who needs to continue? Well, I mean, we've already proven that you don't need to continue to enjoy FM, right? 
Hi, well, yeah, he'd probably be better as a head of youth development, honestly. His coaching attributes combined. <laughs> Make a decent cup up. Well, he'd have to, yeah. Man, be, he better be gr brilliant at making toast. Truthfully. Caca or mud? No, no, Vaughn. Actually, the word shit. <laughs> Not even like a... Yeah. <laughs> we signed up. You, you think I'm kidding? I promise you, if you've just joined... Not a nickname. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Um, someone in chat, like, asked me to look it up and I thought it was a joke. It is not, in fact, a joke. And he is hopefully going to sign for us for six years. And the thing is, I don't even think he's that bad. He's going to be bad. But I kind of want to find out. Like, what's in a name? I mean, yeah, indeed. That's his actual name. Lovely stuff. Right, well, we're going to progress. I want to sign him before we do anything oh, else. Oh, this isn't where I park my car. <laughs> Panda Plays Games, thank you for both the follow and the prime immediately. That's really kind of you, sir. That's very, very nice of you. Thank you for that. Some say, I mean, he's bound to be crap, isn't he? Or, alternatively, <laughs> just as well, these aren't monetized, isn't it? So the one exception. Oh, yeah, but the fact is, he's clearly not crap. He's clearly, like, going to be rubbish. I'm happy to sign meme signings like that if we can, but I don't want to take, like, really good signing suggestions through chat like that because it's just not as fun. Right. So also, just before we do progress, right, here's my plan. I want to try to get Grineo and Marza back. I doubt it's going to happen, but we can try anyway, right? So we'll have to wait for that to happen. Esselink, I would also like to try to get back. We might have a chance of getting Esselink back because Europe, just thinking about it. Hamadi, I'm not bothered about. Molinar and Sen, I'm not bothered about because we've got players coming in to fill those spots. So that's going to put us in a good spot. But most likely, we're going to end up losing all of these loans. I suspect, anyway. You're getting there, Panda. You're getting there. It gets a bit weird. It starts a bit weird, and then it gets weirder. It's pretty much just my vibe these days. Right. Okay. Hopefully the uh, recap video is going down all right. And we're not... I'm sure there'll be a couple of misunderstandings about some of the stuff to do with um, what we had to do. But that's just... You know, there's only so many times you could explain it, right? I think we chose the best course of action there. We put another... Not yet we didn't because... We need to wait really until the season ticks over. Because at the moment we're not considered a club in Europe. But I'm hoping that when we are, that might change anything. I, I find it annoying as hell that that's the case. To me, players should be willing to join you because of that the moment you actually qualify for it. But because at the moment the game doesn't consider us in Europe, we have to wait until we are. And I think, honestly, I might hold off for a little bit until such time as we are, just because otherwise we'll be signing worse players. Oh. Hey, Edric's not awful. First time I've said that today. Oh, oh speaking of weirdness, chat. Something they fixed. I don't believe they have. Um, not to my knowledge, anyway. I haven't seen anything about it being fixed. It is a cover of Africa, yes. Cobbler Sean. Thank you for the eight months. Wonderful, Babby. Shitty dicks for life. Let's go. <laughs> go on, stream, Nana. You tell him. Want to see his wages are so we can make... Oh, yeah. I, I kind of just want to mess with people yet again. <laughs> for was <laughs> over 10. No way. Um, are you okay, Slugs? Uh, let's move that out of the way. Right, okay. Before we do the girls, actually. Uh, odd... Hang on. Advocadva. <laughs> I thought that was Advocadva, like the Harry Potter thing. But good name. I I rate that. Uh, shit, what was I going to check? So I was going to do right before I did that. Oh, yes. Second tier. What a battle this is, by the way. Sorry to go all football cliches there. Mosta got promoted from the second tier along with Tarshin, right? They got promoted on goals scored. They had 65 points. Both had a plus 29 goal difference. And Senglea, who were newly promoted, nearly got up. And if they'd scored one more goal against Zurich in the final match day, they'd have got it. They won 4-0 and they couldn't quite do it, whereas Mosta won 2-0 over Peter Hotspurs. They were one goal away from getting back-to-back -back promotions to the top flight. Oh, no, it doesn't do head-to-head. -head. We do, um, we have the, what's it, what's Adrian call it? His seven-layer dip. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Hadrian has like the most fair sorting rules that he just applies to everything. Used to, yeah, but that, but again, Scott, so we're not using. The, anyway, we're using a, a fairer approach, entrance, basically. Uh, what Hadrian calls his seven layer dip. You could see them. Look, I'll show you. So it goes um, goal difference, goal scored, games won, goals against, games lost, results between teams, then there's a head to head in there, a uh, discipline record as well. That's sort of the, the most fair way of sorting it. So that's what we use. Frankie Minnesi running to No way. What, like full time, Andrew? I have not seen that. For who? That's wild. Veritas, thank you for the follow. I, I need information. I expect Eric will make Erica's e step will make a video about it, but what the hell? Um, I think it's just slightly better. Right. So yeah, what a battle that was. Uh, season review, we don't want to do that. Support profile, naturally us coming. This is what I mean about this screen. It is just utterly pointless. Why would we have lost 101 followers on social media this season? <laughs> it just makes no sense. 
Uh, right, what do they want from us? Same as before. Work within wage budget. Be competitive in the Conference League. I... Ooh, so that's top four again. I'm the um, it is just pure fluff, in it? Wow, they've really got the their mitts in quite quickly to the Conference League. Didn't do enough TikTok dances. Ah, true. Rock Dog, thank you for the follow. You signed shit. Ah, true, yeah. They heard you new signing shit. <laughs> I can't really argue with that. Right, at least the atmosphere is solid. And now we get the wonderfulness. And this is my favorite feature in FM24 is going into these meetings and not having to say anything and just leaving. Oh, what I begged for them. I'll tell you. Hey, Medi. Even what team annoys. Oh, I always associate with Haugesen, Medi. Um, so what I'm saying is, hey, you're Thromsa. But like still, uh, how's it going with Haugesen this season? I, saw, I remember the clubs of like certain people just because they may have spoken them about them a little bit more in stream. Uh, right. Let's get this signing sorted. Is please... Oh, that's just the silly... Yeah. Why for... Yeah, it's... At least we have an out, right? We essentially, for those meetings, become Abe Simpson working into the walking into the burlesque house. That's basically us in those. Right. I'm tempted on this chappy here. Because he was... I was looking at him before. You already know about him as well. Divine T. Because... He, would, he wouldn't count as homegrown yet, but he would count as homegrown eventually because he's already done a year in Malta uh, with Tarshin. And he's out of contract. But the question is, do we want to sign him from them? Because he wouldn't count as homegrown yet, but he would be free because he's out of contract entirely. Solid name too. Yeah, Divine Tier. Oh, they're so good, Rock Dog. Just way more wild things can happen. This could be optional. Miles said no. Maybe, yeah. Because they'll just sign other people. He's going to move to someone anywhere, I suspect. It probably would be Taya, but to me, it's Divine T. He is a proper cuppa. It's the boy, Mikey, with the seven months. Thank you, Mikey. It's very kind. Seven months. Let's go. Thank you, friend. And uh, you, I. That's just you, you, written backwards, isn't it? <laughs> you, you, 21. Thank you for the follow. It's a pong. I'm getting free cuddles. I open my That's, own don't, don't squeeze my titty. <laughs> I am being assaulted. <laughs> How dare you? Streamer harassed live. Where you playing up front? Uh, no. I mean, I don't think we would, no. He would probably... He might go into the loan farm, truthfully. If he's cheap enough. You can have a bath. Yeah. Cool. Because I've all that crap in my hair. Oh, you like Pog's jumper? Hang on. It's a fisherman bear. Fisherman bear. There's a, a, a clothing company that just makes, like, various bear-related jumpers, but with That's slightly different jobs. Uh, don't feed the bears. That's it. Yeah. They're dope. Jumper needs bear fangs. Oh, welcome in, you. And I've got my cool uh, It's literally called, if you just Google Don't Feed the Bears, uh, it's like a clothing company that makes like stuff like that. But that's quite an old one. I probably don't make that oh, anymore, but there's loads of them. Uh, they're really cool. Lazarus Maiku, thank you for the follow. Where's my jumper? My jumper is from Top Man. That's right. It's very old. Bye, bye. <laughs> okay. bye Pog. Um, I'm going to have a bath. Yeah, you said. Yeah. You get another one afterwards. You're going to combo them, right? Yeah, get like a stack of baths. Yeah. Bath stack. It's always. It's, your one, it's my one rule. Don't feed the bears. Hi, Pog. Bye, Pog. It's because I am a top man. No, I bought this in 2009, this jumper. It's actually stayed in remarkably good nick. I only really break it out around about November, December kind of time. Apparently, youth players will join us. Um, Maybe so, but we still have to find them, right? And if they're not going to be recommended by our scouts, then I'm not going to just, like, cheat it. I'm not going to meta it, right? Uh, I think we try to get this guy, provided he doesn't want too much money. Squad player is a bit, a bit much. He feels like the type of player that we might be able to bring in on that because it'll get his wages lower and then tell him that actually he's not going to play that much. Nah, fuck it. We're going to try Breakthrough Prospect. Going to lock it in, see what he says. If he says no, then fair. That's fine. Interesting. Wait, hang on. Fuck, you can have a stepping stone if you want. Cooper, All right, whatever. Do not hate me. <laughs> I have okay, then. Watch him sign for the other team on that same squad, Rob, by the way. Codaline, thank you for the follow. I almost guarantee that bro is going to sign for Master Schlock on a Breakthrough Prospect contract or something. It feels an inevitable at this point. That shit. Getting on to the conference league. Yeah, I mean, we're building our squad poorly as well. There's just no way around it, really. Fiona! Because the problem is, we're not going to have enough players for the homegrown stuff because we we can't find players of a reasonable quality that will meet those requirements very easily. It's We're going to have to essentially make them ourselves, right? Prawn Master HD, what a great name. Innocent shit wouldn't happen, though, because Innocent wouldn't be in the Belarusian name pool, and they have to be in the same name pool. But that's fine. We're going to have to make them ourselves. But that's one of the things we're going to be planning to do today. 
how do I know if I save is jinxed by the glitch which they fixed? Um, well, okay. Did you start the save on the original version of the database with a Maltese club? Because if you did, then it's almost certainly... Well, there's, I see no reason why it wouldn't have been screwed by it because it wasn't like a bug so much as like a, a thing they fixed in the game out of nowhere that basically had a... Yeah. Life, uh, life tool three. And that's what we find, I think, wild to do. Yeah, he's Kamenzuli. I uh, can't see Kamenzuli. But if he comes through, then he comes through, right? Getting world, yeah, but we can't afford world scouting. Um, we are going to do European scouting, though, once we get to June 1st. Oh, nice one, Johnny. Hope you enjoy it. Die Hard Monkey, thank you very much for the prime. It's very kind of you, sir. Hope you're well. I want to get to the 1st of June. That way we can get the scouting started a new month, basically. Youth intake was the worst youth intake I've ever seen. Like, our best player was two star PA for Biz Bikikara. Oh, yeah, so we're not going to be able to sign it if he's already playing for one of the big sides. Uh, Pavel Nedved, is he actually in the. Oh, he is. I mean, he's amazing, but imagine if he just was like, yeah, fuck it, why not? Can't hurt to stand a club. I will. Pavel, come on. He's very fucking good, isn't he? Like, so actually, great shout if you want to pick someone up like that. Obviously, we can't, but holy damn. Just start saying, Malta, nice. Did you use the new database? Natural points deduction? <laughs> yeah. Stop all scouting at the end of the. Yes, you've got to be careful with that. We're going to go to June 1st, then switch it over to European... Sca Chat is happening. Chat, it is happening. We sign in Vladislav Sheet. Does he sign immediately? June 9th. Judgment Day. Bro's going to attempt to learn Maltese. Oh, save me feeding more money to the evil Duolingo owl. It's good times. Things you'll have to see. Uh, Mel I mean, I love a Melvin. I can't. You can't go wrong with a Melvin. Melvin Platia. Uh, nope, sadly not. Must be not in the top flight of a nation. Genera, again, very solid names. Z Zefric. Ah, neither of them. Are they second tier by any chance? Or a hundred points. Has it signed? Oh, that's a good point. Can we see more about him? Uh, it's not good, chat. Same with database on FM23. Uh, not really. We do have an FM23 version of the database, but obviously it's based on the original stuff. Languages. I don't know if there are, honestly, in render. He's going to be trash. Cold players and duck country. Yeah, it's just because obviously with the way we set the database up, they're most likely not going to be there. Uh, to be fair, he does have really good working with youngsters. How much is he on? £550 a week, bro. For a one-year contract. It's good uh, you came in summer. Fuck it, we're just extending for now. It can get better. Shit, signing confirmed. Did it? <laughs> yes, it did. Yes, it do be saying that. Johnny Rufo, thank you for the follow. Um, we're gonna have fun. What a Harold Drake. It does it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my dick and shit and and dong. We just need to find a guy called Bungalow. We are this close. Uh, let's see, I don't think we're gonna find one, but you never know. No, we've got Mikel Biron though. Sadly, not quite. Oh, good times. See, for any future... Should it be mandatory to learn the language? You'd think so, Argy. Yeah, you'd think. But here we go. Wait. Oh, zero pounds. Right, I thought Hammer and are buying someone. Oh, one thing we definitely do need to do this summer, especially, is keep an eye on... I'm going to go the long way. The very, very long way. Let's keep an eye on this screen once we tick over. To see if there's any wild signings coming in from other sites. Because there's bound to be, right? Winston! Thank you for the follow. We already looked up Bungalow. I'll refund your points. There wasn't anyone. Uh, how significant the change? Honestly, Smash, I think it's... It, it's weird. Because a lot of the stuff actually feels the same. But bloody hell, the match engine alone makes it so much worth it. It is so fun to play the actual games. Rather than just menu grinding. It feels so fun to actually play matches in the game and not feel frustrated at it all the time. Like when you concede, even when you concede shit goals, it doesn't feel like cheese. It feels like that's just the thing that happens. It looks so much more realistic. It's like they've managed to find a way to actually create mistake type goals that don't look ridiculous. And when they do, it's funny ridiculous, not infuriating ridiculous. <laughs> feels like last year you could see so many goals where your defender would just go through a header and just miss it ridiculously when there's no one around them whereas now that just simply would not happen pretty much it, it's just so good but yeah we want to keep an eye on this to see if there's any like crazy stuff happening but these are also Maltese guys um but yeah I'm excellent spicy how are you friend how does Zerate do he was pretty solid if I recall he scored against us because obviously he did I mean to be fair most people scored against us toaster 
So I tell the swamp donkey to sack it just before I give it a tonk in the tradesman's end. Bab Spear, thank I'll you for the follow. There's just so, it feels like the name pool is just better this year. We've got Screamer, Toaster, uh, Wanker. Shit, it's, there's a lot of possibilities, frankly. On your birthday. Oh shit, that sucks. Um, but chat, can we get some H H H H H B B B B Bs in the chat for Kaka? That's that sucks, man. Um, hope you're better soon though. You can indeed, uh, Bigfoot. Yes, you can transfer your saves from F twenty three to twenty four, which is dope. He's pretty good. Yeah, obviously we can't sign him, but he's pretty good. Yeah, that's the thing. It felt like you were being cheesed in FM last year. When well, not just last year for a lot of them, but now it just doesn't feel like. That. I've not had a single game where I felt cheated by it. You know. And that's always a good sign. Uh, we're going to have to pay... Soon. Oh, yes, yeah, so very soon. They are oh, it's only 35 plan. grand. It's not too bad. New scouting budget. What are they giving us for this, actually? Okay. We're still going to wait till the 1st of June to tick that over, though. My Gucci cat. Thank you for the follow. Toaster, what a shout that is. But yeah, we're going to do European scouting. And that way we can get into some uh, amateur squads and see if we can find anyone dope. Because that's really where our um, release clause could see Dick leave Sirens. I mean, if someone's going to pay me 700 grand, then honestly, the take him. Like, we would do so much with 700 grand. They're not going to pay that. No Maltese side's going to pay that. And no one outside of Malta is surely going to pay that for Dick, right? Bigfoot, thank you for the follow. You still play Toaster behind Danny Pop? <laughs> play Toaster. Yeah, no, it's such a good feature. And the fact that they've already, I believe, said that they're going to take... You'll be able to take FM24 saves into 25. Which is... Considering the changes, he's really sick. So severe, I have AD4K. That's a great burn, to be fair. Uh, yeah, ECL, we'll be getting that in today, that's for sure. In fact, I think that most of our signings probably won't even be done by then. Uh, Binate, it's free transfer, actually. Oh, he's not bloody Maltese. Abdul Wahid Binate. Let me just check his eligibility, just in case. Nah. Like, if he was Maltese and had Maltese ability, like, Maltese nationality and declared from like you know what I mean like uh, eligibility then I'd be all over Benate just as another body for our group state for our chap our European team but he's pointless to us because of that he's not bad but I love that it's on a player from Canada rehash an old cutsy video and have a contest of who can make the best names in the it's the game's done it's done good work I'm just hoping it delivers on the regens because all of these are real players thus far that's the scary thing about it Trust the person. Yeah, but by then it wouldn't matter because then he'd be 26. So him being Maltese then is irrelevant. He needs to have Maltese eligibility. Basically, he needs to be classified as homegrown. That's what we were looking for. Sam Fogwa, thank you very much for the six months. Hope you're well. Training Malta Freebies. That's the plan anyway, if we can find some. Um, but I want to wait until... We'll have to do... I think the best time to do that would be the 1st of June because that way they'll all be released by then. Oh, I think we can do some more stuff in the meantime. Any still. Um, most sites have got discounts for it, I think, Mikey. I mean, obviously, Fanatical, with my code, will it won't be the discount from before, but it will still get you a discount. Um, I need to update that. So, Poulos is gone. We just don't need him, honestly. Uh, these two here expire as well. Gideon, we were happy to let go. Bismarck, I don't think we need Bismarck anymore. Does he count us? He's not got like, any homegrown statuses to him or anything, does he? No. So, he's just taking out wages at this point. And Gideon obviously isn't, and that would save us another £800 a week, which we could use for other things. Hey, 8889. Staff contracts, will leave that as it is for now. Uh, really? Larry getting a Namibia call up at the death. At, at the death. He's 33. He's literally younger than me. <laughs> but that's not a point. And Ishet. Oh, Ishet getting his first cap for Sierra Leone. That'd be dope. Just for him. He's not got a clause in there or anything. That's our Larry. Uh, a lot, Lawrence. So you, we'd go. For, we'd have to get through four different ties to get into the Conference League groups. If we get, I'll be amazed if we get past one team. If we get lucky and draw like a Welsh, Gibraltarian, Andorran, San Marinese team, maybe that's how we get through. He's our Larry. Three plus playoffs. Well, that's still three rounds, isn't it? Um, Federico Gucci. Right, one more day to go, and then we can move this all over. I can't wait to see shit join us. Where's the draw? Um, I think with the first round... No, unfortunately not. I think with the first round, you don't get a draw. You just kind of get your... Like, it just kind of gives you it. Which is a bit weird. Because there should be, right? We'll draw a Danish... Da Watch it. We could technically draw, like... Actually, let's have a look. We could draw, like... <clears throat> Do you know what? I'm trying to think one of the best teams we could draw in this first round. A Kosovan team might be quite tough, but actually, to be fair, a Bosnian team would probably be what we don't want. Because if we drew someone like fucking 
it would be someone like Zrinski Mostar. That would they would absolutely destroy us. Or Zalesna Shah. Wales would be quite easy, yeah. But I reckon we want to avoid a Bosnian team. They're probably the toughest one. Georgian, maybe someone like Dinamo Tbilisi, but they probably wouldn't be in that round, would they? They're normally the league winner. It'd be so uh it could be someone like Torpedo, maybe. Potentially. Chuck! How's it going? Thank you for the 39 Hot months. Almost 40 months. Hope you're well, Matty. Mike said that um he saw you the other day. Ugh. Most of us is Mostar would be very fun. Unfortunately, they're second. Well, they're not second tier anymore, technically. Yeah, there's no point in thinking about the luck. We're 44th. Oh, this is the thing, though, chat. When it ticks over, we're actually 47th. Um, I pointed this out in the in the video, but I noticed that we'd actually done... We'd actually gained points this year, right? Doesn't matter, because Albania, Montenegro, and Estonia have all moved us above us. Moved above us. So we're dropping to 47th next season. <laughs> Ogie Rat, thank you very much for the follow. Yeah, actually, to be fair, like someone like Shakhtar Kalagandi could be quite uh, a ball like as well. I think there's a good chance that we'll get someone we can beat. Nicholas Poulos is gone. Financial update. Oh, damn. Okay, that's not bad. What was that for? How did we go up to... Hello, Matto. Unless it was Missed just... the first 50 minutes oh, it could be because I got distracted by universal Damn. credit calls and then read ah. it. Have I missed any funny transfers? Thank you for the 11 months, and yes. But I'm not going to show him to you until the 9th of June when he officially joins us. Oh, sorry, Maddie, that's weird. Um, I saw the first message, but I didn't see that one, no. It's going to be impossible. Well, I think it's possible. Just on account of the fact that with the scaling, we might be able to go a bit further up. Skendia would be quite tough, actually. Shit transfer so far, quite literally, Beth, yeah. <laughs> uh, right, okay, first things first. Now, I want to dump in... It's annoying. I wanted 60, but it won't let you do it. Um, what I want is European scouting for the next couple of months, with the idea being... I believe it was the uh, sponsorship stuff coming in, potentially. Or something like that. I don't actually know. Let's see if we can find out. Oh, we can't because it's the fucking 1st of June, unless it... No, it doesn't. It's from last month. Oh, we can. Can we see, maybe? Income. Last month. Let's see. Where did that come in? So prize money's fine. But yeah, it was sponsorship money. It was sponsorship. Which is fair. I think it's Ro. We've still got to be prepared for the fact that at some point during this summer, I would almost be willing to bet the house that we're going to get a news article saying board plan new stadium. Because I feel like we've already got about six teams that have got those already on their thingy, and I think we're due. So we have to start hoarding some cash for that too. Right. With that being said, I think now would be a time to start looking for some uh, amateur regens, no? I guess our first port of call is just the usual suspects, just to make sure that there, if there are any there yet. It might take a little bit longer. Who knows? Ah, come on. Really, Belgium? God damn it. Belgium letting us down this time around. Maybe it takes a little bit longer. I don't know. Regardless, there's surely going to be other nations too that we can look at. Um, which ones do I normally like the most? I'm just going to go through them all and have a little look. I know I could... Oh, what we should do, actually. We might be able to find a few guys that are prior to... They're not in the squads yet, but they're getting close. There was one. Uh, yeah, but that's... Was it that Lyca Bell dude? Because if so, he's a player and elect and he's not... He is, but he isn't, basically. Oh, thank you, Kazubla got it right this time uh right let's just get rid of no we want that put it on unsure and then we want contract status we'll do amateur first and then we want based in but i love how it's just remembered from last time here we go oh we want uh hang on <laughs> probably should set an age range on that uh under 19 actually we want under 18 really don't we so 18 and under three guys okay the first few have arrived The first one is Jamel Maziani. Uh, hang on, let me just use my amateur filter so we can actually see if they've played any games. So he's played games. These three haven't. Look up close. Is it? Uh, shouldn't be. In fact, no, it can't be. We've had people looking stuff up today. I think Jamel is, is one to get, right? 28 appearances by the age of 16. He's one of those guys. If he could get him cheap enough and he'd actually be willing to talk to us. Breakthrough prospect. Oh, thank you, Doc. It's very kind of you, sir. I see your comments on the VODs. £60 a week. Yes, please. Three year I probably could have given him more, actually. Now, even if he's not great, I'm seeing enough about him from the mentals that he could be at least suitable. I don't think he's going to be fantastic, but he's also only 16. 
And bear in mind, I think this is what I mean. Like, it's only just started ticking in because these guys are 16 and 17, which means that they are brand new, really. So, Belgium was fun. But Croatia is always a good starting point to... Ah, we got 25 in Croatia. Right. Okay, now we're talking. We can already see these guys, so which we don't actually kind of want them. Not sure about him. He's played a decent amount, but I'm not sure if he's actually any good or not, truthfully. Oh, hang on. One thing he didn't look, actually, was um, non-contract in Belgium. One sec. Let me just go back to Belgium for a second. I forgot that we were looking at amateur specifically and not non-contract. See if there's any non-contract guys. Aha! right -o. Ah. Righty. Okay, let me just uh, auto-size that a bit. So there's these guys here. Steve Poiret. Good on both feet. Dunno about him, honestly. He's played a good amount. They've all played 28 games. Oh, they used to have. Uh, Joseph Collard. Uh, what in relation to Rob? Whoa! Joseph's rocking hair. Yeah, I don't know why. I mean, like, Hadrian literally just did a database like four minutes ago, so it should be working. Look at that. Siegfried and Roy called. They want their assistant back. Oh. Let's have a look. You wouldn't want loads of money. Short-term contract. Why would I give you that? It's definitely a wig. Yeah, he's overcompensating a little bit. Uh, let's just try and trial him. Like, with these guys, we can try and trial them. If we're not totally sure on them. Uh, and also, Yusuf van Arnholt. Right back. Tackling solid. Pace potentially good. Annoying that we can't see his crossing. He's... It was also Dutch. Tony Jameson tribute act. <laughs> Any good surfing in Malta? Just for joke. To be fair, I don't know. What's the surfing like, Scott, in Malta? Any good surfing beaches? Yusuf's an interesting one. If these guys are as cheap as they... If they stay as cheap as this, right, then it's really no harm in just taking a few punts. Worst case scenario, loan farm. And winter only. Interesting. One beach. Hey, there's a beach. That's all we need to know. The rest of the guys have not played anything yet, and their attributes, other than this guy's really good work rate, aren't looking spectacular yet. No, but I probably could have done that. With the, with the youth, with the youngster guys, I really should put boats in too. Okay. I want to look back to the... Yeah, we'll go back to amateur Croatians again. I reckon France and Germany would be a good little shout as well. Right, Croatia. What are we saying? Good determination on him. We already know all about him from before. Which was the interesting Croatian guy? Was it this guy here? No, wait. Hmm. A blue stats. There was a guy with... Oh, this guy here. Dragon Vrimnyak. Yeah, it's high teamwork. This guy's got some okays. Ilya Romats. Not wildly invested in him. We'll check um, non-contract for Croatia as well. Because it might be that there's more. His name is Dragon. This is true. 22. Oh, hello. Some of these guys are a little bit more interesting. Oh, I tell you what. Zelko Chianki. Or Chianki. Good teamwork. He looks a bit solid. Like, Zelko looks potentially interesting. Cooper, this guy could be quite well-rounded too. Me. I'll tell you what. Ilan Nezic. He's quite well-rounded too. Good on both feet. Like, I don't know. Uh, RL Vest, thank you very much for the follow. <sighs> Do you know what? We literally have, pardon me, we have European scouting. I just remembered. We could just scout these guys. We actually have the ability to do that. Oh, let me just turn biography off uh, comparison. We don't actually have to take punts on them immediately. That's really strange, Manny. Um, it, like I said, it seems to be working for everyone else. I don't want to scout them all because obviously we've got limited scout space. Uh, also, I've scouted the wrong person there, didn't I? Because that'll only be a one-week scout just to get us an idea. Even shop on the list. Um, if, if you don't have European scouting, one of the ways that we actually found this out with MTK was, no, they won't accept. Most of the time, players that have got clubs will not accept trial. Or the player might, but the club won't, basically. Because 
very rarely will clubs that actually have contracts, even when they're amateur contracts, won't let you trial their players. It's silly, but it's it's annoying. Uh, silly, but annoying. Let's try France. Yeah, you get absolutely buttloads in France. Now, a lot of them will be crap, but they are there nevertheless. But you get players like this that are certainly worth a little look, right? Oh, with MTK, if that was the case, the best thing to do was to look in the national... That's how we actually discovered this, was by looking in the national teams, because then they're guaranteed to be there. I'm just looking for clumps of colour, basically. That might be worth a little scout. He's got a blue stat there, but it's work rate again. And the rest of him is not particularly great. Some of them, obviously, we have less knowledge of. None of these guys have really played much yet. That's the issue. We might be like a year too soon. But you just never know with these kind of players. Occasionally, there might be one dude in there that's worth something. Potentially, anyway. Any other ones? Uh, what do you mean, other ones? Let me just try non-contract. Less of them, but that could still be useful for us, potentially. What are why they're different? Okay. Mamadou Dor, perhaps, from ES? Like... Yeah, Australia is a bit out of our range at the moment. Titoine. Spanish or not? Yeah, Spain is good too. Spain and Germany, they work as well. It's weird that they've all played... I think it might just be because that's the length of the season in that league. And because it's not switched on, it just keeps... It basically thinks they've played every game. Norway's very good too. No, we... I, the best player... When I was doing the scouting video and I was showing off this method, the best player I found was Norwegian. Mamadou Payne. Mamadou Payne. We would call him Max Payne for short. Oh, dear. Good signs. That, that's what you like to see. Good a bit of Mamadou Payne there. There's Cyril Beale. He just sounds like he's a character on EastEnders. Uh, right, we'll do Spain next. What does his dad do there? <laughs> Torturer, innit? Uh, right. He was part of the Sp French Inquisition. Okay, only 13. Okay, let's going to narrow it down a little bit. This guy's played a little bit for Sam Felix. Of course he has. Worth a scout. Might be a bit out of our price range because Sam Felix. Mamadou Payne is <laughs> just what a name that is. Most of these guys, it feels like a just they've got like one attribute. Jesus Christ, Alberto. Bro's looking like Medusa out here. Let's try um amateur. Amateur France, I think, is gonna have way more. Oh, okay. France being a bit This is Spain, Matt. <laughs> That'd be it. <laughs> this is John A. Nelson Chacon. Mm, Spain not quite doing it yet. N not yet. Germany? I want to get these ones out of the way because there's often just a big bunch of players. Uh, nobody's played any games yet in the German one. We might be a season too early on some of these, but if we still find a couple of guys, then so be it, right? And only two guys there. Uh, Finn Egger. Good. Yeah, I think Norway next, but I want to check out um, Serbia... But yeah, we'll do the we'll do the Scandies. Can I do like Scandinavia? No. Does Northern Europe count? Wait, can I do? It's good uh, you came in summer. In uh, winter. Northern Europe counts as Scandinavia, isn't it? Yeah. I suppose that allows it to encompass other things. Forty-four. All right, that's not bad. Oh Jesus! It isn't, but they are. Oh, dear. We'll switch it over to um, amateur, maybe. Oh, 112. Okay, this has surely got to produce something a bit better. Nigeria, we can't scout Nigeria. We're not. We're only, we only have European scouting. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Mickey Finn United and TTV Iman. Thank you very much for the follows, guys. Hmm. One big screen. Well, it's just easier to do it one by one because I like to be able to... I'm just weird like that. I just like being able to go one by one so we know which ones we've done. This guy at Hillerud could be interesting. Oh, he's a real player. Wow. So I yeah. tell the swamp donkey, a There's a lot of real players here, actually. This guy isn't, though, apples. surely. Dallum. Bloody hell. <laughs> Nicholas Stolberg. I mean, I want to beat his hairdresser and thank him. Conhal, thank you very much for the follow. He's, um... Man, he's living in the 70s, and I kind of like him just for that alone, right? Let's try... Where else in Europe? Oh, no, we have to do regions, don't we? Um, Central Europe? 
That's going to get us mostly those same guys. But you never know. There might be someone else in here from a random team, right? Hey, man. Hold yourself. No way. At Luca. In the game. Uh, you wouldn't be in the game because they don't have kit managers as part of the, the uh, backroom staff. I don't wish they would. Even if they had no attributes. It'd just be nice to have them there. A Royal Plat. Oh, hang on. We haven't looked at the Netherlands chat. Wait. I want to just isolate the Netherlands first because they're absolutely goated for this. Right. Amateur Netherlands. There we go. 99 people. He plays for quick boys. He better have pace. He kind of does, actually. <laughs> what about this top dude here? He's going to be a real player, isn't he? Oh, he's not. Oh, I tell you what. Sultan Mohammed here, he might actually be decent. Bring on the Flugelkamp, Heimler! Uh, ooh. Uh, J.S. Swano, thank you very much for the follow. Yeah, and a Dutch UAE guy. And look, what we can see, he's not bad. And it's a great name, too. He's got a bit about him. There's Linen Monk. Uh, what is the hair today? Tackling, marking, heading, positioning is kind of iffy. Jumping reaches a bit all over the place. But Linen Monk might be okay as well. For the next oh, yeah, I mean, he's certainly a candidate for sure. Uh, he has good determination, but not much else. If you see an amazing name as Rick Pot, good. Solid. Just scroll a little bit further. Because they could still be really good players further down. They've just not quite played for their clubs yet. That's why I always filter it by the number of appearances. Like, oh, tell you what. Yeah, he had to be an Armenian, didn't he? With the surname like Kachat... Kach Kachatrian. Ayo, hey, Moses. Marvin Yager. Uh. Now, some of these guys could also be quite good too. But we just have so few... We need to get, like, a scout with better Dutch knowledge. If we can. Ahmed Han. Okay, not amazing. But that's fine. We got the other one. Jürgen de Winter. Shit. Which one was Jürgen de Winter? Was he towards the top, I'm assuming. Uh, this guy here. Nah. He's basically just... He's, he's a pace merchant, nothing else. It's not like a FIFA streamer. <laughs> it's good fodder. Right. Non-contract. Ah, they don't do non-contract in um, Netherlands then. Switch it back to amateur again. And... Hmm, where have we not looked at sometimes? Oh, Serbia. I do like me some Serbia. It's not looking great. I, I think we are one year early on these. Because they just haven't had a chance to develop a little bit yet. Uh... Just nothing really there. Again, it's high teamwork, but nothing really stand out. Lukic ish. Not amazing pickings thus far, but in time. Completely amateur. Yeah, that would explain the lack of no contract, uh, the lack of non contract players, I guess, then. Um, if Belgium, you tend to get a bit of both. I just think we're one season early on those so far. But th that being said, there's still some players. That Let me just. Can I just. It's a shame you can't just select Europe. Or can you? No, you can't. I want to see if I. I don't want to miss any. So, Northeastern Europe, what does that encompass? JK Poseidon. Is this like, um... Yeah, he's stone... Oh, I see. It's like, yeah. Oh, we haven't checked Portugal. Good shout. Yes. He's played a lot. Real player, though. Yeah, we don't have the MLS loaded, so you wouldn't get anything there. Also, we don't have scouting for the United States. Uh... Oh, hang on. I want to just quickly check amateur here, don't I? Yeah, damn. I've seen producing good play. We've already checked Spain, though. Yeah, a lot of these guys are real. This guy here... Nah. I just want to be, this is why I use the colours that I do. I was hoping that um, Edgar's would turn up in there, actually. Yeah, I think if they were any good, they'd be in this batch here for Latvia. Let's just try specifically... A world... Would be, yeah, we could try a, a bit of world later on. Because we're not spending a lot of money on transfers themselves, are we? Uh, right, let me just check Portugal before we move on. Two guys in Portugal. Oh, Adelson Borges. It's Cabo Verde. And, I mean, I'll scout him, but I don't think he's much there. Austria, good point. Um, wait, what was that? Amateurs, we do non-contract. Nah, no non-contract. Wow, Portugal have got nothing this time around. Czech Republic, true. Let's just check Austria first. I don't know what their contract situation's like. Austria, one dude. Not great either. Oh, real player as well. Yeah, we'll, try, we'll have a look at the checks. Unless Austria have got any non-contract situations like they do in Germany, maybe. No. 
Let's look at Czechia. 21 guys on non-contracts. Okay. Can, no, so when I tried to do that, Hadrian, um, it would let... So if I go into contract type, for example, unless they've changed it. So... Yeah, if I go to contract type, you can... That's the only option you have. You can't select the contract type within the contract type, annoyingly. As far as I know, anyway. So I would love to have it just set up to or, but you can't as far as I know. Unless someone knows a way to do it. Contract status. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, so is that under... Where is that? Am I missing contract status? Full contract, but yeah, but a full contract, any contract is a full contract unless it's part-time. Is it in a different box? Because I don't see it. Bottom left. <gasps> yeah, but... You, you, right, but the whole... I don't think you understand, chat. We want to be able to select both of them. I've been doing this the entire time. <laughs> that's, not, that's what I've been doing already. I want to be able to add it and another one to here so I can do or. That's the whole point of what we were trying to do. I know that we can filter by contracts. That's what I've been doing for the past 20 minutes. The drop-down menu. What about it? Is there an... Hello, Hoff. Oh, I see. Let's have a look. Main screen thing. Main screen thing. What do you mean by main screen thing? Then top right. Is that not what we've been doing? Am I missing something? Where's top... What, in quick search? The arrow. Oh, hello. Um. Which does what exactly? Can I drag it out, maybe? Thank you, chat. Sorry, that was confusingly hidden weirdly. That's so, that's really cool. Okay, so now we should be able to add it in there. Why doesn't it let you do that on the main fucking menu? So now I want now I want to add another contract status one in here, yeah? Top. What do you mean top? Oh, is it at the top of the thing? Oh, nice. Thank you. Yes. Good shout. Right. Glad we got there in the end. Um, I'm going to have to delete that for a second, aren't I? Because I need to make those, those together. Or that. Right, there. No, we don't want expired. We want amateur. Right. That was way more difficult than it needed to be. <laughs> like, fucking hell. Right, now we can add the age back in. Uh, is that most? Thank you, chat. And then we can set that to 18. Oh, Christ on a bite. Why is that so difficult? It has no right to be that difficult. Add rules relegations during the sale. Or does it have to be built from the start? Yeah, no, it has to be done from the start. What are you, X? Christ, thank you, chat. Sorry that I was struggling with that. I think you can understand why that was difficult to get to. That was wild. Ah, oh, dearie me. Ollie Khan with a gifted sub to Luigi Oro. Thank you very much for that. That is very nice of you, my friend. I will get to the uh, lookups in a second, by the way. Um, don't forget to save it. Yeah, good shout. Um, where do? And if I go back into here... How do we save it? Edit search. No, because look. Watch this not save it correctly. <laughs> uh, we'll call it Amdram because reasons. <laughs> no, other than we're just looking for the new signings. Watch it now not save properly and it will only save like one part of it, but hopefully it works. Right, cool. So now we can just look at all of them together, which is just make... It's annoying that it takes... Oh, no, hang on. I can just uh, do that, can't I? We just get rid of it now because we've got it saved so it won't make a difference. I don't know if I want to do that, Hadrian. I might do that later. <laughs> oh, fine. Fuck it. Oh, God. This is where the game just crashes. Then we lose our shit signing. Right, there we go. Uh, right, so I should just be able to bring Amdram in. No. Yeah, no, it does work. It does work. Thank fuck for that. Christ, what a... What an annoying setup. This filter. I mean, yeah. I mean, you could just make it. It's, it's really quite simple. Um, but I will put it up somewhere if I can. Because that's quite useful. I'm glad we know how to do that, though. I would not like to make a recruitment focus with that. Absolutely not. Right, cool. That's going to make our lives a little bit easier. It's a very arse about tit way of doing it, isn't it? Yeah, right. And hope, watching this now change things. Because, right. So we did check here. Yeah. Really simple, yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I wanted to look at Slovakia as well, just in case. Two guys there. No. That was a palaver and a half, wasn't it? Stop asking me about youth recruitments. Age range isn't correct, isn't it? Yeah. I. Oh, hang on. What the fuck? You're right. It's not. It changed it to 18 to... Oh, it's because I didn't set it up properly when I put it in. Oh, well. I'll fix that again with a new version of it. We got there in the end. That's the main thing. Uh, Switzerland, maybe? Nah, no guys. Malta really has a lot of cool club names. It really does, Peter Hui. Thank you very much for the four months as well. That is super duper nice of you, friend. Should 17 year olds get standard FM things again? What's the betting that it wasn't even filtering it properly? So I tell the um, oh, I've got it filtered now. Anywhere we missed that's really obvious. Bulgaria, maybe? Five dudes from Bulgaria? I think I'm, we go with what we've got for now. And we can always circle back to this. Because we've got these guys getting scouted, and that will give us a bit of a chance. And yeah, I figured that would happen, though. Fake IDs. A friend nerd. Thank you very much for the follow. Was Nicholas Poulos homegrown? Almost certainly, and that was a mistake. Uh, in fact, there's no way he wouldn't have been, right? Because... Yeah. No, <laughs> I thought I'd try it, right? It's a great song, great movie. I need to watch it again. Uh, Alex Cadwell, yes. Yes, you must have done. And there he is at Norwich. Get ourselves a cheeky keep history after retirement on him. James Miller, thank you very much for the Happy 21, 21 months, my friend. Months. Off to Malta tomorrow morning. No way. We'll try and convince my wife that she wants to do a tour of the Maltese grounds. Get yourself over to St. Paul's Bay. You'd love to see it. That's awesome. Turkey, I think it does, but I don't know if there's how many Turkish players are actually come up in these searches, but I guess we can find out for the future, right? Let's check out Turkey. Uh, Turkey. Oh, yeah, they don't, I think Tur I think the reason we've always avoided Turkey is because they just don't do that thing with contracts, so it doesn't actually matter. Uh, sick. I mean, that unfortunately, with a word like that, it's just going to bring up endless. The Sicko Traore, though, is a solid name. Can't really fault that. And also Ronnie Kuzik and Hunsicker. What a name. Addison Hunsicker. Fox Anderson. That's a good name. I don't think he's in the database, but... Uh, nope, no Fox Anderson, sadly. It's good. Uh, you I can't go. Summer. Thank you for the follow. In winter. North Korea. Well, as it goes, Melly, um, we already have a couple. There's already a couple of North Koreans playing in Malta at the moment, as well as uh, a guy, obviously one of the Patreon regens too. I don't know if they're in the national team or anything. Most of them don't even have clubs. Any youngsters that might not have clubs? Nah. Hang on. Part-time contract at who? What do you mean you have a part-time contract? With who? He's chatting. He has a part-time contract with nobody. I assume that's just taking whatever contract they had before and just superimposing it in there. I'm going to trial these guys because why not, right? What was his name? Kim Cuck... Oh, yeah. Part-time government in it, yeah. Okay. You never know. Uh, that was what he sorted, wasn't it? Uh, David Oliver. David Oliver. Uh, there he is. For Martin. Uh, he may well have a real face. I do apologize for that. That is once again FM being FM because this is definitely a face, a face in the game one too because I remember for Martin being one of the clubs. We'll be able to fix that once we get everything sorted but all I do is I'll just remove those faces from the face pack. Like another, It was no left foot but it's all good now, right? That's the main thing. One song. <laughs> a new rule for the end of the season after 10 years and see the chaos. Oh, I see. So like, yeah. That's a good idea, actually. Sorry, I missed that. I've been working on um, that international retirement video in the background, which I'm sort of putting off at the moment just because I was busy working on the. It took so long to edit the recap video yesterday. It was wild. Did I put David Oliver on... Um... I did. Cool. Chat that, that sounds like Twitch. Damn, that does sound like Twitch. See you later, Meddy. A new mental rule comes in to see what happens. Around. So can you do that for, like, long-term... Is that a thing you can actually do? Because if so, that's dope. Yeah, so I'm making a video where every single player who's got an international cap retires from international football at the start of the save. So all the national teams basically get refreshed with like, ran not random players, but like players you wouldn't expect to be getting international caps. That's kind of cool. So I, tell the I like that. I'll have to make a note of that. That would be kind of fun. I'm looking for some more videos to do in December before I take off use caps. Uh, no, only like international, full international caps. Uh, Maddock, thank you very much for the follow. You can't really filter it. This well, you can, but I feel like this would be more fun. 
suddenly has a chance without a fixed troop. Wow, I'm low. Um, I mean, they're actually probably not great, but they're there. It's good. Uh, will you, Harv? Will you? I will give you an penny. It can get there. Fog, fog and Cookie King. Thank you for the follows. You've run out of silly ideas. I don't think I ever will run out of silly ideas to do FM. Truly. Some of the ideas I've got written down are wild. Um, I still want to do the national service video, which we've kind of put on the back burner. If you should better do it. That's really kind of cool. I'll have to... I'll talk to the editorial brain in a jar. We can see if we can figure it out. Okay. City of on the double. Shocker. Oh, I just want to check MTK actually while we're here. Did they win it again? Nope, they lost it. In fact, they didn't even qualify in the top three this time around. Holy. A drop off, you might say, from MTK there. Right. The ninth is when it fully opens up. Follow up on my interest. Uh... Fuck it. If he doesn't want loads of money, breakthrough prospect. Sixty pound a week. These are kind of okay. One year deal. It's sixty pound a week, right? Which really you should be sacked. <laughs> the Earth dies. Yeah, I know. This is what happens when you don't make those type of videos for years, but keep writing down ideas for them. I just have, I have a like a seven page Google Doc called Video Ideas. You get tickles to Nickelback. Uh, no. Pog is, I think. She's going with her brother and his boyfriend. Or well, she wants to, anyway. Uh, right, so Meziani signing for us. Dope. I think, genuinely, he might be a bit okay. And if not, right, it doesn't matter, because they'll just go in the loan farm, which we might actually be able to start. Another signing made. You'd love to see it. Camilo Sanchez in the game. Um, I mean, yeah, oh no, if he's in the game, then... As in, if he actually plays for Luca, then he'll be in the game, right? Uh, he might not play for them anymore. This guy here, um, Camilo Sanchez, now playing for St. Andrews, which is actually quite good for him. Because I think St. Andrews have just got promoted. Oh, no, they're mid-table. In fact, he's actually taken a step down by one point. But no, there he is. Actually at... Uh, oh, some more players there. Panache, imagine. Panache is probably the answer to our prayers, but we just can't afford him. Like 13 and 25 for for Zabar is really good. Anyone in there that random Irish dude? Minala, as if we'd sign Minala. Murada? Oh, he's Belgian. It's like they know we want Belgians now. Which I'm here for it. But yeah, you'd think so, wouldn't you? Um, I think he was only like 30, which is obviously a lie. I can't really sign those guys yet. Shabalala? Ah, he's from Iswatini as well, which is dope. 28 though. Not really what we need right now. Just exist with small debts now. There's going to be some debts. A lot of, like, particularly... Christ, who was it? Oh, Zabar have managed to... This, I guess they have some sponsorship as well. Higher low eccentricity. It depends on what you want. I prefer low eccentricity because I don't like my goalkeepers doing tons of mad shit. But, that being said, any international... Uh, 18, I don't know what that would, what difference that would make, to be honest. None of our players are going to be in them, unless Malta are qualified. But, um... Adonis is left, which is fine. Hendrix had another Malaysia call-up. Oh. Well, fuck you then, Yusuf. All right, we're not getting Yusuf, sadly. That's a shame. He's actually done a real contract. Oh, yeah, Master, Master Slock, we're in a bit of trouble, yeah. That is a good point. We're getting Yusuf Collard. Yeah, what's the situation? They should be fine now, right? Surely. Yeah, they're fine. Eligible to play for that country despite previous caps. I don't think that's programmable, no. But to be fair, maybe goalkeepers with, like, Higher eccentricity could be better this year. I don't know. I don't think he's even in the database, Ulams. So, Meziani and shit <laughs> join us on the ninth. We're going to have another guy added to that too. That'll give us a little bit of a base of youngsters. And I think truly, we need to be really be waiting until July to go after freebies from Malta and just see what else comes through in the meantime. Because we, we definitely have to find some Maltese players. Otherwise, we're not, not going to have it anyone well we'll have players but we, we'll have to leave loads of gaps in our champ in our um conference league squad which we can't ah here we go windows open right who we've been linked with anyone at all with mamadou diallo augustin mena and till mavritich all right cool see if they're any good bloody hell um he's actually quite good mamadou diallo 22 year old yeah, we can search by Hitman, but the plan is to search for it once July ticks over. That way we can get a lot of free guys that have been released by their clubs, potentially. And maybe from clubs around Europe as well. 
he's certainly oh we can't scout him because africa but he does worry no because darbo was slow that was the thing about uh darbo is he didn't have the pace and his composure wasn't amazing either if i remember strength could be an issue ah uh, i don't know i mean like we're in the maltese premier division if you can finish and he's fast strength i can give a shit about strength he's not a center back is he um now if he was a center back then yeah trialing i mean trialing won't work they'll just say no but oh if they set for release they might say yes you're right good point can't hurt right worst case scenario i'll also shortlist him that way we can get notified when he's out augustin mayner how am i going to be able to sign him he's got a club although it could be for a loan although truthfully i don't think he'd actually fit what we want to do what about till okay till looks intriguing we do need another center mid maybe hey matt oh bobby good old bobby bobby is earning moon money by the way because we looked at him a couple of years ago but he was so good for um there he is after holikov yeah he's playing for um order bassy shim kent six grand a week like sparring six months true but that we could get him on pre-contract but we don't we won't be able to scout him and he's probably gonna want actual money sadly that's the issue what's up with the prime thank you for the 25 months my friend that's very kind of you hi uh, Nestory. Oh, yeah, we looked at Nestory before, didn't we? Yeah, no language courses. What should we give... Um... Wait, hang on. My bad. There we go. Got it right. Uh, there he is. Irankunda. Eating a European scout package a week. Yeah, isn't it? He's living... He's living life, living at large. Getting stuck and I have no clue why. When you say getting stuck, Manda, what Bring do you mean? Because I'm sure there's someone in chat that might be able to help us here anyway. Uh, Big Bill Budge, thank you very much for the follow. But yeah, that's um, Iran Kunda and Nikolai. I've spelled that wrong, haven't I? I've continued to spell that wrong. <laughs> there we go, got there in the end. Oh, still on the day face. What bottle is this? It's a, it's a mango bottle. You can get them off Amazon for like a tenner. It holds 2.2 litres of water. Am I spelling Ilyev wrong? Yeah, I'm not sure he's in my database. Good for throwing. I mean, it's good for like some curls. That they're, it's they're super good. Mango drink. Man, do be drinking. To be fair, yeah. Unfortunately, no Ilyev. Sadly, or oh, was it Nicola? Did I spell it wrong? Oh no. Oh, this dude here. My bad. Has City Spurs Dortmund in my group? Holy Lord. Uh, luckily, we have, we've managed to avoid that because when we enter Europe this year, not that we're going to get to any kind of group stages, we won't be having groups anyway. It'll just be the big Swiss system thingy. Yeah, sorry, yeah, it's Nikolaj. My apologies. Yeah, he's very fucking good, isn't he? Uh, out of contract in the summer? A? Eh? Yeah, not happening, obviously. But imagine. Imagine. Nikolaj. Uh, so I'll put points back for that. And there we go. Right. Let's see if those guys will come on trial. I almost guarantee they'll say no. There you go. It's just it's just what happens, unfortunately. Shame McGowan of of the post. No way. That fucking sucks. With Diallo, I think what we do is we just wait for his contract to expire, take him on a free, right? That's all we can do. Three new players arrive. They're let down by shit. <gasps> Fuck me. Chat. I nearly try Preslav Bodokov. Uh trying for what? Because if it's a signing suggestion, I won't be doing that because then we didn't get it brought to him by my scouts. If it's a player you want me to look up, I can do that. But then we have a look up for that. Send all. Imagine if I'd sent all. That would have cost us 90 grand. <laughs> Hello, Pog. You look... Um... Oh, I think it's in the other room. Is it? Yeah. Where? Well, not in this room. <laughs> I don't know, mate. Have a look. We can't afford it. We just don't want to do that. Bye, Pog. Bye. <laughs> right, let's have a look at some shit. Christ. I could actually send them both on both. <laughs> like, genuinely. Um, right, welcome new signing. God, it makes it so easy for you to accidentally do it as well. That's the worst thing. Like, they're just right there. Massive buttons. Uh, yeah, Pog got a haircut this morning. She's very proud. Well, so proud that she immediately washed it because she didn't like all the product was in it. Uh, right, let's have a look. Let's start with shit. Oh, he's awful. He's woeful, but he's here. Vladislav shit is in the building. I mean, he could be a lot worse. 
to be fair like so it's good on both feet you could say shit it could be said right what about you for free i can't really argue with jamel meziani on a free transfer i don't think he's that bad truthfully for a belgian amateur at 16 years old he's fine also oh so now wait can i um, where's the development list is it on here off the ball yeah his off the ball is terrible but as long as we gave him the ball he's 16 yeah but in doesn't in malta aren't you allowed to put them on the development list i swear we can like loan players out in malta could loan a youth deal ah but bro's gonna be on a youth deal for ages oh no hang on when does he actually sign his fucking out hang on so so we've got all these young players that we can't loan out then when does he become loanable 8th of september okay cool which is annoyingly because that's literally the day after the transfer window shuts <laughs> which is very frustrating what about joseph collard he's giving a similar story wait is he the same birthday So he will on the 9th of September. <laughs> wait, hang on. No, wait. Yeah, no. <laughs> Literally. Cool. So neither of them can be loaned out. I swear that said the... Oh, yeah, the 7th of September. My bad. Yeah. So he... Collard might actually be loanable, potentially, for the uh, transfer deadline. I'm going to get off this screen, just in case. As Master Schlock are trying to sign Endrick. It's, it's bold of them. Like, fair play to them. Oh, he's not that great, is he? Well, actually, he's very, 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 very average all across the board. I think we can probably do better than that. Ari Live, thank you very much for the prime. It's very kind of you. Uh, Matt Coffee. Ah, yes, you should be by now. And boom, Western Sydney Wanderers. That is a hell of a hair and like, what a, what wonderful hair Matt's rocking there. Born in Dub. Yeah, that's definitely the one. Get him on the keep history after retirement. He's pretty both of the aussies as well solid like both of the aussie guys we've got are actually really decent fair play uh good soup suggestions for uh, like i said we're not doing suggestions because i'll uh, just refund points because um that sort of defeats the point of the save if our scouts bring us a player fine but i'm not going to just take like chat suggestions because it's just a bit meta to me it's not as fun oh dear right okay so now the next plan for me... Oh, hang on. 17 in progress is again for this. Oh, hello. Hello, baby. Oh, my God. There's some actual players in here. Holy God. A player who never get... Anyways. Oh, yeah, no, of course. I'll do lookups for anyone they want. I'll do lookups for players that people want to see. But... Oh, it's a physio, not a player. Oh, um... What was his name? Dennis Lyon. But even so, like, I'm not really gonna... But yeah, no, I do look us for anything. It's just like... Oh, he's not... Oh, hang on, I'm spelling it wrong. Um, I just don't want people to be disappointed when I then don't sign the player they've suggested because we would not have the ability to sign that player because we wouldn't know about the player. But unfortunately, if that was his name, sadly, he does not appear to be in the game. In some way, anyway. Uh, right, let's have a look at Daniel Turner. What's the betting that some of those players in that um, recruitment focus are um, just guys that we found? Uh, this is him. This was the one. So Box Hill Youths. This was the one I had to add a special thing to the database in order to actually make this guy appear because Box Hill was the only one I couldn't get to appear properly without it. So I had to add like specifically the league that they were playing in and their players just so that we could load Daniel Turner. But there he is. He's in. He might be the worst of the three, but then Box Hill obviously slightly further down. Makes sense. But now we can add him in there. 100 on the rating is not a single one. Yeah, I mean, I think that's going to be the same for us, right? But there you go. Um... Uh, what was that? Oh, Maloney! Thank you Let's very much for the two months. I missed that. Where is that? Oh, sorry. I was, there was so many things going on the screen at the one time. You know if there's a train coming anytime uh, soon? Santiago. Oh, yes. Very Jimenez. soon. They sorry, are building Jimenez. it now. Uh, yes, we can. We've got the lookups on all that. So, my... It's this one, isn't it? God, it's seeing... It, from all the players that we've been looking at, right? And then occasionally someone will recommend... Just want us to look at a player like this. And I'm like, oh, God. I realise how shit we actually are. <laughs> Like, yeah, it's, um, <laughs> yeah, it makes you think we've got a lot of work to do, back. right? Well, Jay Teller and Anderson Shelter, thank you for all the followers. 
I'm watching a VOD. Oh, nice. Sometimes it's weird when I, I'll like have the stream thing open and I'll see like a random sub like in the middle of the day when I'm not live. I'm just like, yeah, I, I rate that. I appreciate that. Shout out to the VODs that sub when I'm not live. So there he is. And uh, Sam Agratho, I think we already found you last stream, right? And I definitely added you to the... Obviously, you know, there's no reason not to look again. Uh, I didn't add... Has that been resetting itself? I'm a bit concerned about that. I might add them all to a shortlist. Do you think you would load the extra leagues? In uh, yeah, no, I would... Like, like I said, I, I want people to be able to be at any team that they wanted. So basically, when someone said, gave me the team, I would test it. If they didn't show up, I would find the league that the player wanted to gen in. And then I would literally add that league in so that the player could gen i i wanted people to be able to go at any club they wanted basically and i was willing to make the i went i wanted to go the extra mile i didn't want to be like oh you can't do that because it's just not you know the only the only rule i had was that you couldn't generate to sirens because that way it could manipulate our youth intakes potentially and i wouldn't want to be accused of that now despite having safe scums an entire season <laughs> now i wouldn't want to be accused of anything now chato Scottish 60. Yeah, for example. Although what I will say, Sam, is your guy didn't require any silliness to come up. Non-contract. No, we, we said we wouldn't. <laughs> Unless they're actually like a genuine signing at some point. Uh. We could scout him, though. Uh, Mate Marine. Unfortunately not, Jack. Doesn't appear to be in the database. What league? Did we play Belize again? He does have, He is extremely determined to tackle aggressively at pace. This is what we've learned so far. Oh, thank you, mate. Addison, welcome in. Madness has begun. Oh, no worries, Jason. Romanian League. Interesting, then. Like, top league? I'm surprised. Okay. I think the key is just to get to the 1st of July. And if obviously, if we get any, like, recommendations from the scouting and the staff and stuff from here... Actually, let's just have a little look. See if our DOF's got any suggestions for free transfers. Maybe. Is he a region? Uh, it's not a Patreon region, no, as far as I'm aware. Uh, the only Patreon region I gen in Romania was Radiance Ham. <laughs> Which, while we're here. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, he looks alright. He looks a little bit alright there, just Radiance Ham. <laughs> oh. Jamie Thomas. I will do get the recommendations in a minute. He's a real player. Um, Yeah, if he wasn't top flight at the start, then that would explain it. Unfortunately, it doesn't appear to be a Jamie Thomas. It might be that he was not playing in a league that I'd switched on the players for, potentially. I often find this happens with England because I only have technically the top flights loaded. Your current recruitment focus. Oh, um, if you want the recruitment Hello, focuses, Matthew exclamation mark recruitment focus. Today. Because they're Jameses, basically. Carrigan! I'm feeling radiant. I'm feeling. I'm feeling like the the radiant knights. I was trying to think of a like Stormlight Archive reference there and I couldn't remember what the damn fucking name was. <laughs> but thank you for the three months, Carrigan. That's super kind. But yeah, those are the recruitment focuses I use. Um, I use James's one. I'm oh, it's not a time waste at all, my friend. You paid your points, and we're gonna find, we're gonna get to the bottom of it. You're not wasting my time. I'm wasting yours, if anything. <laughs> uh, it's recruitment focus, uh, major. But it's um, at this level, obviously not gonna be super powerful yet. But as you progress, it's gonna be absolutely killing it. Once we get more scouts, and I can do the thing that I believe, God, who was it that found it? Might have been Slipknot in the little extra bit. Uh, yeah, I'll find for that. They uh, are building it now. Is his name just P. Aronson? I'm guessing it's Paxton Aronson, right? I had a great time with him on my US save, actually, to be fair. HC16 with the eight months. How's it going, friend? And Lassie Grondel. Up the matter. Sick up Matt Jam. Sick Matt Jam. Sick Harold. No one puts things up the matter other than Harv with his pasta. Yes, he's in the game as well. Yeah, Paxton Aronson, solid. So I found basically he found that if you assigned each one to different scouts, you could actually have the same recruitment focuses multiple times, but assign it to a different scout and you'll get different players rather than just assigning it to the pool each time. Which was pretty dope. I'll refund your points for that. Uh, Western Suburbs. Western Suburbs. They might be, honestly, just because I've done... Facility. What the fuck? I bet they have no players, though. These guys are probably going to be... Wait, you're on an amateur contract. Wait, 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 wait. He's amateur. He's not, but he's on an amateur contract. And he's a regen. Alfie Bird. Random New Zealander on an amateur contract. Is it worth like £50 a week on a blind punt on him? Just because reasons. <sighs> yeah, I mean, he doesn't look that great. 
Oh, fuck. Squad player? Man is out of his damn mind. Squad player. <laughs> oh. I'll try and try it, but lordy lord. That's, um... That's not happening. Oh, hello. Here we go. Right. First little uh, group of the... Oh, some freebies in there too. Lovely stuff. But before that... It's good to know, though, for later in the save, potentially. Man has got balls, or at least his agent does. Let's see if we got the next coming of Alan Hernandez. What should be a face in the game or something? Ah, oh, he's not there. That posh academy didn't quite gen this time. Right. Okay. Firstly, let's just see if there's any freebies. Ah, he's just, he reminds me so much of Darbo. I'll trial him anyway, so that he gets picked up by another Maltese side, maybe. But that kind of darker orange injury proneness too he's not the quickest and we kind of already i feel like i've assessed what we kind of looking for with hang on this guy oh it's not atletico madrid right <laughs> that's why i got confused is someone really good oh my god when is the videos coming up on youtube i don't know what you mean by that which video are you talking about specifically um tetuan Pelletier holy buggery if he will talk to us my god he could be he might be one of the best belgian regions ever and when i say that i realize he's french but christ uh, but if you mean like the recap video literally this morning uh, the, the it came out this morning today please oh he's got an agent oh please 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 yes oh mate Tituan Pelletier. Get in. Fringe play. You know what? You actually are, bro. I'm going to just go with that. Yearly wage rise, absolutely not. Uh, We'd prefer not to do that. But luckily, you're French. Which means... Oh. Corks region. Um... We didn't really... Uh, we looked at pretty much everyone, right? Oh, yeah. I'm not going to play him as a centre-back. Yes, half? Yeah, he's French too. I mean, obviously Malta potentially as well. Second nationality. No, so the new version of the Saz skin actually shows their second nationality on this screen here. Monsieur. Levan? Oh, Levan, Chateau. If we sign Titouan Pelletier, he might be... Oh, they're needed. Uh, I think they're still needed. Um, we haven't had a chance to start it yet because we haven't. We're not really in a position where a player that we join that joins us is actually not good enough for us yet. Although we have got a few Belgians joining us that might fit that requirement too. Speaking of, with that Chelsea player sign, I mean, he's on. He's on half a mil. That's uh, half a mil a week. He's on a lot. He he might be nuts. He's, the thing is, he's not. Even that... I mean, he's 18, I suppose. Uh, it's like... I mean, he might well get it, but the point is, by the time that he does get that nationality, he... I mean, we could ask his agent. Let's have a look. Fringe player. Yeah, I'm not giving him £900 a week. Like... He's not even great technically. He's just got really good physicals. Tituan is very good. Uh, let's just go to the bottom, get rid of a couple of these guys. That, oh, they're also players. Why are the Irish players randomly jenning in? No, Mamadou Payne is rubbish! Fiona. F's in chat for Mama Dupain. Oh. <laughs> uh, Killing Norman, thank you very much for the follow. Oh, dear. Man City came for an 18-year-old striker for a 5k and a hunch and demanded 10 million, got 50%. No way. That's wild. Can we have him anyway? I kind of... Is that new? I swear he didn't have a fake... Okay. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention to that because of all the other things. Is Papa Dupain any good? I don't know. Papa don't... Papa do pain. I'm in trouble, man. So much pain. Um, fuck it. Does he want any money? Youngster. That means we can basically offer him literally the £35 a week. His name is Bray. Come on. Yeah. I, okay. This is one of those situations where I know full well that his name is not pronounced pain. But if you think I'm not going to take the opportunity to say that that's his name, then you've got another thing coming. And yes, I know it means bread. Um, but like, come on now. Bear in mind, that's just because of his, um, the face pack thingy again, which I haven't, I'm not going to rerun that thing properly until such times we actually have a loads of regens coming through. <laughs> right. 
I've always been French. Yeah. What are you chatting? No, no. It's just that, like, obviously I'm aware that his name wouldn't be pronounced that way in the same way that, like, yeah, various other ones. Like, No, I mean, he's not Asian. He is, um, he's probably, well, literally, he will, he's French, so he's probably going to be African descendant French. But, yeah, because of the face pack. Um, these guys, I wasn't super bothered by, I don't think. He's bread daddy? Yes, he is. Okay. Imagine if there was a Papadou. Is Papadou even a name? For a start. That, that's Papad Pumat, so that's clearly not a name. Let's try that again. So there's no actual Papa. Interesting. I guess it just doesn't come from the same, like, entomology. Only lost to us now. Hammer and beat me two, not home. Do we get better on that? Oh, no, they definitely do. They've already got better on their own in this save so far. Uh, Tobias Slotsaga. Good name. There he is. Uh, will be. Man worthy of all praise. A man worth. Hang on. Does it mean it twice? My sister manager all of a sudden started making tactical changes and tells players to draw matches. Uh, that sounds like a match plan thing, right? So there's Tobias Slotsaga. Mohammed. Oh, that would make sense. Yes. He, he do be looking uh, toddleric. L'enfant, so to speak. What's he looks like a child in Danish? <laughs> Does it involve the word kinder? Well, that'd be German, wouldn't it? Uh, barn? Barn? <laughs> uh, do barn. <laughs> right. Yeah, I was going to say, I know it's barn in Swedish and Norwegian as well, but I don't know about Danish. Um, do sir at some Ed Barn. Oh, so it's Barn as well. Of course it is. Hanlinge Ed Barn. He looks like a child. Like that's age. Do Barn. Do Barn, Reese. It would have improved teamwork. Uh, it's a mental attribute, isn't it? So it'll either improve with time or it won't. So I spend too much time on the Liga. What you could have you seen my receipts? Do Barn. Do. <laughs> It's in the uh, Danish version of The Simpsons there, specifically. Oh, dear. Du hast, indeed. Um, Usman Kane, at Generation Foot. Awesome player. Absolutely cannot sign him, but still. Wait, there was a guy called Daniela Stein who was a teammate of... <laughs> of course he bloody was. Mm, doesn't appear to be not quite still close one ah uh, right okay let's have a look at this youth report god damn it right some of these guys look ridiculous so we've got mamadou dior 17 years old uh vlad was from oh, fuck uh it was a belarusian team i can't remember exactly who it was no one who speaks danish could be an evil man Oh dear. Hello, face cooker. Face face cooker. <laughs> Excuse me. I did not mean to say face cooker. <laughs> That's a different <laughs> right, <Tom. laughs> I'm so sorry, face cooker. <laughs> face cooker. It just sounds like a, it's like a backyard wrestling name that. And now, face cooker. Oh. Good lord. Knee dishwash. <laughs> Given some of the names we've seen today, right? It's not out of the realms of possibility. Pog, what are you requesting? Oh. Harry Saunders, what do you mean? Oh, dear. Elbow toaster. Yes, mate. Back first with the gifted sub to face cooker. <laughs> Oh, the Duolingo Receipt Stadium. I mean, it's it's it'll be the it'll be the Andrea Casar Stadium sponsored by Duolingo Receipts. Holy Lord! Oh, so about this player, um, your region, yeah. So was that a lookup? Because it didn't show up in the queue. Sorry, my bad. I didn't realize it was a look. If that was a lookup or not, I didn't see it in the request queue. 
Holy God. Is this dude worth a punt? Because I kind of feel like he might be, provided he doesn't want a stupid squad stats. Mm, fringe player's too much for me. I don't think he actually would be a fringe player. If he was going to accept a lower squad status like that, I'd be fine with it, but... Yeah, so we have like a database lookup to look up players and stuff. Oh. Guys, Sheffield United. Marshall Francis. Mm. He's very much an FM4 star. Hello, Hef. How do? Nizic. Oh, hang on. We quite liked him, didn't we? Oh. Yes. Surely Ilan Nizic is one to bring in. 18 years old. Would be homegrown, eventually. Solid attributes. Good on both feet. Only 18. Looks to have a little bit of potential about him as well. And he's got an agent too. Okay, a bit more money he might want. But these guys, I'm happy to pay a bit more, um, longer. But I want, like, long-term security on them. Hey, Eric! It's gone very good, Harry. Um, honestly, other than the massive error. <laughs> I should be able to get him at least on a four-year. There we go. Four years on him. Did we fuck it? We we sort of nearly did until we randomly just started not to. It was good. We actually smashed it towards the end of the season. And we've also just found an absolutely monstrous amateur youth player from France. The fixtures error? Uh, no, not fixtures error. It was to do with the money, basically. French player on those... Yeah. Well, this guy here. You're probably right, honestly. Ah, yeah. Particularly with that wage. And he's French. Now, he does have second nationality Senegal, but I still don't feel like it's going to be too much of a problem. Particularly with that low wage. If I put that in there, with like a cheeky little bit of that too. Six years. Beautiful. Oh, also, James, we signed a player called Shit. That's probably been the biggest takeaway from today's stream is we signed a player called Shit. Now, this guy here as well. 16-year-old Spaniel. He is not it. He's not got a great tackle. I mean, he's only 16, I guess. We signed a player called Shit. No, literally. It sounds like a... Do you keep scout shortlist up for a bit? No. Because if you do that and then your scouting budget drops below a certain thing, you'll end up paying shitloads of extra money. He is... Yeah, he's slow. He's not very good technically. He's not a real two-star. He's going to be the sort of guy that when you bring him in, he's one star and he's like... Basically, ignore the white stars. He, he's a lie. He's essentially... He's just a big, fat lie. Uh, this guy here intrigues me in a minute, though. Brent Stars. He was the guy from Quick Boys who is genuinely quick. He's not very good at anything else. I think I'm 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 out of Brent. I'm not a fan of Brent. What about Artiega? Six foot five Spanish defender. Tackling solid. Marking is most likely going to be solid. And from San Felix. Good on both feet. If he's cheap. Breakthrough prospects, stepping stuff. Oh, interesting. Okay. Double it's footed. Yeah, six foot five. In summer, in very winter, solid for me. It can get very depressing. Oh, that's why Pog requested this song because it's called Sirens. It's a good song actually. Hundred and sixty k. I mean, honestly, that's a bit rich. I reckon with him, I'm going to offer him a three-year contract and nothing else because I don't trust that he's actually going to be... Basically, I want the ability to extend it and get rid of the release clause if he is good. And if not, yeah, I maybe should have done two years, but it's not huge money. Are they really? I don't think I've heard of them. I guess they're sleeping with sirens, I guess. Or is that what you meant? Um, Robert Kirsch, yeah, he's too expensive for us. These guys are... Wow, I'm surprised that um, Kianchi... Oh, it's actually called... Oh, it's actually a band just called Sirens as well. I might just scout these guys again since we can because I'm not entirely convinced that they're as bad as they look. What about Goran? He's just a very mid, honestly. £17 million pound release. That's delightful. We've not had any interest from Saudi clubs yet so far. But in time we shall, maybe. Uh, oh, you want to see shit? I wonder how many... Superb name, but also not the one we want. Uh, uh, what the fuck? Is he just here on his own? <laughs> oh, poor lad. Uh, where is he? Yeah, let me just filter by the opposite of ability. 
Oh, he's probably in the under 21s, isn't he? There he is. Vladislav shit. Thirty third is impressive. I'll be honest. Like, but yeah, that, there he is in all his glory. I mean, he's not good, but obviously, <laughs> otherwise he'd be called Vladislav quite good, wouldn't he? You just love to see it. But it was definitely worth it for the vibes. Hang on, how dare I would offer a weather forecast or gonna rise? <laughs> oh. There he is. Rain slog. Oh, Ferrois. Amateur. <gasps> nice. 20 years old. To get a Champions League. Oh, fucking 15 years, maybe. I'd be surprised if we get that far. I reckon 15 years for a Champions League, probably. Just be so, uh, he, he's very true, James. He would indeed be called that, yeah. We've got money. Right. We're actually doing quite... Like, look at this. That's like a good... What's that, seven dudes that we're trying to pick up now? Or barely two trials. So that's just five more players there that might well join us, albeit he's a meme signer. But the other three... By the way, if you missed um, the signing of... If you missed uh, Pelletier, this is the guy that chat were, like, enthusing about. Uh, Titouan Pelletier, uh, a French amateur player that we found at uh, Racing Bessacon, or... Hang on, what's that? Bessanchon? Uh, either way, he's a bit ridiculous, potentially. Um, I think it's exclamation mark attributes, Willie Foot. Maybe. I forgot the chat had made a command for it. Oh my god, he's signing. Titouan Pelletier is in, baby. That's actually amazing. He's 17 years old and he's already like three-star CA in our squad. And Dior as well. That was rejected. As we expected. Oh, that's glorious. Oh my god. <laughs> Tituan Palettier. Fucking hell. He is genuinely amazing. Good on both feet. 12 jumping which is not bad at this level, to be honest. I know he's 5'11. He could still play centre back easy. Oh, God, he's good. His mentals are ridiculous. And he's only 17. Compared to England, uh, like below National League South. Sort of sixth tier, maybe lower. Very good player IQ, yeah. The gaffer Kako and um Andamad Mandiand. That's really hard to say. Thank you for the follows, guys. I'm sure, they got lost in all that. He's got nice little chubby cheeks, yeah. Slow. Yeah, I mean, the only other thing is maybe retrain him to play in midfield, but he's got not really very good midfield stats to suit the kind of roles that we would play in midfield. And remember as well, he's 17. He will get better. What's his personality? Balanced. Although he does have some quite bad media handling styles, which makes me, makes me think that his... um like his professionalism possibly is quite low oh i at malta right now uh well we we came second last season yeah he'll definitely get up there and worst case scenario he's got a player that he's probably got really high pa or something and he's gonna get game time for us which is really what matters he might have really high controversy true yeah yeah this is the thing like he wouldn't play in either of our midfield roles and he's got no crossing ability so we wouldn't play him out wide because he's got no speed what have you missed you've missed this Titouan Pelletier. Free transfer from a French side. Um, an amateur player that we might... He's easily one of my favourite amateur signings ever. Oh. I feel like he's a guy that maybe we ship on for a profit. And also, remember, we got a three-year deal on him with a three-year extension. We've got a six-year contract on this dude. It's wonderful. And we can call him Tits. And I nearly sent him on a language course. We're going to ask Dick to welcome him in. Dior, we knew he wasn't going to be as good, but I'll tell you what, right? He's still not awful. And he's definitely squad depth for us. We've got we've got Dick, Tits, and Dong. We're getting the whole package. Oh, wow, shit. Okay, Salifu's going to come on trial, but we don't really care about that. Sick. Uh, the, the Dutch guy turned us down. He actually signed a pro contract with the club that he was at. Incredibly. Hamrin want Milan Z... Yes, you can. You may indeed have him for £140,000. Are you mad? Fair play. I mean, it's only 40k up front, then installments of up to 67,000. Basically, they're going to pay us around 110,000. Lovely. Just, yeah, we've got to remove the max fixing clause and it's all good. That's fine. You may have him for £110,000. 
lovely scenes. He's not even going to play for him. I mean, they've got a lot of cash, to be fair. That's good money. Really solid. Because that's actually going to allow us some extra scouting as well. And we've still got these three dudes. I mean, Artiega and Nizic are the two that I'm actually interested in. The other guy's more for the memes, but... And we're still not even to the, like, aren't following through on transfers. Uh, how do you mean, aren't following through? So we're getting Mamadou... We're getting Daddy Bread. And Mil Cooper, yeah, I mean, he is... <laughs> I am familiar with over 600 dance moves and I am programmed to get freaky. The thing at the bottom corner said, Ask Dick to welcome pain. <laughs> So the sign on the door of every single BDSM shop. Oh, T Pascal, thank you for the follow. Chris Baker and Jordan Farr, thank you for the follows, guys. A bit of SM, yeah. Just can't offer them enough wages to confirm it. Really? I don't think they'll struggle with Milan Celia because he wasn't on two super loads of money. Welcome in the pain. Good stuff. They've signed him. He's gone. How much is he on there? £500 a week. I mean, he's a good player, but he wasn't as good as what we had. And now. Actually, technically, we'd basically stay where we were, but that's that's more money off the wage bill, more money for the transfer budget. We'll get these two signings hopefully confirmed as well, which we have. Jose, and, sorry, Antonio Jose Artiaga. He does have that release clause, which is concerning, but you know what? He's not amazing, but he's also not not amazing either. He's very solid. What nations are eligible? Uh, what do you mean? I'm not sure what you mean by which nations are eligible. Um, there's anyone you like. Uh, he's 17 as well. Dev list, right? Surely. Six foot five, yeah. I don't think he starts for us at the moment, but... Oh, there's no registration, so... I want to just test the waters on the dev list, if we can. So, we want... Training facility support, nation, specifically Malta. That's all fine, that's all fine. Uh, league, that's fine as well. Right, now I just need to quickly go over to here. And is it in... Here. Uh, League, any nation, Malta. And then the same here. I don't know if I actually confirmed that, did I? Oh, I did. And then that one as well. Let's get that ticked off nicely. That will make sure that when they are offered out, they'll actually be offered out to Maltese clubs. Let's see. Because I wouldn't mind trying to... Because he's a breakthrough prospect, which means we can do this. So that's all good. Targets. I'll just do the normal thing here. See if we get any bites. The window is open, after all. Oh, we can ask Dick to welcome him, of course, because he is a club... Is he captain? I think he is, actually. So Mostar and Tarshin are up. Cool. See if we get any bites. You never know. I don't think we are. He's in as well. Youth players before the age of 18. Um, depends on what type of save you're doing, right? So... Development with play players development is so heavily weighted towards matches that they just want to you want to be playing basically. So Ilan Nizic as well. Hendrik's trial, he's joining someone else. Salas, who did join on trial, yeah, but he he was mostly brought in so that he could join someone else. Because I don't think he's really our type of player. He's not got the pace that we need up front like Granillo and Marza do. It's going very good, Ashman. Oh mother of God, he's good. He's actually not got the... He's not the most mobile, but technically, mentally, and in his other physicals, he's very solid as well. Um, We've really strengthened our team with some love. And remember, all of these guys will be homegrown, trained at club and nation in a couple of years as well. And that's all we really wanted from the, a lot of these signings. And they're barely costing us any money too. This has worked out terrifically. He could be... Yeah, that's the thing. That is a good shout, actually. Him as a DLP. Passing and vision are solid, and they'll improve. Lovely news. That's really good. Uh, I want him in the... Oh, he's already in there. Fucking nice. How does he compare to Selly? I would say... Uh, hang on, can we even do that? Yes, we can. Lovely. He's not as good. Um, but just get him on midfield DLP. Because that's, I think, the role he would occupy. First touch is the same. Passing is slightly worse. Technique's the same. Composure's slightly worse. Decision's the same. Slightly worse here. But he is also, remember, what's that, three years younger than him. Have I got a cold? I do not have a cold, no. Uh, not as far as I know, anyway. And physically, yeah. Still, he's not that much faster, honestly. Uh, his acceleration is a fair amount better. In time, right? 
finding my experience. Yeah, I mean, honestly, we're just usually just trying to get loans as much as we can, right? Um, so we've tumbled down somehow. Uh, yeah, that's the same. Sur surprise, Valencia into the Champions League then. Yeah, I was gonna say I've I've got cold business acumen right now. A uh, bit of bit of Hulk yoga. Why not? Just to celebrate some of those signings. Christ, I'm so happy with some of those players we picked up. Palmer jumper or something. I don't have a Palmer jumper. Oh, no, it's... um. Oh, no, I do have a Palmer jumper. My apologies. Yes, of course. So training is quickness. Uh, that doesn't really work. So no, I won't be doing that. Um, training the quickness for players is never something I've ever seen have any effect. Unfortunately. It's one of these those individual focuses that just doesn't really do anything. You're better off just putting them on a more general focus and then hope that they improve like that. What I tend to do is just put... What I should have done, actually, to be fair, was at least dump him on one for the roll and then just leave it. I don't like individual focuses for the most part. They tend not to do much. I used to love them. In fact, I was the other way around before. I would only use individual focuses, but yeah, not a fan of them. Cool. Right. Uh, that was a look. It was a song request, and that's a song request. We're good to go. Has there any effect when they're 16 or 17? Uh, does what have any effect when they're 16 or 17? Like training? Uh, then yes, but playing football for the younger players is how you get them to develop. That's why we look for the Belgian amateurs. A quickness, well, it's not that it doesn't have any effect when they're 16 or 17. It doesn't have any effect whatever the age is. It's just not a form of training I've ever seen have any proper results. And not that, sorry, it will have results, but most of the time those results will just come if you weren't using it anyway. So it's not something I've ever really used very often. Aiden Melly, thank you very much for the follow. What's happening? We've just found some absolutely goated amateurs, basically. Work in Japan. Uh, it depends on what the rules are like in Japan. It can work anywhere in terms of will the players appear. The question is whether you can sign them or not. That's really what it comes down to in it's the end. It's good uh, you came in summer. Okay, that's fine. In winter, it can get very depressing. So no one's interested yet. But that's that's good to know, that at least that's a thing. Um, X Dimension, thank you for the follow. I'm going to try one more time just to see if for some reason the game's being weird. Uh, Zenja Bamba, thank you for the follow. Uh, that was those two trials finished, which is fine. We're looking good. Added to the dev list. Uh, the dev list, I mean, the main way that we use the dev list is it means if we're offering out loads of players for loans, we can use the dev list settings to decide which ones are automatically rejected and which ones are automatically accepted. But it doesn't really do much beyond that. It's supposed to, in theory, encourage more loans for your players, but we really, I don't truly believe it actually does that. Uh, these guys already scouted, didn't I? So that's fine. The 16 one has not really generated much just yet, but we're hoping it will do. Code of conduct, that's all good. We'll ask him to pick that. I've got to make sure that we do the normal um, league bonus as well this year, because we definitely got the... So, ah, speaking of, it's time for Matt reads the comments from the VODs, because someone actually had something really interesting to say about this. Uh, Kinotic, thank you very much for the follow. Current strike I can in a second. Uh, oh my god, Div Kush with the seven months as well. You bloody love to see it. Smile. Yeah, I saw the Scottish guy. I'm hoping he actually comes to us report soon. Right, okay. So, what we got? What is Bepis? Bepis is just what I call a Pepsi. Because reasons. I actually forget the reason. It's been a while. Uh, we've also got... Yeah, here we go. Complacence issues due to choosing low bonuses on competitions. So maybe if we try a slightly more normal bonus for competitions this year, we won't have those random complacency issues. So that's an idea. And <laughs> my favorite was Matt's insistence that his new training schedule had no effect on injuries after his eight players. <laughs> In my defense... The statistics and the data said that the injury should not be as bad as we were getting, so I had to put that down to statistical anomaly, but in the end, I just got sick of it. Yeah, you're right. And we're back! Right. Oh. Nations are not considered foreign in the nation's league registration. Um, you can see it. So if you go into your nation's squad rules, obviously not in Malta, it will tell you down here which nations are considered non-foreign usually by either the nations themselves or certain treaties and whatnot. So, I need a pee. I shall return momentarily, chat, but in the meantime, enjoy a whiz quiz. You'll love to see it. Back in a tech, friend.
Cooper. Do not hate me. I am familiar with over 600 dance moves and I am programmed to get freaky. The answer was Teo Corbianu. Trust me, if we, get, if we get to the second one today, I think it might genuinely stump chat. I was amazed because it's a player who's made one Premier League appearance in like the 90s. Uh, also. Cheeky bit of Bepis. You'll love to see it. Ah, uh, Wisdom of Heart. No, no. You can't guess now. And no, it's not. If that helps. Chat while Google is this. Yeah, I suppose. That, that's a good point. Right, we move. Oh, actually, here we go. Here's the draw. Okay, but well, we actually are going to get a draw. It's not Ali Dyer, no. Um, right. Let's do it. Oh, it's so green and nice. Vibey song. Good times. It is Bethes Mox. It is. The Moxist. Uh, right, we're on high speed. Oh, no, I have to do that. And then that, don't I? Okay, here we go. Come on. Who do we not want? Dino over to me, pretty much, right? Okay, we. Who the hell are they? No, it's. I agree, it's much better music. So, yes, Genixic would be really bad. Okay, good. Because they're quite decent too. They're regularly conference league group stage teams. Glenn Torin? Maybe doable? Still quite tough. Okay, we don't get them. Horatio! Thank you very much for the tier one. That's very kind of you. Flora, uh, Flora Tally would be quite tough too. Okay, they get Cliftonville. Oh, K-A. Or is that K-R? Scoopy. Okay, we avoid them. Good signs. Oh, I take them. Kyrat. Mm. I don't know if we're seeded or unseeded, honestly. And it's hard to tell with FM as well, because... I think we are... Yeah, we're, we're unseeded. But Birky Kara are in there. Oh, Sirens versus... Borat's Banya Luka. That's a fucking Bosnian team. That That's a Bosnian team. That's what we really didn't want was a Bosnian team. Not the best Bosnian team, but it's a Bosnian team. Ah, that's rough as hell. I still think we've got a chance, but that's going to be very difficult. We could have done with like... Uh, yeah, I mean, if we were going to get a Bosnian team, I suppose it's better to get them. That Does it really not... Really, FM? I thought it would at least auto-scroll. Uh, because Bosnian teams are probably the best ones we could get. Like, the highest quality teams at this stage are probably some of the Bosnian lads. So we wanted to try to avoid them. Uh, FC, oh, Christ, that would have been tough as well, actually. St. Joseph's? Oh, why couldn't we have someone like that? Not that we literally could have drawn them. Have we had any of the other um, Maltese teams get drawn out yet? Master Oh, look at that! Lucky Master Schlock. They get the fucking Andorran team. Ah, that's really good news, though. That's really good. Because that means a pretty much guaranteed qualification to the next round for Master Shock. Birky Kara get... They get another fucking Andorran team! <laughs> they both got Andorran teams. That is glorious news. Do you know what? I reckon there's a chance that all three of us could get through. We've definitely got by far the toughest draw, but... You know... That's at least going to get us more points than last year. It can't not do, really. I'll take that. I wonder who um, Hamrun are going to get in their Champions League draw. Because they're going to be down here in a minute soon as well. Well, third round anyway. It could have been worse. I'd rather them get the easy draws, honestly. I feel like we'll actually, just because we're the human-controlled team, might just have a better chance in general. I fancy them to win those rounds, no matter what. They're going to be better than anything Andorra have to throw at us, right? That's pleasing. Uh, why is it still going? Is there more teams? Or is it just going to keep... Oh, okay. It was just finalizing some stuff. Okay. Not awful. Not awful. 
Is this the last question? No, 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 no. This is the first qualifying round. Like, the very first qualifying round. <laughs> there is three more after this. Okay, we take that. Wait. Do I still have to skip it? After all that, I still have to skip the draw. Oh, that was the next round. My bad, my bad. I forgot about that. It doesn't make that very clear, does it? Oh, well, regard that would have been a bit of a pain in the ass to read anyway. So either way, Floritalin or Cliftonville, if we were to get through. Do you know what? That actually feels doable. That's much more like it from us. Cliftonville will be quite tough, but that does give us a chance. Uh, let's have a look at the draw so we can see the others. Who else they got? Potentially, anyway. Should they qualify, which I believe they will. Uh, so that's us. I'm sure you'll see them before I do. Oh, there's one. Oh, they're out. <laughs> Olympia Ljubljana screwed. No chance. And then Master Slot will play Australia and absolutely F's in chat. Just into okay. Recep so I can go back to the VODs. Hashtag up the VODs. You'll have to see it, Renny. Thank you very much for the 20 months. I hope you're well. Yeah, so basically, they're going to get through most likely, but then both, both get absolutely hammered in the next round. So, but we've got a chance at third round, potentially, if we can get past the Bosnians. Flora would be tough to beat. Um, Flora are decent. I mean, we don't. Uh, we can have a look for Hamrun. Oh God! <laughs> yeah, they're screwed. Uh, so Hamrun are playing Maribor. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Maribor regularly get in the group stages. Flora not tough to beat. I mean, we'll see, won't we? Right? They're pretty bad, but they are at least the best of a. Ba they're the best of a bad bunch. That's what I mean. Like they are at least the best side. Oh, God, they could have got bloody La, La Fiorita. So, I mean, they're not going to get through, are they? Which means we'll see them. They'll be in the third round, at least. It's, it's going to be tough, is my point. Let me just whack it. I'm still using these schedules at the moment because I haven't actually moved over yet. Probably should schedule some uh, preseason stuff as well. Harry Nossi did, yeah. Oh, that is pretty much the perfect draw. They would have absolutely clapped him. Let me... Oh, so that's when the game is. So I want to make sure that we do some Thursday-Sunday friendlies just to get us two a week, just to get the match fitness up in the meantime. Uh, okay, I guess we're going to play against Master Slog. Oh, is it because it's a Sunday that it doesn't like it? What the fuck? Any chance of being able to play against someone else? Okay, that's really odd. Maybe it's because we're in the wrong part of the season. I might wait until we go after that one. Ah, oh, the game's happening today. They should do. I don't see why they wouldn't do. Wednesday, Saturday instead. Well, with the games being Thursday night, I'd like to have a little bit of time in front of them. I probably could have done that. We'll do that for the next one. Ah, right. Chat, it's time for some more amateurs. Oh my god. Actually, oh my god. There's some proper... There's a... Oh, he's Luxembourg. He's a Luxburger. Right, let's have a look at this guy. We can't really afford... We can kind of afford him, but it's a question of whether we'd actually want to. He's probably quite good, but I don't want to actually pay for players just yet if we can. So for him, I'm just going to shortlist him for the moment because I don't want to pay for players if we don't have to. Oh, Jesus. Look at the Banfield, do you? Right, yeah, he might be worth a pay. He could be a free loan, but I don't know if he actually he would be that useful for us on loan. Let's just... This guy's an amateur called Amadou. It's Paula. How's it going, Paula? Hmm. He might be a youth focus. I don't know. Three. I hate friendly tournaments because they just they're too close together. You just liable to get loads of injuries, and I'm just not after it. Hmm. Hey, Paolo. He's a strange one. Do you know if there's a train coming? He's not soon? that great, oh, yeah, is he? Very soon. No, I'm just yeah, in Portugal. Uh, no, we must have amateurs in Portugal. Uh, Macaque, thank you very much for the follow. I'm just not sure about him. He has no marking or position. I mean, he's only 17, admittedly, but it's the. F it depends on how much he'd want. Squad, yeah, not squad player in him. Like, if he was, like, a fringe player... No, not a fringe player. If he was a breakthrough prospect, I'd be all over it, but not as a squad player. I think maybe it's because Portugal. Well, it's not just about wages. It's also about their squad status. Because if he's going to demand... Like, even if he had cheap wages, he would just kick off the moment he didn't start every game. Mm. 
Did he want a language course? Yeah, he's definitely not signing then. What about Luke Rodriguez? Tackling's at least okay. And he has got speed. Ish. He might be more worth it, providing... I mean, he's still not great. Provided he doesn't want too much money. Okay, so bro has got no interest. Okay, well, that's screw you then. Uh, that guy, we've already put the shortlist, so that's not a problem. Uh, Chefter Zabek. A, tur a, ooh, a Turkish Swede. Oh, he's worth money. Yeah, we can't really sign him. And he's actually worth quite a lot of money. He might be one from a recruitment focus, potentially. Okay, who's that Scottish guy you're on about? He might be worth the money. I, I strike that. He is emphatically worth the money. Ryan Owens from East Kilbride. If we had to pay 5k for him, I know he has consistency and injury prone, but train him to play further back. He can cross, he can dribble, he can pass. He has high work rate. He's fast. He's just a nimble little right-sided winger with a reasonable left foot too. He's very much worth it. Even if you have to pay like three or four thousand pounds for him, I feel like he is worth the money. And surely, watch him say no. Reddish, uh, that's not quite reddish, but as I said before, we're playing in Malta. Like, <laughs> If you, if you want every player to have perfect pros and cons, then don't play in Malta, is all I can really say. You have to accept that there's going to be some drawbacks when you do this, right? It's it's a sad situation, but I think people place way too much emphasis on it. Okay, let's try it. Um, recruitment focuses. Uh, yes, they're the ones that... Well, the recruitment focuses that we're using, yes, they're the ones from James's one. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait. Hang on. What? Sorry. He doesn't have an agent. He does have an agent. What? What? Oh, did I back out the talk? Shit, my bad. Never mind, we'll just do it like this. Ah, fuck, hang on. I'll try again. Forgot to exclude that. I hate that when they do that. Right, cool. Seven grand. Uh, no, as far as I know, you can't. You should be able to, right? But as far as I know, you can't. 6.5k, worth it. Agent's gone on holiday. There's also Glenn here at Scunth. Oh, he's way too expensive. It's also, he's not a real player, is he? It's just because of the uh, weird glitch. He's an okay player, but that kind of money is not something we're willing to pay at this point. I think I'm way beyond wanting to pay that kind of cash. Mostly because we don't have it. Other guys underneath. So there's Christian Kunza, who is a DLP. And he would be sort of affordable, potentially. Although this guy here, this is the Banfield dude, right? Trignanes. Tell you what, as an inverted winger. As an inverted winger. Maybe as a loan option. We're not going to do that. But regular starter, you'd be fine. Oh, free loan for Felix Trignanes. Free is very good. Because he will slot perfectly as that inside... Oh, is it six months? Shit! Oh, well. Oh, it's probably because his contract ends in six months. If I had to guess. Yeah, his contract's up in six months. So, we well, we couldn't have loaned him any longer than that anyway. So, we'll just have to get him for free at the end of the loan. There was no way to loan him for more than six months when his contract only has six months left on it. But because we're not technically into that six months part, we can't actually do that. Very nice. Fuck it. Well, Harold Bishop it now. Just to celebrate some of these relatively good signings today. And a five. And a four. And a three. And a two. And a one. And take it away, Harold. Show us what you're made of, baby. What you did. I got through Harold and I'm in the house where the coffee's green and the food is grouse. With sandwiches and lasagna too. Ice cream sundae for me and you. I got through Harold and I'm in the house where the coffee's green and the food is I try not to lose my temper with myself. Oh, ah, goodness sake and shit and balls. The minute you get uptight, you're dead. It should be fine, providing they don't do that weird thing where, because they're on loan to you, they refuse to, like, it won't let you do the approach to sign thing. I've had that happen before. It might have just be because it was a specific, a certain player, but we have had that happen. So this is Christian Kunza. It's Matt's favorite type of ball. God. Ah, right. Chat, it's time for some more amateurs. <laughs> ah, right. In it. 
Yes, he does. Yeah, that's when he right when he collapses with a heart attack immediately. I think this guy. I'm, I'm worried about the lack of determination, frankly, on him. And he would cost us money. I'm just not overly into it, frankly. What resolution? Uh, just 1080p. Hello, Bob. Uh, yeah, also the hair, true. This guy here at Laval. He's a real player, presumably. He'd have to be. Oh, I can't be doing with a six jumping reach center back. No matter how good the rest of him is, and it's not actually that good. I I'm not having a six jumping reach center back. Not on my team. Oh, no. He is German, yes. Uh, he's half German, half Portuguese. But unfortunately, he's half German, half Portuguese, all lack of determination. In fact, Clifton Phil is probably too expensive for us as well. He's also oh, a real this player. Is where I park he's my car. not very good either. Hello, Pog again. Silent service. Thank you very much for the follow. Uh, right, some freebies here, but they don't look anywhere near as good. Even the United guy. And there's Kianchi. So he's... Ah, he's up to B- minus again now. Still don't know if he's worth it, honestly. Many thanks today. Honestly, the biggest one is Pelletier. He's the big dog, frankly. My fa and also Nizic. What do I smell like, Pog? I don't know. Don't know, right, okay. Could have been nice. I was you could have gone two ways there. I was expecting her to either say shit or cologne or something. Or just Lila can gooseberry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You'll have to see it. Trains a wing back. Uh with five crossing, probably not, no. And also, yeah. <laughs> I don't really want a wing back with five crossing and only ten tackling. Uh, ten's actually okay, but five crossing, hell no. Ah. Uh, spineless personality as well. A rarity these days. You don't see a lot of spineless personalities in FM. Jacob Devaney. Bye Pog. Yeah, he's yeah. Titwan's way there. Neo Mertens is a great name. Deep line playmaker that can't really pass or position himself and has low self-belief. What are these personalities, man? Not sure I'm a big fan of those ones. Smells like Giga Chat. I could do. Can I break his spot? True. He did decent. Eh. I feel like we'd have to pay a lot of money as well because Man United. Linenbank was that guy we were... Oh, he was Mr. Big Hair. Maybe he's a face in the game. Uh, not really, Coughlin, you know? Like... Uh, right. Yeah, Sultan is disappointed. Maybe it's just because we don't know enough about him yet. I reckon he's what These grayed out guys, I think we scout them again. I don't think... Perfectionist is good, but you will have some problems with them still because of... um. Just don't praise them, basically. Just don't interact with them in any way. National Team Scouting. Well, we can't scout Benin because we're in Malta. <laughs> um, we don't have worldwide scouting, obviously. He did go up a little bit, yeah. And these guys are not from that, are they? Wait, are you Moldovan? He is. Wow, he's really bad. <laughs> he's got okay tackling, but he's really bad. Yeah, these guys are not for me. Trial to the freebies. Uh, none of them are free. They're all. Uh, they're all. They all have clubs. Oh yeah. Uh, no, we're waiting until July first to scout Malta. Oh. I don't think the. What? Would he not? He's seventeen. Would he, uh, okay, we'll go to shortlist him anyway. I'm just going to remove him and put him back on again. It did say low intelligence. This is true, yeah. <laughs> That's a very good point. Have to wait. Have to wait till he's 18. Yeah, we'll just go back in for him then, though, right? Just made Chef's Pasta. Oh, you'd love to see it. Pog and I, I think, I think we're actually making Chef Pasta later today, which is always good times. Harvard or Pasta. Well, I think we need to look him up anyway. So that's hopefully happening, too. Right, now I can look up Lemanny Nodorovic. I definitely want to make sure we get the tie done today. Views for attributes. Uh, wait. Am I spelling that wrong? I don't think there is a, man a Nemanja Jovic, unfortunately. Not in my database, anyway. Um, depends on which view you're actually specifically after. I have different types of views for different things. Some spicy pickups. Yeah, honestly. Um, oh my god, I hate that this all goes into one. Biggest one for me is Tituan Pelletier. Frankly, he is the what? He is him. Frankly, for free. And. Ilan Nizic as well is also particularly goated. I'm enjoying him. I want to make sure I put Pelletier on the right training as well. I'm the Pope. 
I'm not sure we're actually training him as a centre back because he's not going to play further up. And so we'll just get him there. He is the tits, yeah. The rough view is better than the skin as well. True, yeah. Uh, Magvit, thank you very much for the follow. And also a signing called shit, yeah. Tits Pelletier is... Ex oh, yeah, he's double footed oh, too. He's everything. Harry Clark is a great name. Thank you for the follow. Uh, right, we catch up on that and that. And then Harvard or Pasta. There he is at West Ham. With your... I'll tell you what, you look annoyingly quite good as well, actually. No work permit, of course, but... There's attributes there, Harv. There's attributes. Yeah, Tits is... He, he is literally the Tits. Ready for Europe? Uh, not really, no. But we're signing people, right? It's something. Right, that'll have to wait for a little while. Hello, Henry! He is... Ignoring the stars, right? Because attribute-wise, he is solid. For an inverted winger on the left, which is where he'd probably play, he's got okay speed. He can cross, he can dribble, he can pass. He's going to give us more options, right? Look through some of the squads. Johnny found squads full of free players. But... Sure. But I'm still trying to focus on what we're currently doing. Um, Malta goes well, honestly. Yeah, for six months, he's just a nice little option. True. Uh, Ahem, please. What are you smoking? It's pre-season! Bit concerned about his playing time. You, when, when would you have played? You joined us at the... He's a breakthrough... Hang on, what the hell? He's a breakthrough prospect, and he actually played four times. Bear in mind, he joined us. When did he start? In January. So as a breakthrough prospect, he played four league games for us. How does that make sense? How many games is a breakthrough prospect supposed to play? He's actually played. Read again, what did they say? Not good at... Refer hang on. So he wants... To but why would he play more? That's why I gave you that role. You've just signed for us. Yeah, but to me, a player shouldn't be demanding a higher squad status after fucking five months at the club. Because now he's going to kick off about it too when there's no evidence that he should be getting a higher squad status. It's just annoying is, it, is all it is. Oh, I hate the fact that my assistant manager just doesn't do his job half the time. Um, but we'll try discussing with it. If he's going to write like a tosser about it, then... Indignant importance to the team you have no importance that is why i signed you on that squad status it... fuck it i'll loan him out like that's fine if he wants to go out alone i'll loan him put him on the dev list because if he can do a loan with an option maybe threaten so that eh, doesn't always work that's really annoying, though. It's like you've only just fucking arrived at the club, and I've played you a little bit. The worst thing is, though, right? Had I not played him, he'd have kicked up a fuss about the lack of playing time Cooper. instead. You can't really win. <laughs> that I is a hell of a name, but I'll call you Zeus because I see it in the middle. Thank you very much for the follow, Zeus. Freaky. Lost in translation. <laughs> right, get that out. Well, I mean, if worst case scenario, we'll just try and sell him off, but I don't think that's going to likely happen too easily. Clubs decline to make offer well, again. Signings of the season, rule changes, that's not relevant anyway. Right, okay, now, what I'm looking for now is the 1st of July, so that we can see if we can get any, uh... The problem is he signed when he was... He, the, the issue is that he signed at literally less than six months ago. So like, if he doesn't want to be a breakthrough prospect, fine, but then don't agree to the contract. Jean, buddy, please. Do we just... Oh, we haven't... Oh, no, we did. We beat 2-1. Okay, that was a bit, bit narrow. Right. I, uh, does that actually give us any more money? No. <laughs> well, it does a little bit, but not worth it. Su oh, the Super Cup. Forgot about that. Semi-final of the... Oh, it's preferred. It's preferred. We're okay. God, they've really upped it, haven't they? Oh, They do still need to have a look at some of those stuff. Give the club to manage. I can't, but if you do exclamation mark perchance, then perchance can definitely give you that. Uh, oh, we get... Hey, look, chap! 17 grand in TV money! <laughs> Just what we needed. We're playing Valletta up first. So naturally, we need a report on Bicky. Oh, it's a friendly. Of course it is. I'm assuming that no one's going to come in for him. It seems like it takes longer for clubs to decline your players as well. Yeah, like, that's been a... No clubs are willing to... Do you know what? Fuck it. He hasn't got an agent either. I'm going to hire an intermediary. Okay. <laughs> right, okay. Not going to do that. Valletta could be a TV game, true. Uh... Fuck it. 
we'll just offer him out random. See if there's anything there. Vanus is looking solid because obviously we finished the season. So we got the prize money from that. Although it's probably been dropping down a little bit. We're actually quite solid right now. But we have to start building a bit of funds up so that we can uh, get that stadium when it inevitably happens to us. What's all this up here? Oz Trials. Fine with Fringe Player. He possibly would be, but I don't really want to give him Fringe. I mean, he probably... I just resent when players start asking for new squad statuses the moment you sign them. It's like, don't agree to the contract then. Like, put that... If he'd have agreed... If he said Fringe Player when we signed him, I would have actually accepted that. Never, you've never played, I don't think you're alone in that, Jay. Um, I've had people say the same thing before, that they don't just watch FM content but don't actually play the game. And fair, right? You know, I do that with other games. I don't I don't own FIFA, but I still watch some FIFA content. 2-0 against Birki Kara with Nisic scoring as well. Six foot nine. You'd love to see it. I'm in. Sign me up. Provided he actually exists in my save. Chukumika. What Bob? Ah, oh, he's not in my database. Yeah, I am spelling that correct. I'm sorry. For playing FM, there you go. But did, but he did get you into it. So our principal, it literally is Viva. Yeah, and you know all about that, Viva El Principe. Was that for twenty? Yeah, it probably he was almost certainly in the save still. It's just because of the way that I've set this up, perhaps. Um. I'm just going to keep this as preseason for the moment, even though it adds a lot of resistance. We've got to be careful with injuries there, though. Do you like watching this stream? <laughs> oh, God. Jira are in takeover talks. Local investor. Are they about to get goated? Please tell me they're in. Okay, good. They're fine. They've got money in the bank. We're not worried. I'd be worried if they had no money, because then they might go into administration immediately. Contract set to expire. That's fine. Staff were fine with that at the moment. Ooh. Oh, no. They'll stick around for a bit anyway. No club finds him. Wow. All right. Fine. We transfer list him. You, you don't mess with me, bud. Like, ooh. Oh, they were from the... Wait, is there more on the 16? Oh, the 16. Oh, Chateau. Some guys have shown up on the 16 one. There's an Estonian in there? I'll take that lot there. Hang on. How did an Iranian sneak through? Love that. This one also had some near matches reason not good enough well let me be the judge oh no you're right <laughs> okay fair enough and he's not awful but maybe just lacks the potential oh was there some belgian amateurs in there oh yeah there is well the belgian the, the belgian amateurs but they're there well obviously dear haunter Okay, my apologies. I will refuse to ever react about finding good players again. It's just a bit silly, isn't it? You know, that joke gets so old. I would like to try to extend that loan, maybe. Keep the money off, right? No. <laughs> that, I swear that happens every time. Um, we, we better get used to that, at least. So I'm so interested in Alio. An 18-year-old from... Bur right, 18-year-old Burkinabe striker. Yes, please. £37,000. All right. Show me. That's the club, Matt. Uh... Okay, you've got to do better than that. How am I supposed to know if he's any good or not? <laughs> we have no... Ch I can't even scout him. Yeah, Larry's injured again. It's only a tight car, though, for big lazzles. It's all good. <sighs> yeah, I'm not going to take a punt on a player for... What need in squad? Uh, players, mostly. Um, we, we're not short in any specific areas. We just need players. So we just need to be better than we were, right? <laughs> but we actually... Yeah. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do in this situation. Because I can't scout them. Low with an option to buy. True? He had the stats. But did he? We can't even see his attributes. And we don't want to pay 30 grand for a player that we can't even see. And look, they're going to want... 800 grand uh, trials did you not just see him uh, reject the trial and also look i'll say this i'm blue in the face if a player has a club currently offering them a trial is a 99 percent fail rate so it's a waste of time key attributes decent you just don't know that though do you because you can't see them <laughs> what's his dribbling tell me his dribbling now <laughs> like you can't see his stats um let's see um yeah our only option really would be to try like you say try alone with an option but they're reluctant to do it. Um, I 
Like, if he was free, I would just take a punt, but he's not. And he would actually cost us money, and we can't see anything more about him. And I don't think there's any other way we could scout him. Because he plays in Burkina Faso. Uh... Like, on the outset, he looks solid, but it's not worth us paying £30,000 to find out, right? The thing is, he's a real player. If he was a regen, I'd actually be potentially slightly more likely to do it. 31 and 68. Well, yeah, but that's in the Burkina, the Burkinabe League. <laughs> that doesn't actually mean... Also, those don't really mean a lot in FM anyway. Organise a friendly against them. Uh, we can't. I mean, we can, but they will say no. Um. Oh god, why can't I put it there? They'll consider it too far. We'd also have to pay them. We'd have to pay them twenty-five grand just for the friendly. <laughs> What's the compensation if you have a contract? Oh, good point. Yeah, the compensation actually it might be lower, or it might be completely free. There we go. Solutions. See, I only need solutions. Chat. Play away. It would still cost us money. To travel to book Nafaso for the friendly. <laughs> like, like, that would then cost us money and travel instead. And it's quite a lot. I think it normally shows comp down here too, doesn't it? It's also regular starter concerning me. 200 <laughs> Now it's half a million pounds, chap. It's half a million pounds. I think I'll probably not go pay them half a million quid if it's all the same. Clarmat, thank you very much for the prime. Ah, uh, apologies for the sass chat. You know how it can be sometimes, right? When people just say things that are super obvious that you, as someone who's played the game before, know. And I probably shouldn't rise to it, but it's just like, yeah. Um, so, uh, next chat. Next, next idea. Do you know what? Let's use this as a learning moment, right? Let's try and make an offer. Okay, not that. <laughs> Let's try and make... Wait. Okay, well, <laughs> let's look at this as even more of a learning moment. <laughs> we shall return. This is not over. This is not over. Oh, speaking of over. That's right, we get a nice little distraction now. Uh, also, great name. Geordie Van Strappershoof. Ah. Uh, what wages did he want? What wages did he want? Oh, he wanted like £900 a week. Oh, oh yeah, bear in mind, he also wanted insane wages, which has now disappeared as well. <laughs> when I asked his agent, he wanted like £800 to £900 a week, if I remember correctly. Which is, get a scout with good knowledge a bit of... Oh, fair enough, yeah. Uh, sure. Let me just check our scout. Ah, wait, no. <laughs> like, Also, that wouldn't actually help us much. It would give us a little bit more knowledge, but I'm not going to fire a scout, appoint a new scout that we may not even be able to find because they don't exist yet, just for that one purpose. Uh, sorry, chat. Right, we move. Um, uh, age manager of notable players. Um, we manage just him. But so, sorry, chat. Let's see. Uh, his agent. The thing is, you say notable players, but like, define no. How would we know if they were notable? <laughs> no good. So, that's a good point. You've got me on the technicality there. Pretty good players, any big names there. I don't think that's how that works. I've seen some agents represent absolute shite as well as big players. Um, but also, like, he seems to be pretty much solely representing... He's got the, a couple of, like, good players in there. He hates Emery, Pep, and Javi. <laughs> Man just loathes Tiki Taka football. <laughs> Hard is looking like from the trial farm. Uh, which trial farm? We haven't really been... Most of the players we've been trialling have been just like randos for the league. We're not really interested in them. Oh, well, Stolberg's not really turned out to be that good. Oh, Mohammed, come on. I want more information on you, bud. Wait. Oh, no, he is... Yeah, phew. I thought he was playing somewhere else for a second there. I thought we were going to get screwed. Hard oh, with a gifted sub to the sassy man. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, yeah, so he obviously represents like a load of Birkenabe players. Every player in the game can have a note attached to them. They're all notable. <laughs> Solid. Except I will never set another note after what happened last time. There's Yenis, which is a really good name for a club, to be honest. Ah, good old Yenis. The Dutch UAE guy. Uh, that was Mohammed just down there. Um, and we still don't have, like, a non grayed out one, and I want to keep scouting him until we do. Hello. Lindenbank's pretend... I don't trust this until this is gr not grey. 
I want at least a non-grey scout report on him. Yenus and Yuthead. Sock named as Young Popper of the Year. Solid. I rate that. Uh, you are cheap-ish. Ah, probably none of these guys would be homegrown. Although this guy's just kind of good. Shabbat. They're also very mid. <laughs> like, guy at Leicester City, a Bermudan. With actual international caps. Why have I even been recommending him? He might have come through with the um, other reports. There's Tom Whelan at Boreham Wood here who's quite cheap, but he's 29. Not really what we're looking for. These guys are good, but they're 21 and 19 respectively. And he does play for a team called Morna Bar. And actually, he's not awful. How far are we scouted on you? Extensive knowledge. Uh, yes, no, I'm getting to it, Total. I'm just dealing with one thing at a time. I don't want to like start doing lookups in the middle of the scout reports, otherwise we just get confused. And I'll accidentally end up continuing for forgetting about them. I, I will always get to them. It's only been seven minutes. Claudio Salto. Me. That's just me. European matches. No, we haven't actually got to the first European game yet. But we will hopefully get it. When is it? 10th of July. Yeah, we'll get there. Um, Salto's not great. Have currently in the squad? Yes. <laughs> no. We have like one. Ah, I could have free loaned him. Good point. Oh, well. <laughs> the moment's passed. Let's keep going. I want to get to July 1st so we can have a look for some freebies from Malta. And just in general. Uh, oh, yeah. We actually select a squad for that game. Who is that? Oh, no, no. Come on. You're not starting up front for us. Yeah, we've actually got one less than the start of the stream because I accidentally released one. Which is less than ideal. Argentina Doff. What do you mean? Oh, Doff isn't Argentinian. That's the guy at... Um, right, hang on. Oh, hang on. Right, here we go. This is what we want. So, I want to get... I mean, I'd love to get these guys back. If, they, if any it's of these good, uh, four came in back... Summer. In winter, it can get very depressing. We would have to pay, and I'm willing to make that happen. I pay with the relations payable. Absolutely not, no. That would be the slowest thing in the world. No, I have a database set up I use that loads all the players, but not the leagues, basically. The Vegas Blazer! Thank you for the follow. I think that's okay, actually. Although I'm not going to let them play him as a Carriero. That's it. We're asking for trouble there. It's a bit more than last time. Or is it? I mean, it is a bit, but it's not much, is it? So that's fine. Uh, Hamadi, I'm not asked about. Grineo. If we could get Grineo back... Six months. Oh, it's because of his fucking contract, isn't it? Which is fine. Because that means we might even be able to get him for free. So if we get Grineo back again, our days just got a lot better. And Marza as well, come on. They would require no money. <laughs> yes, please. And then what if Walo comes back too? Oh my god, he's free. I mean, if we get those, that little contingent of players back again, they're all six months. We have no choice. They have six months left on their contracts. I cannot loan a player longer than their contract exists. Why are you saying six months? Do anyway. <laughs> I can't loan a player longer than their contract exists, chat. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Argentina's contracts finish in December. <laughs> oh, dear. We've been over this so many times today. Six months, Chateau! Anyway, if we do get those guys, but it also means that we might be able to get first dibs on them when their contracts expire, which is really good news. Uh, I already did S-Link. That was the first one I did. The only guy... Yeah, I wanted those four, and that's the four we've got. Trying to offer seven months? On a free, like, free contract. Well, when you, you can, but not until they're in the range of being able to be offered that contract, which you can't do that. <laughs> Cheers, Rammo. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> right. Oh, dear. Just don't let them return. <laughs> Ambrose. Yeah, you can offer them pre-contracts, but not until they're in the range for pre-contracts, which they're not. Uh, there he is. At EFK Jutteborg Reserves. Stewie with the gifted sub to mass everything. <laughs> oh, dear. Off the contract. Yes, I know, Jason, but we can't do that until the contract ends. Buy for free, that'll work, right? Definitely won't red lucky. Oh, no, yeah. If we tried to buy them for free, it will, as you know, won't work. The extradition agreement. <laughs> Do you think they're all on the run from the lower? 
Uh, you can give them contracts in July. However, FM has this wonderful thing that happens sometimes where if a player is on loan to you, the game seems to block you from offering them pre-contracts, which is really fucking stupid. I've seen that happen a few times. So yeah, that's Philip, Philip Ambrosch. Solid player. Been in wrong nationality. He's Swedish. We love a Swede. Postco with a gifted sub to six months. <laughs> Oh dear. Thank you, man. That's very kind. Perfect paddock. How's it going, friend? Let's play these randos. Because lots of trials ending there. Siren Seat. Watch them now. Watch bear in mind they could turn down the loans as well. Oh cheers, perfect paddock. That was a fun one. How long to Europe? It's the tenth. Uh that's all fine. The question is whether that Oh my god, they went for it. All three of them went for it. Grineo, Marza, Boalo. All of them. The Argentines are back, baby. We're getting them all, at least for the first half of the season. But that's going to help us massively for those European games. We might actually be goaded. And then we can focus on maybe trying to bring them in permanently. Now, are they all 19? Wait, hang on. Wait a second. They are 19, but... They would have done their first year. So we might be able to get these guys and have them homegrown, potentially. And that would be genuinely awesome. If we could sign some of these lads up. Now, the bear in mind, they've already said they weren't willing to sign for us. Register them. Register them for what? They're all... God, they're so good. I'm so glad we got those guys back. If nothing else, that's just a big deal for us. Jealous Zabar noises. It. They've probably got some absolutely mad shite themselves, to be fair. Uh, right, so actually, what's happened so far in the window since it opened? Not a lot, to be fair, thus far. Although, these are some fun names, so there's bound to be something going in there, right? So, a Nigerian there at Master Schlock. Okay, they're making some moves. Wait, no, they sold him. Yurion Nika, a Kosovan, who's already wanted for loan. Fair enough. And then Yastin Vinotti, who is Italian. He doesn't even look that bad. Yeah, Zabar are just lining everyone up. They might, I mean, provided they've still got the same manager, I suspect a lot. I mean, it's a good, like, nearly half their first teams. They've got a really tiny squad. <laughs> but they do have, like, six of them. And three Brazilians as well. Where's old Harry's gone? Where has he gone? Have they sold him? Zab Argentina, literally, yeah. Maybe they couldn't agree contracts. They might have had to sort themselves out, find out. Yeah, they have. Look, they've let a lot of people go. Because they were well over their um, the part time. No, no, they're top flight side. They were well over their like wage budget, so they might have had to let some people go to make that work. They, they probably did run out of money. Honestly, they were spending so much last year. Not lose something in the way of the league's champions league places late and save. No, well, unless you want to manage in those leagues, but then you just turn them on, right? Um, I mean. You, you do in the sense that you no longer have the league results for those leagues, but if you're that interested in that league, just manage in it, right? Or turn it on to view only. But I mean, it's, it's entirely up to you, truthfully, right? So if you want those extra, like, options and want to be able to see that stuff, then crack on, but it will slow your save down hugely. So it's really a question of what you value the most. And what I value the most is being able to move through things faster. Oh, yeah, we're not going to sign him because he's not a player that we've been sc we've scouted. He's very good, though. One, I'm just hoping that one of our scouts does actually bring one of these guys to us. <laughs> yeah, it was just a look up. But still, very good player. Detail level could work too, actually, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'll actually miss out on anything, but it depends on what you want to do, right? Um, that's a good result. Offers made for... Where... Okay, I need to start removing players from that shortlist. <laughs> John's injured. John, can you stop it? Is he seriously injury prone? He's not, but yet he feels like it. <laughs> Bro really does be... Oh, God. Thank God Boalo's coming back. And we've got um, Tits Pelletier, because that is not a good injury to have. Oh, it's so worth it for the processing time. Yeah, it's, again, it comes down to personal preference more than anything else, right? Yeah, Beth, that's, a, that's an FM bug, unfortunately. Um, that is going to happen to us too, most likely, but there's nothing you can do about it. It's just FM going, hey, um, looks like you're managing outside of Manchester City. Seems like a problem. It is terrible, Beth, yeah. 
Um, it will hopefully fix itself. If you make the lookups more expensive, then you could take it as a serious scout recommendation. I don't know what you mean by that. The lookups don't cost anything in the game. It's just in the points and Twitch chat. That's irrelevant. Oh, Asian Champions League final. Let's go. G interesting lookup. Let's have a look. Uh, it was. Wait, hang on. Oh, that's a preliminary round. I was like, that's that team. What that dude moved to and that. Uh, the last final was Ulsan Hyundai. Hey, it's nice to see a non-Saudi team go and win it. Um, it was... Oh, they beat Al Halal in the final as well. In a no venue. Dark times are coming. Yeah, literally. Uh, we could make sure that we get a lot of money when 2031 ticks around. The coffee region? <laughs> right, so that's hammering. Yeah, so the... Sem's coming back as well. Great news. Play in the void. Yeah, so Semi's back too. That's really good news. I was not expecting them to come back. I think maybe us getting into Europe was enough. I'm the Pope. Cooper, take off the I should just rest. The reason I don't sign players from the lookups most of the time is because our scouts didn't know about that player and it just feels a bit like metagaming to me and it's not as fun to just find the players like properly. That's the reason I do it like that. I kind of, in the past I have, but I just, I find this more fun person. I'm trying to make it more difficult, you know? Smackjack, thank you for the follow. Desire Due. And there he is at Raw. Oh, yeah, that would be something. But that's why we... um Yeah, I still sign meme signings from lookups occasionally, like we did when we signed Vladislav shit earlier. Why do you sign Pogba in a <laughs> I love how you always turn this into memes chat. It makes my life so much easier. Uh, so, yeah, that's Des Desiree Doué of Raw. Um... I mean, he's a good player. Obviously, I realize this wasn't even a suggestion. Is there like a face pack? Like, yes, there absolutely is like a face pack or something. There's loads of them, in fact. It depends what you like. I personally use DF11, which is what this is, is you're seeing here. But there are many different options that you can have. It's very stupid, Beth, isn't it? But that's that same kind of shit used to happen to us all the time with MTK as well. Do you remember with MTK? Or was it Treaty? Where our values finally reached a certain level. And then the next season, they dropped by like a third for no reason, despite us improving. yeah exactly that's sort of to me is an acceptable form of it um we have just lost it but they are hammering and we're probably playing a weak inside anyway second team i probably just wasn't playing right yeah it literally was right after rejected no, i once had a 200 million pound bid for someone in the mtk save and i turned it down and never after that did we even get a single bid of close to 100 it was really interesting it's like the game almost took offense at me turning down the bid. It was for Brandon Silver in case you wanted. I really should have done that, shouldn't I? Particularly after his mistakes later. Uh, Martin Sleepover. Thank you very much for the follow. Oh yeah, Hammerin are going to be so difficult to overthrow. And I kind of like that, honestly. I'm just going to put a normal preseason one in there and not have an actual friendly and just so that they keep the intensity up but there's less risk of injuries. Uh, we'll have a Wednesday one there for that. No, that's true. Nobody plays longer than 10 years. Used to be. Yeah, it's... um. It has got much tougher in the lower leagues. And I think for me, it was about time it did, honestly. But I realize that's, you know, depends on your level of competence at the game, as well as just like how much you, how you enjoy playing certain things. So those guys will remain at the moment. I can extend those for a while. Wait. MTK have just sacked their manager. That's not going well. There is prize money, yes. Well, I feel sorry for David Hall. That, that's kind of shit. Poor man. Uh, right, end of season. Batue, I'm on the fence about him at the moment. But I do feel like Samasi is someone I... Oh, he's got a deal. He's got an extension. We'll just trigger that. Ishik Kamara. I think... Yeah, literally, I saw that. I went, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, Larry's Larry's going. Andrea, we literally can't give a new contract. Actually, wait, it doesn't say he has no interest now. Let me just try. No, nah, he still doesn't. Oh, Traore, probably. We'll hold off on these guys at the moment because I'm still unsure we can decide that closer to the time uh, so Agumang and Gideon's back annoyingly yeah that's the thing I don't want to give them like three year con like Samassi's one that I definitely would because fact. he's really well, good um, yeah we are starting to lose a bit more money now here. lost 130 grand this month Ooh. oh I forgot about Diop Fat Greasy Ninja what a great name <laughs> love that thank you for the follow man it's very kind of you sir um I forgot about GB Diop our midfield just got even better. With Diop and Esselink in there, 
Oh, on a free transfer, he is very, very, very good. 15 passing in Malta is lovely. I thought that's a good Jimmy deal before. <laughs> Six foot five as well. Oh, yeah, I mean, we are literally now. What's our squad actually looking like? Just let me just have a little look. So, cool. <laughs> They're all on red. Wait. Oh, it's because the next game is the fucking um, Champions League match. Point being. Oh, it won't even let me pick the fucking players because of it. Season preview. Good question. We're probably going to be second, I think. Yeah, we're second at the moment. Five to one. They're all on holiday. Yeah, it's annoying they won't even let you pick the squad with them temporarily, even though they're not. Thank you, Arrow. That's very kind. We've only got 600 viewers. Christ on a bike. Point being, I think we've got a good squad. Oh, let's actually use the fucking squad depth page. I forgot about that. Right. So, goalkeeper, we've got Ali Uchura. He's solid. Not fantastic, but he's solid. I could drag, but this is probably easier anyway. We've got Dick, and Elijah Cisse is good cover, but he's got potential. He's not really a, you know... Backline is great, with Boalo and Dong's injured, of course, but Kamara and obviously um, Tits Pelletier, who is going to be a, a phenomenal player. Samassi's good there. And Bong can cover too. Start a save. Um, It depends on... That's a tough one to say, Jack, because I don't know what you're looking for specifically in a save, right? If Kassar leaves. Well, Kassar won't leave now. He'll leave at the end of the season, which is fine. Won't need a backup goal. We have one. It's called Andrea Kassar. Could be my guide. I can be your guide, but I need more information. <laughs> um, I can't go... It's like the blind leading the blind, Jack. <laughs> per chance is a good starting point, though, yeah. So strikers are fine, because it's the same as last year. Just pick best 11 unrestricted. But this is better, because we can see the depth now. We've pa we're past it. Um, the left side, we've got the lone E as well, who's not showing there for some reason. And on the right, we've got Cater and Bong. Hamadi isn't going to be here. As right, Dor as well. Midfield is good though with Esselink, Jibby, Rios. Another centre mid wouldn't go amiss. Maybe back up in the left back spot. Um, basically, we just have to see what comes up with the Maltese chaps, right? The old men, yeah, they do need to go. Uh, let's do it from here. Actually, let me use the. Let me just use the squad planner again. Said no one ever. Uh, right, let's try and get rid of Gideon. Larry's out. Of, oh, he's out of contract. Oh, that's perfect. All right, well, bye. <laughs> Ta-ra. Well, plus, uh, shit is a midfielder. <laughs> what a strange sentence that always makes sense. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Larry is wanted by Marsa. I swear to God, if we could get Larry out. I can't ask his agent first. Gideon's gone. We get rid of Larry and Gideon. We've also got Mbong to cover that. I just chopped the legs off Larry and I know. I'm a vengeful god. Right, it's the 1st of July. Actually, I'm going to go to the 2nd. Because reasons. Right, he's gone. Shortest of players near the end of contract. They're both going to turn us down. But if they don't, we are having a bastard party. Right. If either of these two will actually sign for us permanently, I don't care who, because they're both amazing... My client has absolutely no interest in entering contract negotiations under any circumstances. Okay. It's not over yet, though, because when they get released properly, they might change their tune. And Lucas Marza? Let me just ask him. Can I ask him in here? Yeah, they're both absolute wankers. But that might change when they're fully released from their clubs. Or they get contract extensions with those clubs and we're then able to extend the loans again. My, ham my plan here is genuinely just keep extending the loans till they get homegrown and then just... Uh, <laughs> Just buy them after that eventually once we get a bit more uh, quality. I don't think this is over. Uh, fine loan move. Uh, I'll try again. Oh, I still can't even do that, can I? I'll try and offer it out for a loan. Right, just a loan in general, right? Uh, they're happy with that. That's fine. Scouting update. Anyone new in? Oh my god. Right, now we've entered the good territory. Here come the trialies, baby. And these guys are young too. Oh my god. Holy shit, some of these guys in here. Oh my god, look at the Argentinian dude. He's 19. And he's out of contract. Oh, babbery. Here we go. Right. Let's go to the bottom of this list first. Get rid of Ash Baker. Sorry, Ash, it's not your time. Uh, it is, I believe, St. Kitian and Nevisian. I believe is the demonym. 
just Gary Cahill doing bits for us right now. Good point. Actually, yeah, I haven't considered that. Before we get into this properly, let me look at Falu Sock again. Kyle Kelly, yeah, it's just a solid. Kitson Novician. St. Kitty. I swear it says the demonym is St. St. Kitts and Novician or something. It probably has different ones that you can use, honestly. Right, get rid of that. Ugh, lovely scenes. I guess it depends which island. Yeah, true. But if you talk about the nationality, then you wouldn't reference the island, would you? Same as like you would say Trimbagonian for Trinidad and Tobago. For, from Trinidad and Tobago. So there's Falu Sock. Obviously, it's just Sock as a surname is wonderful. Great player I. To be fair, we can't see it. So it's actually our IQ that's the problem. Okay. Those two are trials, so we've got those guys in anyway. Marius Ivan. 16-year-old Romanian. He must be from a recruitment focus. Because he's got a contract. It's £20 a week. Problem with him, he's... He's not actually that good. He's got crossing. Uh... Yeah, he's definitely from that report, for sure. Uh, there's also Miliero, who's a Portugueser. He's cheaper. Aerial reach is shocking. He has three passing. Yeah, he has potential. They both have potential. I'm more interested in the likes of Max Neef underneath. Sixteen year old from Halberstad. He's got pace, but that's about it. He can't cross. He's only sixteen, admittedly, but We'd have to actually pay... Wait, would we have to pay zero? I want to just see if I can pay zero. Okay, I, I just want to see what his wages would be like, potentially. Because, again, freebies, potentially, are there. This is the guy I'm more interested in, honestly. Think, yeah, apparently thinks he's a Villa player. Yeah, the picture is just, uh, again, FM being FM, sadly. Right, what about Rodriguez? Good on both feet. Good hair. Work rate and technique are high. Crossing is probably high. Pace is probably high. Make more short-term signings, maybe. What do you mean? Like... Okay. Maybe what? Like, I, I don't know what the, the end goal is there. Make more short-term signings so we can lose players on a free transfer. It, there's <laughs> six months, damn it! <laughs> six months! We must have them for six months! <laughs> I don't know. It just seems pointless. If I'm going to sign a player, I'd like to at least tie them down for a little while, right? Otherwise, you're just kind of wasting your money because... If they won't sign new contracts, then sort of defeats the point of it. Uh, right, let's try... Let's see what he actually wants. If he'd even talk to us for a start. Registration rules. Uh, that is... I actually know how to do it, Brian, personally. Hadrian is the one that sort of knows the knowledge on that one. Um. Okay, he wants quite a lot, but... You, hey, look! He wants a sh short-term signing chat. Now, nah, we'll... we'll um, uh... Too much too soon. Playing some expectations. Hmm, okay. I was hoping I could actually d demand that bit. Um, but I'm not going to... I'll just change that. Okay. He's interesting. I like little bits about him. Fringe player. Fringe player I can do. <laughs> I know. I tend to think long term. Because after all, it's a long term save. Uh, if I was playing... A, say I was the, the FM player of SI's Dreams. The... Uh, one season Manchester City player, then I guess short term does actually make sense there. Are they fixed European coefficients? Uh, what was broken about them? 400. Oof. I'm not. I'm going to give him a longer deal. I can't be doing with a short term deal here. I demand four years. Watch him just say no. Just straight up no, even if I offer him like a really good wage clause. We're red locking it too. Ah, okay, that's fine. Lovely. He is 19, though, which is a bit of a shame. Oh. A finishing top eight didn't give bonuses. I don't, I don't know if it was ever supposed to give bonuses or whatever, so I just don't know if it's been fixed because I don't know exactly what was broken, per se. Or whether it was supposed to be broken. Supposed to be? I don't know why I said it like that. Nathan Carillon. Trial for you. Oh, okay. We'll do three weeks on him because I've misclicked. Uh, Owen Hesketh. Wait. Oh, no. I was thinking of... um. Who was that other guy? There was a guy who played for Southampton. Was it Sam Hesketh? I swear there was a guy called Hesketh that played for Southampton. Didn't play very often, but he played for them. Jake Hesketh, yeah. Lillenbank is... He's actually kind of annoying me now. Emil Hesketh. 
one, two, three, four. Um, each of their own, right? It's not something I particularly enjoy either, which is why I don't do them. Um, but hey, you know, what people enjoy is what people enjoy, right? Guy at Shelbourne, probably too expensive for us. I thought his name was Bones for a second there. Oh, he's actually not bad, but he's expensive. And by expensive, I mean he costs money. <laughs> a player that costs money is what we consider expensive now. I think, oh, hang on. This guy here? Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, Mirko. Not happening, buddy. You're very expensive. Ah, sick. All right, Max. You weren't even that good anyway. Yeah, Hesky Sun is in the game, yeah. So the finances at the moment are actually pretty solid. Because obviously champions... Well, conference league. But it's not too bad. And obviously the prize money from the league. Uh, Emilio. Emilio isn't bad. Now, whether he'd be much good for us right now... Kyle, wow, look at that. We did say... Oh my god. We did say we wanted another centre mid. And Kyle Kelly... Oh god, if only he was 18... That would be so perfect for him to be a homegrown player for us later. Nathan, oh, he's got no passing and vision. Yeah, not for me. Oh, wait, no, amateur... Oh, well, that's what we did in the first part of today's stream, was just pure amateur signings. I mean, I think literally... Uh, from there... All of those guys are just free amateur signings. Which is great. What do I mean by that? I, I know ex you know exactly what I mean by that. Are we that like Jesus Christ? Well, seems it. Nope, no one yet, Danny. Um, well, other than the ones that were already done. <sighs> right. Sally Sen's gone back, which we knew would happen. Uh, Hamadi, Molina. I feel a bit for Hamadi. He's a good player, but I don't know. Didn't think we needed him as much anymore. Uh, Kutoni. Oh, okay. Apparently, we're playing Kutoni best in the country but improve the league as a whole uh well the idea is to make the, the league the best league in europe so best team in the country kind of comes as a requisite of that but not like the main goal it just sort of happens if you want to succeed in it <laughs> the leonardo dicaprio experience right where is oh that's gonna probably end up getting cancelled anyway wait whoa, 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 whoa. i thought playing a friendly in between our two go away st george <laughs> is what st patrick would have said one time uh they are a bit like old and boring sam yeah it's particularly now it's just like really because it just means that you, you find it impossible to even talk about players that you're signing it's sort of yeah um oh they've put another one in wait or is that the second week i think we're okay ronnie edwards i heard about him no offers for larry master hang on master are rumored to be interested well then have you considered bidding just an idea lads let's try that again shall we just do it again, I guess. Preferred numbers. Nah. Uh, I say that. I've never seen a player complain about it. Let's put it that way. How about the opposition? Not really, no. Uh, we got a Bosnian side, which is probably one of the better nations that we could have been. As in better for... Better in the worst way. Yes. Yeah, oh, Rodriguez. Right, come on. Please tell me this guy's going to be good. This could be another absolutely goated signing, potentially. I know he's 19, but like, come on. Come on. Free transfer, Christian Rodriguez. Three-star CA, five-star potential on a free. And now, we retrain him to play on right wing. Bang. Look at him go. Look at his hair. Gloriousness. Our right side with Cater and Rodriguez is going to be absolutely stacked. He does sound like one of the great chain robbers. He really does. That's what I was thinking. Oh, he's very good. Right, let me just get him training right wing. So we can play deeper. Uh, I think it's an attack roll. He's fucking outrageous. Yeah, he is better than the Scottish dude. And he's joined us already. The only downside about him is... Yeah, he's hair and flair. He's all hair, all flair. If only he was 18 when he signed for us, it would have been a homegrown player for Champions League and stuff. But still, he's the sort of guy that pushes us closer towards being able to get a title. Yeah, he needs some overhead kicks. I think he just know it naturally. He's pacey. He's got good crossing. What's his passing like? 10 solid and he can play on both sides we could even retrain him to play on the other side as well yeah free homegrown great shout yes that's a good point that's the next port of call before we do this actually uh so i'll be 
and on the knee. Oh, Good name. I Thank you for the follow. Uh, so there he is, if that is the right, if that is the correct player. We're taking some good leaps here. Where did we find this chap? He was, uh, he was actually in one of our scout reports. And given that he was Argentinian, I truly don't know how he was in there. But life goes on, I suppose. Unless it's something to do with the low knees that we were getting from, I don't know. I don't know why he was in there. We don't even have Argentina for scouting. Did our staff guy have Argentinian? Oh, that might be it. Do we have an Argentinian staff? Oh, we do. Right, that's going to be why then. <laughs> We're playing the old Zabar method. I rate that. Right, okay, now big stuff. We want homegrown Maltese players. We're going to do that as well, Thomas, but we're going to do specifically homegrown Maltese players first. Uh, right, okay. Let's just clear this because we can come back to that anyway. I want... Homegrown status trained in Malta. We don't, yeah, trained in club is irrelevant at this point. Uh, is there anyone? Yeah, we want that one. Cool. So there's a thousand players, firstly, which is good signs. That are trained in Malta. See if there's any world rep here that might be useful for us, potentially. Soon. Is he oh, free? Yes, very soon. They are building it now. 23 year old who's completely free, trained in Malta, three star CA. Yes! <laughs> Lovely stuff. Fighter people and DK Mr. Willy. Thank you very much for the follow. He's worth a trial, if nothing else, right? Although, frankly, what do we even need to know about him? <laughs> we already know everything about him. The rest, I don't think we have any more knowledge about Oh, we do actually. The rest of them have clubs. What we kind of want, actually, is high world rep, no club. That's what we're looking for, really, isn't it? Players with decent world reputation, but no clubs. That way they're guaranteed to be completely free. Although, I suspect... Wow, he's made a lot of appearances. Some of these guys might be a little old. He's 35. I don't know if I want to bring him in, but... And the rep isn't the, the be all and end all, but it's just a way of like filtering it down a little bit. Any high potentials, maybe? Russell Kermy. Nah, he's got a club. We could try loans, true. Yep. Okay, it's 500. Well, there's actually even more loans. Oh, hang on. Wait, there we go. Still 250 of them. A guy from. I would feel weird loaning a player from Master Schlock. Although, that being said, he is three star. Wait. And he's a fullback. Uh, not if they want £500 a week, though. Oh, they bloody do. Oh. It's annoying because he's one of the better loans that we can actually see. Christ, what do we do there? Firstly, I would... It yeah, definitely yeah. looks like a fake three-star as well. I think he's a player that we scouted as well, which doesn't help. Chris Feld and the Dark Tiger. Thank you for the follows. I don't think I want to pay £500 a week to find out. And then the rest of them are just bare crap. Oh, yeah, no, he'll be crap. I mean, he's a player that we scouted originally. And then he joined them instead because we just weren't interested. But... It's just weird that it's saying defender right. Like, where's our actual right back? Why is he not showing up on that one? That's really strange. Get more reluctant on wages even sometimes for, f for free. Really? Yeah, the thing is, though, he's not going to be an important player, right? An old report. Yeah, no, it's an old report. But we can't... We don't have time to get a new one. We see star player. Star player, zero wages. It's just out of interest. <laughs> They're like, nah. Nah. Hey, do you know it's an old scout report? Uh, Iron is cold. Thank that, you very much for the follow. Geek. And Big Sig, thank you for the follow. They can record them in a month, but I'm not going to do that, yeah. Freaky. Report generated. Um, I think so. It can't be that old, because our guy signed last summer. Some player from our youth intake? No. Our youth intake had no players that were even going to be good enough for our youth team. <laughs> like, genuinely, the best player in our youth intake this year was a two-star PA, which is crazy. Um, Yeah, I don't think these guys are going to be multinational teams. Well, what you mean, like, freebies in the multinational teams, potentially? We've got Jody Jones. Definitely worth it. Whoa, not approach the sign. I think he's the only one. But we can have a look at the lower squads. But the lower squads will probably not have any free players in them. Because why would they? Oh, tell a light. Desperation calls. 
Can you? So, I mean, literally, that's the thing. Um, and bear in mind, he was the best one. The rest were all 1.5 stars or lower. I just want someone out of these to be even... Jody Jones has rejected us. The one player that might have actually been good there has rejected us. Fuck's sake, Jody. But that doesn't mean he won't sign for us. It just means he won't come on trial. He's also very unlikely to sign for us. Yeah. <laughs> Who was he playing for before? Notts County, to be fair. Bro was playing in... That should show you sort of where we sit, that Notts County players being released by Notts County won't talk to us. Probably isn't homegrown either. Um... Good point, actually. Yeah, no, he's never played in Malta. <laughs> he just has Maltese nationality. He wouldn't have counted as homegrown anyway. <laughs> right. Anyone at all? Oh, you're dreadful. Oh, you're also dreadful. Oh, you're dreadful too. Oh, you're dreadful too. Oh, you're dreadful too. <laughs> okay, he's the only one that's any good. Literally. The one... I think we're going to have to try and sign uh, Santariano because there's no one else that's any good. If he doesn't want super loads of money, I think we kind of have to sign him. I'm not signing him for a thousand pounds a week. He's shit. And he wants a grand a week to be shit here. There's no easy way to say this. You're deluded. Alexander is absolutely delulu. Um, he was a beer kikara as well. Like, he's not wanted by anybody. We'll, we'll just water him down. We'll water him down. We'll grind him down. I suspect... Oh, God, here we go. I suspect that actually we're just going to have to go with spaces in our squad and hope for the best. To be fair, the one thing we might on our side here is that our squad isn't even that big. Why is he not registering our centre-backs? Hang on a minute. This might not even be that awful. I want to make sure that we've got what we need. So we've got two players trained in Malta, and those are Joseph Mbong and Andrea Kassar. So that's good. But this is the maximum squad size we can have. Or is it? Surely we're allowed one more. Because we're allowed a ma Oh, no. Yeah, we're allowed one more, aren't we? Hang on, I've got to just add some columns to this screen. I need to make sure we can see the CA and PA. And also squad status. Uh, wait, surely you can see that information, right? Wait, you can't add fucking... Oh, is this one of these stupid ones where you have to go to a different fucking screen to do it? Fiona! It is, isn't it? Yeah, f that's so dumb. You can add the columns, but you have to do it on a different view. But why is that a thing? It's so stupid. Wreckmake, thank you very much for the follow. Right, that's better. I want... That's all I wanted. I just wanted to be able to see the... Uh, abilities as well as that so when dong's injured so we don't have to register you know, him yet is a train coming anytime soon oh yeah so very soon they are players that don't need to be registered no those are the guys that are home those are the homegrown guys basically those homegrown players under a certain age are the ones that don't need to be registered but they have to be in the country i believe for two years yeah that's it so some of those guys will actually count as homegrown they'll they'll be able to be registered before they turn homegrown first as well so i think actually our best bet instead of just hunting for overpriced maltese talent is just to keep doing what we're doing we probably should ashman yeah uh well she thank you very much for the follow Right, so now we need to figure out who to put in. Undong's going to be out for most of the qualifiers anyway, so it's a waste of time putting him in. Trinyanez. Out of those things to general view. Sorry, I totally forgot, Saz. It's just weird that it highlighted that. Kamara has to be in, right? Samba Koenig, Christ, he's not in either. Hang on, is there anyone in here that shouldn't be? Like Artiaga, for example. And honestly, he's a fringe player. I'd rather put someone like Kone in and Cissé, truthfully, because they've they've got higher squad rankings. Pretty much. Uh, not to my knowledge, no. Oh, is Collard in there too? Yep, no, you're... Oh, yeah, he is. He is. Yep. Mm. Just trying to get, like, a balanced squad. I think once we get down to this point, it's fine, but, like... Which of these guys needs to come back in? I think we could probably get away with Ndor back. Tits would probably have to play as a centre-back. Actually, Trinianes would probably be useful, wouldn't he? I don't feel like he's going to complain as a fringe player. and He's a breakthrough prospect, so he definitely won't complain. Rios is a twat. I think Trinianes, because he's on loan, so we don't want to not play him. I think that might be okay. It covers most of our bases. Most of the players that have been dropped out are not uh, registered shit. We're, we're trying to register shit, man. Uh, right, okay. 
And Dong Wan can play because he's injured. He might, but I don't care. 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 He probably won't. Let's see. Let the complaints begin. Actually, they probably won't complain until we have to do the confirmation one, will they? As long as we can build a squad that's pretty solid, I'm, I'll be pretty happy. I think for the next, like, week or so, until we get... No club stands it viable. Then... Waste, waste, well, then not much we can do about that. Uh, Mavritic as well. We can't f follow up on him, imagine. Yeah, the next one is where the bitching starts. You're correct. Uh, that's going to be... You'll just do Wednesday, Saturday game, even though we're going to cancel that friendly anyway. Yeah, now we just have to pray for the no jet skis. Uh, those guys are all getting removed from... I. Oh, that was... Wow. It's been a year since that. What I've noticed is it's when you have to, like, thoroughly... Uh, when you do the second confirmation is when they seem to kick off more... Any new guys on this one? I think we've already looked at all of these guys, haven't we? I don't recall seeing him. You've already been scouted. You're that Estonian chap. This guy seems new. I don't remember seeing Ratkovic there before. Although he's quite expensive anyway, so I don't know how useful that's going to be to us anyway. Yeah, it was from when we looked at the Pakistan national team and nearly got some really good... Uh... We nearly got one good player out of it. Nearly. 600 megabyte patch. What, for FM? Oh, God. In before they like accidentally go, oh, we didn't mean to fix that thing. We've got to break it again now. Ah, right. I'll just, I'll, we'll keep that in there for the moment because I want to get to this game. Scouting focuses. Uh, if you do exclamation mark recruitment focuses, uh, uh, Chris, you will get uh, a full video that explains it all. Um, and they're really good, especially when you're not sirens. When you're a better side, they'll be much more powerful for you. Oh, Wednesday night, Birki Kara. Big sales. No big sales battle. In fact, no sales at all, as it goes, but some massive ins that have really improved us. Right, let's call them. Bikikara, do us the business. 4-0, Ezpez. Get in. Chara, Yalo, Kumba. Kumba. And Maiga with the goals. That's good. Yes, James, absolutely. Um, per is that the correct video, James? I'm fairly certain it is. Right, now we're going to see the complaints, correct? Was there a Hungarian at Hammer in there? Let's just have a look at the transfers. Oh my god, they've been busy. Floriana have just signed... Floriana have just paid 300 grand for Medi Gachim. Oh, um... Milan Celia. Yeah, we sold Milan Celia for like um, 110 grand. Sorry, my bad. Yes. I forgot about that. That was right at the start, wasn't it? To restart the same every season. Uh, Marky Morgan is just a fun name, but that's another internal one. I want to find some non-internal transfers. Master Slock have just sold a guy to Retro for free. Okay, a couple of free hits. Uh, so there's Jefferson Mendez. He's a Brazilian to Marsa. Okay. And Timothy Aquilina. Wait, he's actually Maltese. Fair. Good pickup. Uh, any more? That was us. And then Zabar have got... Okay, going into the Nigerian market with Chukwamika North 4. <gasps> I was going to look for um bloody Nathaniel Lumusu, wasn't I? Alpha Ture is a great name. Sierra Leone, solid. Love that. Uh, we've got Mohamed Awad, who is... Somali, New Zealand. Good stuff. Yeah, Tarshin won the league. And um, Mostar got promoted on goals scored. Which is wild. Uh, Nazarino Lopez, who's an Argentine. Oh, Saliba going down the Argentinian route. Wagner's got to be Brazilian. Yep. You can't be called Wagner and not be Brazilian. Farid Zuniga, who is in Colombia. Sorry, isn't, he isn't now. Uh, Luciano Dominguez, another Argentinian. Yeah, Mostar got promoted. There's Kamar Reed. He's now gone to Hibs. Okay. And they're of... What a great name. Chadrak Jendo. Chadrak. Wonderful scenes. That's awesome. And then Hamadi has moved to Birkikara. For 130... Christ, on a, they've got an optional 200 grand fee on top of that as well. That's wild. Uh, right, let me just check. Any complaints? Chat. The loan farm have begunneth. Hibs have just bid on Jose Antonio... Sorry, Antonio Jose Artiaga. Let the loan farm commence. Regular starter, be beautiful. That's what we want to see. It can be done. And to a top flight side as well. Like, that's a really important thing to note. Top flight team. No, nah, they've got no links with big hips. Just for big hips. I like that. Big hips, little hips. Uh, right, shortest plan in the database. It's, just, it's, the, it's the beginning, chat. You were here. Those of you in chat right now witnessed the start of the loan farm. 
I didn't think we'd be doing that today, honestly. Uh, so shortest player in the game currently is... Yes, 411. Wait, no way. Oh, it's a it's a Patreon regen. It's Dieter Hocken. This is definitely a Patreon regen. Oh, big hips, little hips, cup. <laughs> How dare you? Up the hippies. But more specifically, up the Scottish hippies. Sure, it's in our scouting lodge. This is true. Yeah, there might be other players. Um, but he's definitely a Patreon regen, so we'll definitely get him um, sorted as well. Uh, multinational teams, which we just did. Uh, Sam Curtis. I started reading a rom... Well, not, not even a rom-com. Like, a book last night. Um, I think it's called Maybe Next Time by... I think it's called Cheska Major. It's like a, a romance novel, but it's got a kind of weird sci-fi element to it, and it's actually very fucking good. I've read, like, 250 pages of it since last night. Uh, well, he he uh, he specifically requested it, Thomas, if I recall. Uh, so there's Sam Curtis at St. Pants. <laughs> the, the Bernie <laughs> Solid work. Uh, that's a strong quest, and that is. Uh, I might have like a, I might be able to make some like custom bot that will actually like um turn off the song requesting automatically as we get closer to the end of the stream, just so people don't get their songs not worked out. Simming league games typically. Uh, it's not really how many seasons specifically. It's how... Once basically you're in a situation where the league is so comfortable that it doesn't matter about the league games and they're not worth showing on the stream, that's when we do it basically. There isn't really a set time when that becomes a thing. But yeah. Uh, facilities. Youth stadium. <laughs> Good. Solid. <laughs> Very solid. Uh, well, we won't be doing that big sick because one, we haven't been brought in by our scouts, and two, there's no way he's signing for us in Malta. Okay. Uh, here we go. Hey, it shouldn't be cough. We've still got half an hour to go, unless you've requested a podcast. <laughs> okay. Please tell me everyone's back from holiday. Imagine the players were just still on holiday. So, what's our lineup looking like? Kamara and Bualo, Samasi, Dick, Kone, Diop, Esselink, Kater, Grineo, Marta. So, what's the bench looking like? Uh, just hide unavailables. Am I allowed more on the bench? Is it doing that shit again? Why doesn't it fill the bench? Fill my damn bench! So who do I want? Kamara or Bualo? It's a, it's a toss-up between Tits and Kamara. Tits at least has... Do we just try him? We're at home. Nizic is available if we need him as well. And Bong's around as well. I love how our squad is basically no different to last year now because of that. I think we start tits. We've got to start off tits, right? He is actually very good. And will only improve. Give tits a chance. That's what it used to say on that bridge on the M25, wasn't it? <laughs> Give tits a chance. Okay. What does this squad look like? Okay. Interesting choice. So, Stefan Marchetic. No feet. He's completely footless. And also numberless, too. Titch is an amateur Frenchie, yes. Um, he's easily one of the best amateur players I've ever found, frankly. Free transfer from Racing Bessanchon. If that's how it's said, I don't know. Point being, he's ridiculously good. And, yeah, I mean, he lacks the pace a little bit, but he's... he's so it's a shame, really, that we don't play, like, a ball in midfielder kind of role because he'd be much better there. But, you know, good on both feet as well. And I think he'll probably grow a little bit more, potentially. That's what they say about no feet. No number. It's true. How do you scout amateurs? Uh, exclamation mark amateurs. Just an S. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Right, cool. Off we go. Lots of squad numbers. None of you get number 12. Oh, apparently none of you want it. Oh, he's, he's gone straight for the number five. Titty. I rate that from him. Oh, we've also got Jibby D up to come on the team too. I think you're right. Yeah, he's just one of those players that's sort of in between. I think it's X Mesh or Amateurs. Or Amateur, maybe. I expect to win this game. I don't... I really just don't know. Like, I truthfully do not know. Oh, God. Okay, apparently not. It's so hard to know what we stack up against a team like uh, Borat Spania Luka, truthfully. We really won't know until we get a little bit into this game. So, bear in mind, we're not playing our home games at Siren Stadium because it's not big enough for European matches. We're playing all of our um, games at Valletta's ground, I believe. Yeah. We're playing our, uh, we're playing our games in the National Stadium because we don't have a stadium big enough for Europe. I oh look at this! What was that about? Oh. FM. 
This is where the uh, graphics card shits itself, which it clearly has. Except it hasn't. It's just doing that weird crap again. At least that, that's a good point. Yeah, Max does need to test that because that video was really interesting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right. Too long. It's, it's perfectly... It's the perfect length, chat. I'll sort my stutteriness out in a second once we get into the actual match loaded. Unless you're not seeing it on your end. But I imagine you are. Because the game is just... What is this silliness? Right, come on, FM. Let me have my GPU back. Weirdness. I think that song should go on indefinitely, personally. For the end of time. Right, try again. Okay, I think we're fine now. No, we're not. We nearly conceded, though. What is this silliness? Come on, FM. You bastard. What's going on? It refuses to... I wonder what... If... I wonder why that suddenly started doing that again now and it wasn't doing it before. It just will not let me get rid of it. Yeah, come on. It's still using fucking 80% of it. Come on, GPU. Too many spectators, it's true. Maybe we're just not used to it. It just refuses to give it up. Come on. You waste men. Watch us concede a goal before we ever actually see anything. Good lord. The sound is on. Nah, it's because... I just... I don't know what causes it now, because it's actually not on my... It's not on OBS this time. Well, it is, but it's not. It's weird. Like, it says that it's not overloading, but it is. And it's just refusing to give up on it. This is our first match. Yeah, it's like, fucking hell, OBS. It's refusing to chill the fuck out. Quite simply, it's... it's look at this. Look at the state of this. Nah, it's just refusing to give up the... Um, no, I'm using Tarski every single time. I don't have an external hard drive connected this time, actually. Every time I keep pausing it, that's me loading Task Manager again just to see if it'll work. Right. Sometimes it takes to get through the first highlight before it clears the fuck up. It's gone down a little bit. No, it's just refusing it. It's... Notice how it's fine now, but when the moment I actually try to press play or anything, it just goes back to shit again. It's... Wait, is it now working? Now, it goes up to like 97% the moment I start playing the game, even though it wasn't doing that before. Oh, piss off, Football Manager. This is actually quite frustrating now. Now, it was fine until we started playing. I don't know what it's doing. Oh, hang on. There we go. Right, now it's fine. Now it's fine. It, it let go. I don't know why it does it, but it does. Esselink. Kone. It's a penalty to us. I just don't want to play too much of the game like that because it's less fun, right? Okay, we're good now. Anything in the background? How would I know? <laughs> like, there's loads of shit in the background. It's a stream. Like, that's the problem. Right, here we go. Cater from the spot. Scores. 1-0 Sirens. Get in! Issa Cater. First goal in Europe ever. Now, nah, we're back now. We're all good. The moment it dropped, I could see it. It went from like 90% just down to 34 and then it's fine again. 1-0 in Europe. We lead. Issa Cater. Issa goal. What a moment for us. Get in. Maybe we are better than we think. I don't know. It could just be... It's a penalty, so it's hard to know how the game's going to actually play out. But it's good to see it's Garrett Penn early on. Well, there's Pelletier getting in there. Ooh. They do look a little bit all right. Quite a decent amount of fans here, actually. All in that one corner. Uh, this is the National Team Stadium. So it's in Valletta. Oh. Uh, we came second in the league last season. Princess. <laughs> Before we just win the Conference League. I, I think that's unlikely. Because so far, this match has started solidly. Oh, yes, Samassi. Okay, nice. Good football. Really good. Right, Diop now. Oh, I forgot he was our other new signing, wasn't it? It was Diop that's in the team anyway. Marza, back for Kone. Go on, buddy. Just drill it. Oh, it's two. Samba Kone, both of the wide men. Yes. Our first place goes Champions League, yeah. Get in. Pog just messaged me saying that my sister's here. <laughs> forgot to mention. I forgot about that. Kone driving forward, drops it home. That was a really bit of bad goalkeeping there, but both wingers have now scored. Yeah, there's a lot. If you look at the um, the new guys, don't have the match sharpness yet either, which is not helpful. So just playing them a little bit here today would be helpful. Great finish. Yeah, those extensions are super important. As Mars is now through, he's gone wide. That's fine. Pulls it across. Holy shit, that was nearly three. If we suddenly got a third goal. Oh, maybe we are just a bit good. Esselink. Round the side. It's all the way across. Mars's that's offside. 
gap between the three lines. Uh, which three lines? Which lines are you looking at? Uh, is that a skin thing? I'm not sure what you mean. Right, cool. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, we do have the home advantage here as well, so I we'll have to see. Doff entirely. I don't believe so. It might not be on the early rounds, potentially. If it's been an attack, I mean, no, but I don't understand what you mean by that. Like, whose defense made an attack? Because if you mean ours, I would point at the scoreline and the current match stats and say, does it matter? I suppose. Um, let's go. Domestically in Europe, it's basically... Yeah. Yeah, I think it does. I think it comes on later, doesn't it, right? I don't think we're going to group stages or anything, but I think we've got a good shot at third round, truthfully. Especially if... Oh, nearly. Kata, go on. Cuts inside. Oh, it's blocked! <sighs> we are playing well. I would really like, though, a third goal. While we're playing this well, we need to be... Like as a small child. I was never a small child. As long as we're winning. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this tactic does concede goals. It, it just does. But it also scores loads, so it doesn't really matter that much. Oh, Boala. Go and have a pop. Somebody. Patience. I like it. Pelletier. Finds Diop. Look at this. No. Oh. <laughs> Don't look at this. Ignore this. <laughs> Ah, oh, I know. I don't know how we're going to keep going with our six-month contracts. <laughs> Getting through, it won't get us that much money because the money's not really that good in the early rounds, but it's it's more money than now, right? God, look at the XG. We need a third goal. GBDL's not done amazing. Let's get Nizic on. Why, why the hell not, right? Even though he's more of a DLP, so we'll move him and S-Link over. Uh, we'll get Trinidades on for Sambacone. That's a proper highlight. Yeah, <laughs> the game just wanted to show off some nice passing moves. We'll get Christian... Rodriguez in as well. Try and freshen things up a little bit. Uh, the other Maltesers, we've already had one win. Let's find the others. It might not actually let us see, because Master are 2-0 up. Good scenes. So yeah, um, Bikikara won their first leg 4-0, and Master are 2-0 up in theirs as well. Sorry, not Master, Master Schlock. I would normally call them Master, but um, obviously there's a second, there's another team already called that. We did, we managed to get Marsa, Marsa Granillo... Boalo and Esselink all to extend their uh, loans for six months because their contracts only have six months left. Come on. Oh, and Nisic just gone down injured as Rodriguez whips it across. But we're now down to 10 temporarily. I'll pull it back from Esselink. It's three. Sem Esselink. Great work there from Felix Trinianes. But unfortunately, Nisic is down. Yeah, it's first leg. Uh, Hamron. No, I need to start the screen flow for that, actually. That was lovely. What a great cross that was. But look at this from Trinianes. Like, Sem just gives it back to him, which I really like, because it opens up the space. And he's just there. Oh, keeper nearly gets a touch. Right, 3-0, but how's the injury for uh, Nizic? Oh, his knees are truly itching. Or his foot, in this case. Christ, we have to put Jean in midfield. Maybe not as the ball in midfield. <laughs> uh, the rest of the team is kind of just set now, isn't it? 3-0 is very good. I'm a bit concerned about Nizic's injury, though. See if we can keep an eye on Master Schlock, actually. Yep, 3 0 now. Wiss has scored again. Oh, imagine if we got a fourth goal. I think if there's a fourth goal, we could even rotate for the second leg a little bit and keep some players fresh. I have been impressed, well, not been that impressed with Pelletier today, but it's his first ever appearance in Europe, you know. First ever appearance for the club. He's not got full match fitness. He actually kind of does, doesn't he? <laughs> He's still only young. He's only 17. There's a lot more time to go for him yet. At two, was it? That's surprising, actually. Shows they're kind of evenly matched then, potentially. Rodriguez is quite tall, isn't he? Out on the right-hand side. I'm a, I'm a fan. Bit of aerial presence out wide could be quite useful for us. Right, Chavic. Around the side. Uh-oh. Grahavac, they've completely lost him. And it's a goal back. Marchetic. 3-1. Mm, Massively against the run of play. And honestly, they deserved a goal. But we should have had another... Like, this 4-1 would be a fairer scoreline right now. We have absolutely hammered them. And 3-1 is a little bit concerning. Right, come on. One more. Rodriguez puts it in. Flicked away. Flicked up. Keeper's got it. Oh. Can you rescind my group stage? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, no, no take backs. He's, he's a very tall winger, isn't he? Which is going to be good, actually. For getting on the crosses and stuff. Right. Oh, God. Pelletier. Wow, nice header from Pelletier. Using all five foot eleven of him. Grinio. Trinianis is in again. Oh, he's missed it. At least away goal. I guess, but I really like to weigh goals. Average age of the squad. Uh, pretty old, but it's coming down now, as we have just brought in a load of youngsters this summer. So that's gonna help a little bit there. 
Watch us now concede a second goal. Just do what we do in the league, but in Europe. Grahavats. Right. Oh. Cortez. Right. Big tackle from Esselink. Oh, no. Oh, hang on. Wait. Yes. Botu. Slip him in. Marza. Finish it. Yes. Come on. That's great work. Jean. Maybe Jean just better in central midfield. Maybe that's just where he is. Good work. Sirens four. Borat's one. Good work from Jean here. Like, this is just determination to get that. I thought he wasn't going to pass that in the end, but that's great work. Marza finally gets in there. First goal in Europe for him as well. Glorious. What's what I, meant to do? I guess. I just remember. I just used to love those European ties back in the day. Right. That was a hell of a performance from us. Oh, no. Please don't make it 4 2. We deserve a 4 1 win. Like, that's what we deserve from this game. And. Oh, no. This is going top bins, isn't it? Oh, that was fucking close, chat. 4-1 to Sirens would be a lovely, lovely result. It's perfect, Dan. It's almost like I mentioned it in the video. But yeah, to be fair, you didn't know how long I'd be live, right? Okay, that's lovely. We've got pop punk football. Yes. I like that. I like that a lot. That was a really good performance. Uh, Marza was superb. Again, just really, really good. Palette struggle a little bit. Dibby struggle a little bit too, but that's fine, right? First appearances for the club. They're not quite into the culture of Sirens culture just yet. Oh. So. Master Schlock 3 0 away from home. Look at this, though. Dino Babatumi 8 1. Alishka 8 0. These are the teams to avoid. Actobe 6 1 against Dude Lounge. That's actually quite a big result. Flora Tallinn and Cliftonville 4 all. Which is going to help it's us out because it means they're not going to be summer. resting players for the second leg and we might be able to. I think that was it for us, right? Because obviously Bikikara played last time around. Yeah, so just gonna, I'm glad we avoided them. Cool. Pedoxio, thank you very much for the follow. And Walter Olivios. Sorry, Olivos, thank you for the follow. Right, how bad? Ooh, wow, that's a hell of a twisted ankle. Cool. Jesus. Mars is so good there. And Hamrun, yep, we'll have a look. Um, I'll get the sort of stuff sorted out before and they 1-2-1 one, one in Slovenia against Maribor no fucking way okay Malta is massive baby how the hell did they pull that off oh, to be fair Maribor were dog shit too Ricardo Phillips and Rocco Prusha with the come behind win for Hamru all four wins for Malta that's they'll lose the second leg at home but then again maybe the home advantage sneak a draw if they get, if they were to somehow get through, that would guarantee them the playoff round of the Conference League, and possibly paid off the referee. True, yes. Two goals off of 0.25 xG is shameful. <laughs> get in, right? Coefficients. Have we already got more points than last year? We've nearly got as many points as last year after one one leg of one tie. Big points for Malta there. Transfers going. We kind of took a back burner on the transfers at the moment, just because we're um, focusing on the European matches, which we've done very well. Because I want to finish off with the second match today. Uh, oh, yes, Kajira. £13,000. Have a bang on that. Did Zellia start? I don't know, actually. We'll have a look. But transfers have gone very well today. We've pretty much failed entirely at our plan to um, bring in any Maltese talent, but we've decided instead to just try to go for the future and bring in loads of young players that can then qualify as homegrown. Europe's going very well. Just won our first leg against Borat's 4-1. Share first place? No. Oh, actually, you know what? We might be. I'm curious to know what this major update... We haven't got back in for Nwusu either. Um, no, he's yet to play for Hamrun, actually. I can't believe they paid us 100 grand for that privilege. Still not an amateur deal. Let's ask, right? F he wants £4,000 a week. <laughs> Bro, you're playing on a... You're on an amateur deal in Nigeria and you want four grand a week. It is. Give your head and wobble. Oh, dear. D. Tito, thank you for the follow. Yeah, probably not happening there, I suspect. Yeah, we must be quite close to the top. Yeah, we are joint top, actually. You're right. I guess we couldn't have had any less points, could we? Well, we could have. We could have had. We can't have any more points. Uh, wait, I'll just go from the squad. Yeah, enjoy the water company. Wait till Shite Roll takes over. Oh, Dix lost his, like, uh, his potential style there. He's nearly maxed out in a way. Which means if someone does trigger that release cause, I'm all right for it. After the patch. Um, after the, the new patch. The new patch should have fixed them. So I'm curious to know what that means. 
Oh, hang on, Johnny. Do you mean like, has anyone, do you know if it's fixed? Oh, I see. Prelim, uh, we haven't done any prelim because we, um, we actually do get to bypass that at least for the moment anyway. <laughs> Dick's looking solid. Yeah, I'll have to update after stream. Uh, Nari Larry's oh, don't fail your medical. It's going to be like Renan Nelson all over again. We'll do some more transfers next stream as well. Uh, really? 75? God, Giri United are... Take them. It's beautiful. We might actually be able to spend a little bit... Oh, maybe not, but... We're definitely not done with transfers, that's for sure. Next stream is going to be more transfers, I suspect. And more Europe. But first, we've got the second leg. Hopefully more Europe, unless we balls this up in Belsnia, which is still an entirely likely possibility. Malip Noss, I'm glad you say that, because your guy, seriously, mate, was almost always genuinely awesome. I think I didn't see a single sim where he wasn't good. <laughs> I mean, sorry. This has got, like, next-gen written all over it. I swear to God, literally... Every single time I did the test sim, and there was like 30, uh, 38 of them in the end, Malipnos was almost always decent. Yes, Doff's suggestions next stream is an, an absolute must. Because we have not brought any new loans in yet. In progress. Do you know if there's a train coming anytime soon? Oh, yeah, so very soon. Oh, there we go. They are oh, we already knew about that, guys, didn't we? Yeah. Tenant RL, thank you very much for the follow. I should probably say at this point, if you have enjoyed today's stream and you are new, then drop a follow. I'd appreciate that. Um, these guys will save for next stream. Because we want to do uh, the second leg. So we can get out of here. Yeah, Lavadia are through. 7-0. Who are even these guys? Oh, Kosovo. Okay. Cooper, do not hate me. I am yeah, we just need like, a little bit together us, us Hadrian. Maybe make a solid player. Freaky. Except we really don't, do we? <laughs> Marios Mustache Man. Good name. And Morbid, thank you for the follows, guys. Do you know if there's a train coming anytime soon? They expect oh, us yeah, to win. Surprising, soon. honestly. They are building it now. That's caught me by surprise. Aggieman's gone. Lovely news. Just good times. I'll just look off stream. I mean, you're more than welcome to tell me if there's anything noteworthy in there. But I think I kind of already knew, to be fair, because I think they kind of already said some of the stuff that was going to change, did they not? And I think one of the devs put some stuff in a Discord. I was a member of like, but like, um, but I, I know there's some important stuff. Has Bismarck's gone as well? Horeb's gone. We're building that mud money up a little bit. We might actually be able to bring in some quite solid players next stream. You know, Valletta present rule takeover talks. Ongoing focus up to Jesus. Oh, no, that's just the guys we already know about, isn't it? Wait, hang on. There's a bloody Belarusian dude in here. There's also a guy memeing or not I didn't remember seeing before. Okay, maybe worth a look. Right, here we go. Second leg. Um, Most multi... The other multi sides are in good shape. Other than, obviously... Wait, hang on. Yes, you're right. How did Hamron get on? Come on. They won it on penalties. Hamron won it on penalties. They lost the match 1-0, but they won on penalties. They've actually got through against Maribor. That is unbelievable. Get in. They, that, that is the definition of eking it out, but my God, they've done it. So who are they playing now? Oh yeah, they're going to get absolutely body spanked by Sparta Prague, but it doesn't matter because now they've guaranteed themselves a place in... Wait, can they actually drop into the second round? Do they actually get a chance to go into the Europa League now? They might do now. Do they actually get to drop into the Europa League qualifiers at that point? Or do they go straight to the Conference League still? Because if they got knocked out in the first round, they would go to straight to the Conference League. But they might go into the Europa League this time. Yeah, they will, won't they? Oh, that's amazing. They might get a, a lucky chance. And it's more money for them, more importantly. That's really good news. Yeah, they still need another round to go through. But my point is, before, if they'd have got knocked out first round, they, they skip Europa League entirely and go straight to the Conference League. Whereas this way... They go Europa League first, before Conference League. That's good news. Still not guaranteed groups, but it's better. It's more chances to win a game, if that makes sense. So like, if the, when they drop straight to the Conference League, it skips an entire round of them having an opportunity to do something, you know? Because for all we know, they could get a lucky draw in the Europa League. That's really good. Pulling a Klaxvig, exactly. Exactly, two extra home matches... Some more TV money, potentially. And just more round appearance money, too. Actually, yeah, they, they would get round appearance money for it, which they wouldn't have got before. So they're going to get... Uh, 
Wait. Oh, no, it'd be there, wouldn't it? 85 grand for that. Participation coefficient two, which they'd get at the end. It's not a lot of money, actually, in the grand scheme of things. And then they'd also drop into the fourth qualifying round here. Another 85 grand. It's money, right? Right. How are we saying here? Wants to swap the strikers over. For actually, that's fine. Trignanis to start. I'm okay with that. Yeah, they'll get some money. Which is solid. Um, There's no reason not to start tits again, really, is there? Although I will start... um. I'll start Tits and Kamara because they're both fully matched. No, no, we want Bawala to have match fitness, don't we? He needs to get it. Uh, I would also quite like a full bench if it's all the same. Still a bit light there, but that's okay. Rodriguez maybe to start instead of Cater today? Update will break the I don't believe so. Bear in mind, the, the update for the TV thing that we fixed, I say we fixed, Hadrian fixed, if that does get broken again, it won't make it inflated. It will actually make it even harder. So it's one of those things where if it does somehow break again, it will actually be worse for me in like a difficulty setting. So I'm actually not that bothered if they do somehow break it again, I think. Yeah, I think that's a solid lineup. I want to keep... Rodriguez, I'll bring off the bench again if we're in a comfortable position once more in the match. But oh, we actually know his footedness now. <laughs> 5-1. Holy shit. Well played. That's the thing. I think the save in general is just in such a good spot right now. Um, and hopefully actually being able to talk about it in that video. No face pack. Uh, no, I've got a face pack. But, like, come on. It's the Maltese League. <laughs> and also, not just that, but the players we've signed are not even from those leagues. We're signing players from, like, Sierra Leone. If you've got a face pack with those guys in it, then crack on. But I don't. And nor do I know of one. Are they seriously confused? We won the first leg 4-1. <laughs> and they're confused about me asking them to win the game. <laughs> I wish that it took context into account. <laughs> oh, dear. I do like the chaos, true. Yeah, we had to sort of balk it, basically, to make it work properly. But, frankly, once the full game came out and everything works, it would be ridiculous for us to expect that they would then go and break it after that. Which is why I don't feel like any kind of there's anything we could have done. It's not like we released it before the full patch and then it broke it on the full release because that would have been like ah oh, you should have just waited. But there's only so long you can wait, right? Right. Okay. The boat ran out. That's really cool, actually. Uh, chat, we're already ahead. We have scored in less than 20 seconds. Jibby Diop scores his first goal for the club. Get him. Bang. One nil already. I mean, I would really like to win the second leg because. More coefficient, isn't it? That's really nice football. Cater getting forward again. Esselink pops it around the side and Diop with that run from midfield. Skies it. You get jibbied. Whew. It's always good when you score a goal while the, the music is still playing. Right, Pelletier. I want to see a better performance from him today. That is a pass and... Actually, that's going to help us, isn't it? Because Cater's going to keep this in. Go on, Cater. What you got? Bit of space there, actually. Pelet Samassi. Go on. Look at the space for Dick. Oh, bang it, Dickie boy. Ah, oh, he's on his wrong foot. You can turn back in. Oh, what a rocket. A rocket from the cocket. Now, Floriana, Flora about to get spread on toast like the fake butter that they are. Get in. So Massey on the left foot, perhaps? Go on, bend it. Look at the space that Kater's got here. If someone could pick him out, which they haven't, admittedly. Oh, actually, no, they have. Just square it. Or just score. Oh, he's missed it. Okay, you either score there or you pass the damn ball. Like... <laughs> He, if he squares that, it's a tap-in. But to be fair, Cater is so good. I really, really like him as a player. He's so, like, he's nippy. He's got good dribbling, crossing. He's kind of everything I want in this system. No more playing through the same nation league. Oh, really? Was that an issue? I wouldn't know. We've not really reached that point yet. Okay. Paletier is looking a little bit more comfortable today. Right, go on, Granillo. Ah, oh, well played, Esselink again. It's like, just slide the ball straight through. No problems. Granillo. Oh, it's a great save again. He's offside, I think, but still. We're playing some lovely build-up today. Uh, how are we doing on the other team? Ah, oh, shit. This, if anything, we're playing better in the away leg here. Dick flicks it over the top. This is, like, more creative from us than we were in the home leg. Right, let's have a look. We've got Bikikara winning away from home, and we can't see Master Schlock annoyingly. But I think they'll be fine. Master Schlock are at home, remember, against an Andorran side, so I think they'll both get through. God, imagine we're actually going to have all four Maltese sides get through a round of Europe in the first, oh, sorry, third season, technically. That's not bad. I'll absolutely take that. 
they're both going to get knocked out in the next round, obviously, because they've got really, really tough opponents. But we've actually got arguably an easier draw in the next round. So I think third round for us is very much on the cards. And Hamrun have pretty much guaranteed themselves fourth round. So you never know. There might be an outside chance with the right bit of luck that one of us could get quite close to the groups, depending on who we draw in the fourth round. Oh, could save. Who do we have? We would either play Flora Tallinn or Cliftonville, which is this tie here, which is currently 5-4 to Tallinn. Say whether they're becoming the highest ranked leagues at yours. Um, God, we're tuning up. I don't think I'd seen anyone else do it before I did it first. Well, but before I first decided to attempt it in 2016, but I don't know. Is this what I think it is? Yeah. <laughs> How is that snuck in? They are both winter. Uh, is Northern Ireland a winter league? I don't know, actually. I know South uh, Republic of Ireland is. I'm not sure about Northern Ireland, if it's a winter league or not. I think it is, though. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, they're both... Um, Sorry, the other way around. You know what I mean? God, this is this first half performance from us has been unbelievable. Oh, it is a winter league. Oh, fair enough. Either way, we should be fine. I, I feel like we could take on a team like Cliftonville. Flora look like they're going to win that tie anyway, but and they'll be a difficult team. But I don't think they're any better than Borats personally. Jibby, Granio, go on, get some more assists, bud. You're so good at this, right? Just give it to Cater and watch the ma watch the magic happen. Look at him go. He is an assist monster. Oh, Cater with the assist. It's 3-0 in the first 25 minutes. We are 7-1 up on aggregate against the Bosnian side. But Cater, look at this touch here. He like breaks the defender's legs there with that touch, but then he's patient, drives into the box, just drops it back. Perfection. Cater is so good. Use the option or just ambitious club. Oh, really? Most of the time, players are not in that position, but that'll be something to keep an eye on later, though. Over the bar. <coughs> that was just... <coughs> I truly think that, actually, Issa Cater is going to be the most important player for us this season. His creativity... Uh, no, Dick's nationality is Brazilian. He's a big old Brazilian dick. Which is in a great spot right now. Halftime. 7 what? I'm going to get Rodriguez on at half time for Cater just to keep him rested. Uh, what about the other scores? How are we doing? Bikikara 2 0 up. Oh, I fucking hate that this was broke. Can't they just fix that? If nothing else, just make it so that you can actually look at the other scores. Like, why is it not showing them? He's six foot tall. Right, half time. Um, Pelletier has done okay. There's a few bookings here, actually. I want to get Cissé on for that. Make sure we don't get that. I'm going to give Rodriguez a second half, too. And Kone back in as well. I probably could have just moved um, Cater across, actually. But, you know, that's a time for another time. And honestly, I'm thinking Jean a little bit, too. Cooper, take off the is he, is he just rounding it? That's very true. Maybe he lies on Tinder. You never know. 33-33, uh, Leon GG. Thank you for the follow. A dick Brazil. <laughs> just means you get left with a little tiny bit on top. Oh. I mean, this is straightforward for us, right? Let's just go through second half. Why are they upset at me? I guess they don't like the fact that I've just brought them on and I'm praising them. It's like, well, we're 3-1 up. Got to G the lads. Right, come on, break my chance now. Let's have this. Soon. Oh, yes, very soon. They are building it now. Nice one, mate. You've got to catch them all, which is kind of what we're doing at the moment. The board expectation was be competitive. Dan, we are fantastic, my friend. How are you? Oh, Jean. Go on, Rodriguez. First chance for a goal for us. Oh, and he's missed it. That's frustrating because he needs a goal. I just feel like getting him a goal would have sort of lifted the the curse a little bit, even though it's only been a game and a half. Speaking of curse, Curves, thank you very much for the follow. Right, so Botuit. Botuit's got a decent free kick on him from time to time. Oh, ho, 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 Butler, bloody me. Bloody me, chat. That was a good effort. Yeah, I might just turn off get stuck in now. Stop getting some cards. We don't want suspensions for the next round. Kone's delivery this time. A two-way at the back post, and it's going to be headed out for another corner. I haven't updated the game, though, because I'm... In, I'm streaming. I'm in the middle of it. I'll update after stream. Oh, this isn't where I park my Once car. Once you break all of our tactics for Sunday and we're just absolute gash again. That'll be sad. I don't think that'll be the case. Hopefully, anyway. Armas Matam, thank you very much for the follow as Granillo's header is on target and we're good. Ah. Botue again. I love those free kicks from Botue. I want to give him more game time this year if I can. 
Yeah, to Spalletti, it might, maybe we'll have to buy a DM if that happens. Because we're getting away with it a little bit with our flat midfield because it is quite attack minded but we just concede a few goals from it but i think we just get so many benefits out of it from an attacking standpoint that it's just not worth it on the drawbacks like the the cost benefit analysis is um working out as a net game for us at the moment Pelletier has had an okay performance today 6.8 but if we get the clean sheet he'll have a, a better then again when do we ever get clean sheets so <laughs> we can't predict a clean sheet here really can we particularly not with the guy just being left on his own in the middle of the box and oh over the bar whoop We've been using a 4-4-2 this save so far, and it's worked nicely for us. We score a lot, but concede a lot. We had a game last year that finished 7-5. I don't know that yet, Dan. Um, that's going to have to happen. Well, I'm sure lots of people will be checking that in the Discord, though, to find that out very fast as the ball ricochets past the goal for another corner. Could age in the... <laughs> Uh, so it fixes a lot of things, Bay. Um, but I don't truly know because I haven't had a chance to look at the patch notes. So I'll look at it after stream. But I'm sure it's been... The patch notes I've seen in chat like seven times already. So I'm sure they'll probably around if you scroll up a little bit. Uh-oh. We are starting to shit the bed a little bit towards the end of this game. I think probably the substitutions haven't helped with that. Oh, crap. Who's injured? Fine. We're bringing on Matthew Henry. That too, actually. It's, it's fine. She'll be fine. Pog's here. <laughs> like, problem solved. Ah. Uh. Long shots with the same problem. Um, I haven't noticed so many. I mean, long shots. It feels like you just sort of you're gonna concede some. I haven't noticed it to be annoying yet, but it might just be because we're scoring so many goals. If she truly wanted to, she'd have barged in already. <laughs> she she has that type of personality. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, if we're gonna shit the bed now, do it at three and a up, right? Yeah, next year's amateur recruit. Bear in mind, what we've managed to find today is crazy compared to what we're going to get next year. Like, we've got so much... The amount of Belgian amateurs and no such players that we'll be able to get next time around is so exciting. Kulashin, and that is the goal. There goes our... Uh, <laughs> there goes the uh, clean sheet bonuses. Well, I, could do. I don't know. Uh, but if I did, it would just be, like, going into a house because she works from home because she's a writer. So. <laughs> ah, dear. Kind of boots for an ice pack. No, not bringing that up again. Oh, good lord. Boris under 19. He must just be in that squad then, technically. But don't throw this away, eh? Oh my god. We are doing everything we can to throw this away. Like, not the tie, obviously, but I would still like to win the game. Oh, welcome in, Leon. Hope you're well. We were just about to get off once we hopefully finish this match, eventually. <laughs> yeah, it obviously just means that he's, like you say, he's in that squad. Uh, ah, we could have done with anybody i suppose they've left everyone up basically except for one player so i do like that that's not a thing anymore like the fact that now when you leave it to someone else the players will like automatically know how many players need to be up and back and that's such a nice thing to have incentivize clean sheet bonus well actually that's a good point with how many goals we can see it could probably could save us a good amount of cash final one. Oh, there'll be loads of updates i suspect there's usually a, a there's well there's always a january update because of the uh what? That might be a waste of your money there, Dan. I'll refund your points because we're about to get off stream and I don't need to waste your money on a song that we might not even hear. Um, right. We got the win. We got what we needed. I assume the others won as well, right? They must have done it. It's Andorra, lads. Uh, Beer Kikara. 10-1 on aggregate is good. Six. Cliftonville won. 7-6 in extra time. Hot damn. Cliftonville are through against Flora Tallinn. So we're playing a Northern Irish side on Sunday. And what about Master Schlock? 9-1. Master Schlock have actually genuinely impressed me. Endrick scored twice for Master Schlock. Endrick has scored twice for Master Schlock. <laughs> Get in, Endrick. What a signing that was. Also, 14-0 there to Yeskeniksic. Okay, so everybody's through, and everybody won. Which means currently... Wait, how? Oh, they might have more teams. Oh, Hammerin didn't win, did they? Hammerin lost, yeah. So we've got one point. We now already, just in this season alone have already gained more points than we've done in each of the last two years. Just based on this alone, we would move above Estonia, Lithuania, Georgia, Northern Ireland, Kosovo, Albania. <laughs> this would get us up to nearly 40th, just in as things stand currently. And we've still got more points to come. I reckon we can get close to like 2.5 points maybe on the board. Because the next round, we're going to be screwed. I, I, I could do, even though we didn't sign for us. That's definitely getting mentioned. Yeah, Hendrik scored for Malta or something. Some kind of nonsense like that. Right, let me save that there, and I think it was already saved. 
it's the um he's malaysian I mean, he's actually Brazilian, but he's naturalized a Malaysian now. Uh, he was Brazilian on last year's game, but then, yeah, he sort of decided not to be anymore. He got bored of it. Right, who are we raiding this afternoon, friendies? Um, so we've done... We've done Herb, we've done Bustinet lots lately. Who are we going to try? Oh, I know who we're doing! Love to see it! We're going Jebaru! It worked for me last year, Jambo. <laughs> it worked for me last year. It was great. Wow, this has been super fun. How to a stream? Uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Sundays. Um, same time as today, except for Sunday, it's an hour earlier because um, I don't want to clash with the football and the F1 and, well, not the F1 anymore, but you know what I mean. So yeah, that's my normal stream days. So this has been really fun. We've made some great signings. We've progressed in Europe. The vibes have been tasty. The sass has been on point too, if I do say so myself. And uh, yeah, I'll see you lovely people on Sundat where we do more transfers because we've got shitloads of money and we clap some Northern Irish people about. It's always a good day when, you, when that happens to you. You dirty little wimp. I'll see you guys soon. Hold your gun. Capybara. Bye-bye.